All right, guys, we're live. It's time for some uh, Age of Empires 4. So we're going to be playing some FFA games tonight. We're going to be starting off with the Thunderdome in our first game. Let's try and get it moving a little bit quicker so we can get more folks involved and uh, playing. So let me go ahead and do some announcements real quick. We'll do it, man. How you guys been? Life treating you all well? Sure hope so. It's, uh, what, what day of the week is it? Friday? Yeah, I think it's Friday. Friday night? Not sure. All right. This looks good. And we are all set to go. Thank you for joining. It's going to be good. Um, we are playing on the Thunderdome. So I'm going to be playing English just to kind of get my bearings. And, uh, I, I mean, Roost could be really good here on Mountain Clearing too. Like getting access to those like hunting cabins to the back areas of the map seem very, very strong. But we're going to be going for the old English. Um, looks like everybody's set. And uh, let's do it, man. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be trying to do at least one Age of Empires stream a week. That's like my game plan. Yeah. I really do enjoy the game quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. So we're playing the uh, Outback Octagon version of Regicide. So you have your king. I, I actually don't think I've played a Regicide game yet. So... I have to be a little bit careful with the king. Um, no, we're going English. We got uh, Holy Romans usually win this map, so we'll see if the theory uh, continues. Ezra, I believe the last time we hosted Thunderdome, I'm pretty sure Ezra won, if I'm not mistaken, by just like Holy Roly, Holy Roly, Holy Romans steamrolling everyone. Holy Rollies, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, but yeah, we got Gunhound, myself, Quill, Dark Hunter Ezra, Ventus, uh, we got uh, Capitalism down there, we'll call him that for short, his name's pretty long, Hunter, and uh, Fence. Yeah, you did load faster than me, that's true, but not for long. I have a new computer rig coming on in, so we're going to be loading very quickly soon. You actually haven't played this mode yet, getting king kills is super important, the population snowballs quickly. Okay, so aggression is like more warranted, yeah. So you get more supply when you kill enemy kings. So sitting back and turtling is not going to be the way. I mean, still, can I host the next one? Oh, uh, yeah, you can host the one. Either try and join the next one I play, or you can host the one that... Okay. Wait, what's going... Oh, oh, this is like this is like straight up... Uh, all right. All right, I dig it. Well, this is a pretty good spot right here. Let's do that. Come on down here. I, so this is, uh, this is like a nomad also? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, I have a villager trapped in the trees. No. No, chop your way out. Villager. No. Everyone build in the north. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't build in the north. I got a villager trapped in the tree line here. Don't you try it. I have English villagers. They know how to use bow and arrows. They'll be able to kind of fend you off. Yeah, this game's great, man. It's great. I'm, I'm really into Total War right now as well. So it's certainly, uh, certainly a lot to juggle all of these... Yeah, I have never played this game mode though. So what does the king like appear once you get the uh, once you get the TC up? Is that how that works? Well, I would say we got a pretty good spot. Oh my god, he jacked our sheep. Oh wow, okay, that certainly changes up the starts. Oh, so there's like a treaty too. Okay, so we got hunter down here. Let's go to the middle of the map. Somebody just pinged right there. So you can't like attack. It's like a uh, it's like old school Care Bear. Like oh no rush, two minutes. <laughs> All right, we'll probably just set up some farms here, find some more sheep. The king appears. Thank you. I'm brand new to this game mode. I'm probably going to die super quickly. But that's why we're playing English, you know. It's like, they're pretty hard to kill. Watch out for Ezra. hunts English. I don't blame him. England is pretty good. And if I die early, it is what it is. We get another game in. You know, it's all good. Stralbora. I should have gone back here. This would have been a sweet spot. But this gold node right like next to the main base is just uh, it's too good, man. It's too good. Strelbora in the trees. Yeah, we're not doing too good on the old sheep, but thankfully we're playing English. We don't really care too much about that. So, yeah, we should be good. Unfortunately, we do have this character trapped in the trees. Is there any way we could build anything here? Nope. Probably just going to delete that character because it's just going to be trolling me with my uh, my idol. So. All right, so let's just take these sheep back. And uh, then these guys are going to go here and start hitting the wood because we need to get farms up. Yeah, man, it's going to be good. I'm excited. Thank you guys for uh, showing up tonight. It's going to be great. All right, so the king is in the TC, right? All right, so we just garrison him like that. Looks good. And uh, we can start setting up some uh, some farms, too. I think we're just going to go for early farms. Build a base around the sacred. Yeah, build, a, build your base right in the center of the three sacred sites. Yeah, that would be pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's set you up. And in the meantime, we can get the sheep there, and I think that's like pretty much all we're going to get in the sheep department. 
Yeah, it's gonna be good, man. We got our Royal Rumble on. Hopefully we don't die in the first 10 seconds. Ram rush? I don't know about ramming with the English. I'm probably just gonna try and survive. I mean, we definitely want to get a king kill because it gives you extra population. You know, so uh, that's gonna be pretty important. But firstly, we're just gonna get our farm set up. Just because, you know, it's a little bit of a precarious spot here, so. Oh, hello. I'm so good at this game. Thankfully, he didn't garrison anyone, so I might actually get away here. Yep, looks like I did. It's kind of, like, hard to anticipate where people are going to set up, too, on this kind of a map, right? All right, so scout's coming in. Um, you know, I'm not going to garrison. I'm going to return the favor. He didn't garrison against me, so we're going we're gonna to let his scout live. Yeah, I had a villager trapped in the trees, so I am down one villager from the uh, from the start, which feels, feels bad, man. Uh, let's get you on that. And do we have enough food? Hopefully we do. Yeah, we're we're like struggling to hit our food margins, which is never a good thing. Come on, farmers, turn it in. Okay, we found another sheep. Outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah, so the fact that this is nomad will definitely slow down the Holy Romans a little bit. Um, otherwise, you know, they would just be they're usually pretty tyrannical in this game mode. Uh, not this game mode, but this map. I meant to say. Um, all right, so looks like we see Ezra Scout. Yeah, I, I, I forgot it was Nomad also. I, I thought it was just going to be standard, but, you know, I, I love Nomad. Nomad's fun. <laughs> Out of region, it's not worth it. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. All right, so we got villagers coming. Hopefully we can stay ahead of the food curve here. I got one on gold just to kind of start getting us where we want to go. I wonder if somebody built up in the trees. Yeah, it looks like I'm not the only one suffering, so that's good. There's, there's suffering to go around for everyone. I'm curious if anybody set up back here. I don't think there would be gold in the back area, so that would be the only downside, but I'm for sure just gonna set up like a fat Barkshire Palace back here and just hide my king in it. That's the game that's the game plan for now. Alright, we're doing pretty good on wood, and then of course we're getting wood so we can keep expanding our farm infrastructure. Alright, uh let's go here and see who's down there. Oh shit, yeah. We need to build houses, don't we? Yes, the dreaded house block here. Should be able to get it done before we get supply blocks. Okay, so let's grab you, turn in. You can do this. Looking fine, and uh, yeah, we're not going to be blocked for too long. Uh, yeah, I think... I don't think there's any Civ that's like heavily favored in the Nomad format, as far as I know. But again, I'm a little bit out of the loop, so I might know. Be warned, Orange, that means you're only uh, one without non-aggression packs? Wait, is there some is there something called the non-aggression pact here that I'm not aware of? Yeah, I have no idea how this this game mode works. So somebody in chat maybe let me know. Okay, so looks fine. We got more farms coming up, and we can get more farms. Get that English Farmville going. Get a wheelbarrow early. Gunhout says I plan to live in peace. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Gunhound got attacked by uh. By him earlier in the previous one we did he got attacked by uh, Ezra Ezra is definitely pretty scary he's a very good player so all right let's just kind of start hitting the gold hard we have good sustained food economy now like we got you know the English farms holy shit gunhound is the lord of sheep dude look at all these oh can I like steal those somehow could I like dip in there and grab them I don't think you can when they're like near the TC yeah <laughs> you're painting some internal guard very cool I just started painting uh, warriors of chaos army in tabletop I'm doing like a white color scheme, so they have like white armor with like like grime on it and uh, silver lining. It looks pretty cool so far. I'm not like 100% sold on the scheme, but we're getting there. All right, Gunhound, I will accept it. Oh, is there like some sort of an offering of earth and water? Be warned, you still don't share victory though. People trick each other by saying, let's do sacred together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. In exchange for six sheep? Tyranny. Look at the tyrant over here, dude. Yeah, look at him. He's like bullying Gunhound. Oh my god. Where is Red, by the way? I, I need to find out where all the players are. Gunhound says, tell me where to send him. <laughs> oh no, he's, he's giving in to the tyranny. He wants to live. I don't blame him. Oh, whose base is this? This is, uh, okay, somebody who's not going to garrison, hopefully. Yep, we're good. And uh, looks like they're getting the Kremlin as they age up here. We went for Farmville, so our, our tech is going to be a little bit slower, but we know where a lot of the players are. Hunter nearby is uh, certainly going to be... Uh, Someone will probably be doing some Mortal Kombat with. Hmm. That's cool. So you're doing like a Eternal Guard with the different se seasons. Yeah, I like that. That's a, that's a, that's a cool idea. Okay, so we're slow feudal. Um, I have a feeling they're like up here. Somebody's in here as well. Oh, dude, the FFA is my favorite in this game. I, I have been playing some 1v1s to keep the blade sharp, though. I just started playing again, so. Because honestly, I, I was so rusty, and I still am, but... um. 
Yeah, no, I, I just got back into it. Yeah, so we got the Chinese hunter down to the south of us. And now let's grab you guys, do this, and we can go ahead and get the council hall coming here. Outstanding. Get the gold back online. Keep hitting this. I could go 2TC, but I feel like castle is more important here. Yeah, I feel like castle is way more important. Ezra is demand. I know, Ezra is a tyrant, dude. He's, he's demanding things. Look at this. They march. Look at the extortion. I almost feel bad for him. All right. So we also went for early wheelbarrow too. Um, let's go ahead and build this so we can get some of the upgrades that are pertinent. Move over this way. Hmm. And uh, we got our council hall coming. I feel like like fast castle with like aggression behind it is probably the way to go. Yeah. So Aachen Chapel's coming for our HRE player. And uh, so that's why he's like negotiating over there. Somebody's saying green piece, so maybe green is like up here. I could I could suspect that being uh, that being so. All right, uh, let's do this. Cool. Get a little bit more Farmville action going, which is going to be awesome. We'll set those up in the back, and uh, we should be able to wall. Yeah. So here's orange. You barbican to be in. Oh my God, there's politics already. Bretonia and Tabletop. I will play Bretonia and Tabletop when they get their new models. Uh, you can't really get the models right now, so I do plan on collecting uh, Bretonia and Tabletop army, though, so fear not. Okay. Looking good. Um, we need to scout. Looks like there's a little bit of aggression here, maybe, from these guys. I'm not sure. Just to be safe, let's go ahead and set up a tower here. Okay, so we got Barbican. Oh, I legit think somebody's like set up up there, and he's like trapped by the barbecue of the sun. Wow, okay, that's pretty funny. So we got the farms, let's get the uh, harvesting upgrade, and uh, that should be pretty good for us, getting a little tower there. Um, you know what, let's actually set it up, just get some walls coming here. A little bit deeper set would be nice, like this, and uh, then we can go like this. We want to get these relics and make sure nobody grabs them, because right now, I mean, I could make some Strelbora, but I kind of want to just push up to the next age here and see how that goes. The king will always pop out uh, on the upper right of your TC, may come into play. Also, landmark sniping is not a thing. That's cool. Yeah, it's good. So he's got a barbecue right here. I think green is trapped here. Like, I think a lot of people settled on the north side of the map and just kind of got got trolled a little bit. One, two, three. All right. Just kind of do that so we don't have to worry about it. And uh, down here, what do we want to do? Yeah, we got our Chinese neighbor. Let's go see if there's going to be any aggression. He's he's in the second age. Um, yeah, again, we're just going to go castle and then press... So what do we got here? We have the uh, Imperial Official. All right. We could do the White Tower. White Tower is pretty good for aggression, but I think the other landmark is going to be more prudent since we're going like Barcher. Yeah, and uh, we can also come down here and slap a slap a, a tower like right up there. Because that'll give us uh, the increased attack speed if any skirmishes are going on near the base. Yeah, you can pay gold with the king to, to get, yeah, to show, reveal on the map. Yeah, I know that. I do know that element, which is rad. Okay, you guys uh, probably can turn in and then do this to get a better uh, turn-in route because their route is a little bit long right now. I'm your worker. You gotta love English farms. They, uh, they're they awesome. They are awesome indeed. Okay, so China's gonna be going for... Yeah, so they're going for a little bit of greediness there, which is to be expected. China on both sides? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I got double BBQ'd on this map several times. That was pretty brutal. I think we didn't die to it though. We ended up losing the game, of course, but we didn't. Uh, we didn't die straight up to it, right? So, yeah. So we just need a little bit more food, and England is good at getting food, even if you don't have like a ton of like eco. Um, all right. I, I want to go see if like green is here. I need to know like the lay of the land for this map, right? Man, White Tower is so tempting for aggression too, but I think the two TC is just going to be necessary to make sure we don't like fall off too hard. All right. So let's grab you guys, and uh, we can do more farms back. Uh, I actually like the idea of like building back here. Feels pretty good. All right, uh, yeah, let's do this. And a little bit of that. Just kind of cordon off our empire, make sure we're safe. Yeah, castle age for HRE, complete makes sense. Um, you know, I don't know, HRE is going to be probably going pedal to the metal on someone, so hmm. White Tower would be pretty nice to ward off aggression. You know what? I think we're going to go White Tower. I think on a small map like this, it's uh, it's smarter. Okay, so we got this. Looks like there's a Battle Priest coming over here. We have two Relics secured for ourselves. So let's grab you guys and uh, turn in. And then we can bring you over and just do the White Tower like up here. And pull back. 
<laughs> yes. We, it's not like we can kill this guy. Oh, poor Green. Man, Green is all the way up there. Jeez, look at that. So we're going White Tower. Um, I think it's just safer, honestly. And what we can do is we can grab some of the workers and uh, we can start getting some stone to just build another TC. Yeah, I think that's the way. We got three relics near our base. Let's see if we can grab those, even though we're playing England. You know, you still want them. You still want them. Uh, that gate was facing the wrong way. Got to be better about that. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's pull in. Uh, could start on some longbows. I think making some military now wouldn't be a bad idea by any stretch. Try and grab all these relics. Let's go back here. Grab some of you guys. Uh, seven and eight. You guys can head back here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Get those sweet English farms going, man. It's the it's the spice of life. Okay, looking good. White Tower's coming up. I think I think it's safe. We're going to be a little bit weaker in terms of eco, but I think it's uh, I think it's okay. I would rather just not die to some aggression, cause like yeah, I could I could get you know backstabbed on another side of the stream, right? Or uh, the map. We can build a second TC there, so we'll get these guys to grab it, and then uh, we got you back here. Don't know what the lay of the land looks like. We should probably see what it looks like back here, like in terms of like access and whatnot. It's war then, Pink. Wow. Okay, so Pink, uh, Pink is gonna be doing battle with Ezra. It looks like there's already some Mortal Kombat. No. Okay. So we got the White Tower coming up. Gonna be good. Let's get you guys back on gold, and now we can start pumping out uh, crossbows. I think crossbows will be pretty good, and uh, we can do men at arms also, but we're gonna need to build some barracks for that to get the upgrades, I suppose. Let's get the religious building. Um, set you up like so. Yes. I think we have like legitimately three relics like in our lands. White Tower aggression is gonna be getting ready. Definitely need a little bit more of this. And okay, so it looks like there is some access to our base back here. Yeah, so we're gonna need to like stonewall that off to make sure things don't get too bananas. Okay, so we got the longbows and whatnot, looking good. And uh, let's get the barracks coming out. So we can get some upgrades and then we'll get a uh, blacksmith as well. We almost have enough gold for this. Yes, you grab that and then here and then grab this and then here. I think, I'm pretty sure you can queue it up all, all at once like this. Could be wrong. Okay, so China is on two TC greed, so we're gonna go start poking them a little bit. Not like all out aggression, but definitely gonna be getting a little bit crazy. Trying to pick some bills, slow them down a little bit. And you need to just do this. Yep, looks good. Okay, so he's fleeing. Let's we'll see if he gets all the bills away. Yes, yes, flee. We can kind of camp this area. And uh, then the White Tower can start producing. Ah, we don't want to produce horsemen. I thought those were knights. I was like, I could afford that many knights? Wow. Uh, yeah, let's see that. The White Tower can also produce, uh, can also produce, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Just got to slow him down. Because we want that kill on the king, right? Yep, looks like we're secure here, more or less. White Tower can start making some rams, which is quite good. And uh, we got the priest dropping off the relics. I think this is legit his only source of gold. Because the fact that he's coming out here and losing bills is like pretty big for us. But he's playing Song Dynasty China, right? So if we let him just macro, then he's gonna he's gonna just kill us. So we need to uh, we need to shut him down. Since we went for the White Tower route. All right, one, two, three. All right, let's have you guys do this real quick. Come back, do this. We got a ram. All right, so let's start ramming. Let's start the Ramstein. Uh huh. Looking good. Let's get another one of you. And we can start the ram on the house, and we can take the villagers over the, here on the top. Let's get some upgrades, and yeah, we definitely need more gold. We're hurting on the gold department pretty bad. All right, let's take down the character there. Looks like he's going Castle Age, which is going to be a little bit scary for us. So we could actually shut down the Castle Age here. Let's do this. Nice. And yeah, this uh, if he doesn't get to build this, he's just going to get karate chopped. All right, cool. Let's keep the aggression coming. I don't know where he's hiding his king. Somewhere around here, obviously. Okay, looking good. Let's get the White Tower to keep producing the old Ramstein. And uh, it seems calm. Oh, he did sneak out his villagers. But still, he's not going to be able to age up here. Okay, a lot of food for us. A lot of food. We're get, gathering a fair amount of stone. We need to make sure he doesn't age up here too easily. And uh, I do not believe our guys are castle age yet. All right, great. So we just need to make sure he doesn't get castle. And I think we're uh, going to be pretty, pretty well ahead. All right, let's get this. You going to try it? Mm, looks like he wants it. He wants the castle age. He's going to lose a lot of villagers for this, though. If he stays there. And back we go. Let's get you guys. Get the upgrades for the castle age. 
And I think we're in good shape. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. Our food production is really good, and we almost have enough for another TC. We're just kind of like passively doing that. Get some more men at arms here and uh, get you to kind of keep making this. We could just do Trebs too, but I feel like the Rams are pretty cost effective. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, he's stuck in the in the potato age, right? So that's going to be really good. All right, so let's go over here. And uh, we can go ahead and get you in the mix. Um, White Tower, we can throw a Spring Ald on it just in case we get attacked from somewhere else. And good. So yeah, he's still, still really, really behind here. Let's get you guys. Go for this, this, and then this. I don't know what kind of an army he has, but I normally wouldn't be so aggressive so quickly, but we want the um, we want the king kill. Because I know the king kill is very prudent for getting the... Well, not prudent, but it's a, it's a good idea for getting the... What's it called? All right, men at arms, let's go. Chase him down. These guys are kind of camping here, and we can start getting some uh, trebs, which I think will be good. Yeah, he's taking some... Wow, he went triple TC. Jeez, that's really, that's really heavy duty. Okay, let's go here. Looks like some horsemen are coming across. Just a couple, though. Might be okay. So let's get you, get armor clad, and this can sit behind and just start nuking that from behind the gatehouse, which should be pretty safe. We'll take down this TC right here and uh, continue the aggression. Yeah. Oh, and placements cost more now, do they? Okay, I thought something was a little bit funny with that. Yeah, we had some funny business. Okay, so I don't know where his king is, but, you know, we'll come across it here eventually. Let's get some upgrades. Go for the Barbican. Still got you guys camping back here. And the Trebuch Doom is doing its thing. Could make some more rams. Oh, it's his king! Holy shit, we found him! Look at him, he's T-posing! Look at look at the king! Oh my god, where is he going with that? How is he so fast? <laughs> How is he so quick? Holy shit, look at where's this where does he think he's going? Where is he going? Where's that king going, dude? Is he just gonna feed it to someone else? I worked for that thing. All right, we'll keep hunting him. I don't know if we can actually catch him, though, straight up. Oh, my God, that's so funny. Oh, my God. Eledron, hey, Turin, how you doing? <laughs> you heard some whispers about the stream. Thank you for the donation, man. It will come in time. Don't worry, brother. Where is his king? Oh, my God, he's a track star. All right. So how do we use our king's ability to uh, discover the other kings? So we have to click on him. And then, oh my god, he went and fed the king to someone else. Oh, that's so, what a, what a, what a sleazy move. Oh, I did all that work, and now the population cap. Man, that feels bad, dude. I worked for that. All right, well, feels, feels not good. Uh, let's get another TC. We could just do it right here. All right, so we finish off his base. Yeah, the king has an ability. He always, doesn't always move that fast. Yeah, I would wager. God, we worked for that king kill, man. Feels bad. We even paid for the for the treason, right? To go get it. Hmm. Man. All right. So let's get you guys set up. Let's move this way. I put in all the work, microwing and fighting his army, just for that to happen. You know. Kind of admirable. <laughs> the opposite. That is pure villainy, dude. Okay, so we're grabbing some stone. Let's get the uh, mining upgrades, lumber upgrades, food upgrades. Pretty much all the goodies here. And uh, we can just spam out crossbows. All right, some more barracks are on the way out. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see cavalry being better because I could have gotten his king if I just had some cav, right? So. Damn shame. Well, that keep isn't going to hold too long. Not with our, uh, not with our dread legions here. I, I, I don't know who got it. Is there any way to check who got it? To see who got the goods. Okay, let's pull you back. Do this. Uh, network of castles. Pull you in. Set up a little tower here. Attack. And now we have the 2TC. Which is good. Even Skaven had more honor, I know. Tell me about it. Oh, okay. Well, looks like uh, looks like Ezra's going to win. Because he's getting all the, the free farm. Location too bad. GG. Uh, it announces it on the right. Gunhound got it. Okay, Gunhound got it. I'm happy with that. Gunhound's a homie. All right, let's clean these out. Um, just keep our English uh, farm action going. Get ready to go Imperial. Grab more of you guys. We can set up more farms back here. I think we have room. Oh, hello. Quill looking pretty sauced here too, huh? 
And, uh, yep, let's get you, and, uh, let's get this. Gather everyone there. I don't think we win this fight. Yeah, I don't think we do. He's got a pretty good army. I got this corpse as mine. I mean, he could have it if he wants, yeah, I suppose. I don't know what's to be gained, but let's go clear out the space with our rams. He's got a lot of vills coming in, and, uh, let's pull you back. So he is eliminated. Let's pull back into our base. We have the white tower, so I'm feeling pretty confident about, like, any sort of aggression. I don't think he could really do much, unless he's actually wanting to come in Mortal Kombat me here. So we'll gather up everyone. Space is certainly a factor. Space is certainly a factor. Hey, Turin! Just had my fr hey, congrats! Congrats, man! And thank you, uh, thank you for joining! Okay, so Quill's gonna be getting extra crunk here. He's going after my rams. I don't know why. Do you get a benefit from killing people's buildings? Why not convert his military units? Oh, he didn't have that many. And I didn't have a priest nearby either, so, you know, it wasn't it wasn't meant to be. Okay, let's get mangoes. Just kind of keep ecoing here. Looking good. We got 27 farms online. And uh, we're pretty comfortable, I would say. We, we're in a good position, although we are being sieged, which is interesting. So we need to uh, probably start getting more wood infrastructure online so we can play that game. Let's get the counterweight trebuchets. We can do some annoying stuff and bombard this. Our army, is it good enough? He's just going to be able to dive the... Um, He's just going to be able to dive here, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. All right, cool. So we got a fair amount of good quality units coming. We're knocking this down, which is always a pretty big meme. Green expanding out of his base. He's finally escaped his rat's nest. Trebuchets, yes. Let's see what he's going to be shooting here. And uh, yeah, we can, we can go and just start doing some lumberjacking up in the shadows here. The trebuchet duel. Look, isn't this funny? I don't know if we could take his army. Let's see if we could like get a cheeky little trebuchet bombard there. Kind of catch him off guard with it. We might need a... Uh, mm, yeah, we might need... Uh, what's it called? Another one bites the dust, man. And we're not getting any of the goodies. All right. Oh! <laughs> Worth it! Worth it! Oh! Oh my god. We just obliterated his army. Jeez. All right. So now we can definitely push him. With these guys following up, it's going to be a, a tough hold for him. All right, so let's rip a shot here. Looking good. Big damage coming in. Pull a couple of you guys back to pick the bills. And yeah, just keep getting whatever shots we can. He's taking huge eco damage here for this. And yeah, it's fine. We we're getting a ton of uh, really, really brutal damage, I would say. We have three relics too, which is pretty nice. All right, let's keep the grind going. Looks like we're in good shape. That was that was a that was a, felt pretty good. That was a good smash. But the problem is I haven't killed anybody's king, so my population cap is like I'm gonna have smaller armies than whoever's getting the king kills. Enemy capturing sacred side, eh? Yeah, I guess green is gonna be. I mean, killing English is not easy. So, um, yeah, I think next we do a Barkshire back here, and that's where we just kind of plop down our king. Okay, let's do this and do this. We'll get some more keeps there. So it looks like Ezra is going for the sacred sites. Which is interesting. Yeah, we definitely need to start saving up some gold. But yeah, that was a pretty one-sided little fight there that we had. Okay, let's take out some villagers, push them back. Who still is around that has a king? Ventus is in the south. I, I'm going to leave green. Gonna leave ya be green. Yeah, I don't want to make like too many big enemies here, because I want him to um, I want him to fight off Ezra for as long as possible, you know. Yeah, so I can see spamming like cavalry and just sniping could be very very strong here. I can totally see that. Okay, let's do this and get more farms. Clean all this out. Push up, get these guys out of here. He might come back wanting to fight for more. If he does, if he fights, you know, so be it. We'll, we'll take the brawl. But I'm pretty sure our army's better than his. Okay, so we'll chase that siege equipment down. Are we doing an upgrades? Let's keep getting those sweet, sweet upgrades. Yeah, he's taking a lot of casualties. Let's go after this one. Homeboy's got a lot of trebs here, too. Look at this. Wow. Trebs won't win the fights, but they will certainly help you push someone's base and finish them. He does have Shattered Projectile, so he's Imperial Age. He's way actually ahead of me tech-wise. 
Yeah, I need to age up, like, stat. Because his units are all, like, elite and shit, and I'm just, like, potato age. Okay, let's go here. Start doing a little bit of raiding. We gotta, gotta try and shut down his eco. Granted, he did take massive damage against us, so... Alright, so I'm not sure what he's doing coming in with those, but we need to basically just straight up save right now. Go to the next age. Get a marketplace right there. Is he attacking with his bills? Not sure what he's doing. Yeah, he is. It looks like this is fine. So let's get you guys over here. And uh, I would like to be able to set up a keep, but I straight up just don't have the resources. Alright, so let's hammer these bills. Just keep running in circles here. Ezra is probably going to win this. I don't think anybody's messing with him. And like the two English players having a civil war. Again, we need Holy Romans are like arch enemy on this map. He's losing a lot here, but you know, we don't. We, we need to go. Man, I wanted to go Barkshire in the back of the base. But I think we might need it. Yeah, I think like back base Barkshire is the way. Alright, so let's do Barkshire Palace back here. Can get you guys to go work on it too. We did enough damage, I think. It was a pretty solid amount of damage. Let's pull back, pull back. And just kind of chill for now. We don't have the attack speed buffs. I should have done this earlier. Should have done it earlier. Yeah, we, man, we, so can we see who has the pop cap? Let's see, relations. Look at that. So neutrality, friendship. Oh, wow. That's cool. So you can actually, you can actually be friends. You can actually be friends. I'm going to do a little bit of treason and see if I can see where everybody's kings are. Okay, so he's just chilling right there. And this king can uh, head back to the Berkshire Palace. I don't know how aggressive England's going to get. The problem is I can't really like leave and do other things because... Yeah, they're pretty aggressive here. They're pretty aggressive. Um, we do have some stone down there and we have the 2TC, so let's get you guys to go do this. We got the towers. We got gold outside of our base. First things first, we need to get the farming upgrade. Um, so we have a marketplace, if I'm not mistaken. So a little bit of this. Get the farm enclosures. Hunter is there. All right. So let's go ahead and get the elite men at arms. I always find that that's like a really prudent one to get first. And just come and grab the gold from Homeboy's base. He didn't quite finish it, so we can grab that. Quill is over 250. Yeah, no, I bet. He's, he's pretty scary. So do we go with the horsemen? We are getting attacked up there, but it's just a couple of ar loose archers. That's fine. Okay, so clearly the horses are going to be pretty important here. Let's get you. And uh, yeah, just start upgrading our shit, basically. We have a lot of food. Uh, they've been there for ages. He's like concerned about those units. But I legit I legit actually do want peace with him for now. Alright, so we got all the farms looking great. A couple of you guys coming down and we can set up the old uh, the old mill right here. Um, we probably want to get more like walls back here and back here to prevent like sniping and backdooring. And I forgot to put the king of the Barkshire because I'm a potato, but he's back there now, so he should be safe. Oh man, I could totally get backdoored here. I could totally get backdoored. Hmm. So I need to go set up some safety nets. So let's go do this. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we'll set up some safety nets so we could potentially see it coming. Get the elite horseman. I think it's going to be nice. And yeah, we're, we're chilling because he's like green is, a, green is a buffer between, you know, us and our enemies. Right, so I think we're chilling with him. He's going to be our friend. All right, so let's get more villagers out here. We're gathering a bit of stone, which is helpful. Going a little bit hard on the gold, and uh, I did slack on the uh, wood for now, so. Come on, horses. Let's get those horsemen out and some knights as well. We have a lot of gold, so I suppose we should be getting those. Uh, should have gotten Tithe Barns way earlier, but it's all, it's all good. We're not, we're not that far behind here. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lumberjack, you guys have finished the stables. Let's get you back on wood. And now we start to just spam horsemen, and I think we go for, like, a gooning attempt on somebody's king. The forgetful turn. His king is exposed. Yes, well, not for not for long. He's, he's hidden in his keep now, so I think we're okay. Yeah, I could go here, but I actually legitimately want peace with the other English player because I know how good Ezra is, and I'm looking for buffering against Ezra. So if Ezra wants to, like, you know, he's going to have to... He's going to have to go for it. Too many kings still alive, I know. I love that Gunhound got it, though. That's pretty pretty great. Okay, let's get that to get out of the supply block. Get some more upgrades. A decent little quality army. We're, we're definitely going to go for, like a, like, a king raid. I can see how that's, like... Yeah, I've only played the regular regicide, so... Okay, he's, he's going for berry bushes, which is fine. We don't care too much about that. 
Okay, so the house should be finishing here. Let's grab a couple more of you guys. You definitely run out of room on these kind of maps. But let's uh, start torching down the uh, the old Chinese base. This is a landmark, yeah, it is. Well, anyways, we we want the room, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of clear that out and do some walls if possible. Yes, and yes, to kind of secure our lands and take some empire. You guys have gotten all the stone that's possible, so let's get you up on this gold node. Great thing about playing English is we don't care too much about all that, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get a uni, can we? Not quite, man. 450 wood. Jesus, that's a lot. All right, guys. Yeah, it's, it's 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 like five or six for me. For me, that's like late night gaming, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. And then we probably want to get elite Strelbora just because they're awesome. Outstanding. So this is all set. We can set up a little tower here to prevent trundling in the shadows. Yeah, we have a lot of food. I'm just gonna start like incrementally selling it. Yeah, should be fine. All right, great. Let's get the uni up. Torching down the buildings. Don't let don't let them become his vassal. They're gonna be some like the English are gonna be fighting. I have like a large portion of the map to myself, so I'm pretty happy to just like chill over here for now and uh, take it easy. All right, so yeah, we definitely want a better wood economy though. I think I'm like mostly upgraded on wood. That's what she said. Um, yeah, we can take this down, this down, this down. Yeah, that's my house. All right. And we want to get the biology upgrade before we try any like crazy dives, I think. So it looks like they're fighting over the sacred sites. All good. Oh, Gunhound died a long time ago. Okay. He died many moons ago. So Ventus is down here. I'm sure looking, uh, looking nice and strong. Okay, let's get all the military infrastructure up. And uh, we can go and just kind of see what's cracking. So let's pop our king out. I wish there was like a hotkey for this so I didn't have to like... Okay, so the king is legit just hiding in there. Alright, so let's just take our horsemen. Go do a little bit of a dive. I don't know if it's enough horsemen to really like get away with it, but... We're just gonna go see. So let's, uh, let's begin our attacks here. Just ride straight to the base. So we're gonna attack. Hopefully he won't notice. Oh man, his base is... Talk about entrenched, huh? He's still got his king chilling in the main building, though, so we, we're going to get some bills here. Okay, so let's surround the TC. And uh, move past it, and then we can start torching. Yeah, we didn't bring enough horsemen. We did not. It's all good, though. We definitely needed more. Like, I'm talking like a, just a fat erect stack of horsemen. We are getting some good damage in, though. Maybe we should call the men-at-arms in to come help. Yeah, I don't know where his army's at. Let's just get these villagers. Because then we can just follow up with, like, more aggression after that, right? Okay, so he's losing a lot of bills. We got men-at-arms coming from the other side. Yeah, I don't know where his army is. Does he just not have an army? It's weird. Well, anyways, let's come down here. We got the TC pretty low. He's taking, like, massive economic damage. So I suspect he's not going to be able to get away. We know his king's hiding in here. We can see it. So I think we get a king kill, which is good. We need that to become, like, a contender, right? Because otherwise we're just, like, you know, a peasant. Oh, look at that, Wololo. Okay, let's go intercept him real quick. He was going to try and Wololo us. He was going to make a, a, a quick play. His army returns. Let's find the king as soon as it pops out. Oh, there it is. All right, the king is there. And it looks like we got him trapped. All right, so the king is ours. Uh, that's going to be toast. There's no Wololos coming, and that should be the end of this army. He's got a lot of HP. Look at that, jeez. We had to get like a full legit surround. All right. So that's that's a that's a big win for us. That is a big win for us. Now we are like actually like in the game in terms of supply. Okay. Let's get you down here. Down here. Uh, we can get the army tactics and this. And uh, do we need gunpowder? Probably not. Probably getting the arrow upgrades is better for like longbow spam and whatnot. Okay. Looking good. Let's go get the relics if we can. I think there's still one sitting in the base. So we can bring it back here and set up another building because obviously it's not going to be enough. All right, cheeky cheeky. Had no business getting my king sniped with so many keeps. I know. I saw. I was surprised. He had like 50 keeps, dude. He was like, yeah, he was he was chilling there. I don't like how there's like a massive like base being built on my border, but I also want to stay true to my like non non aggression pact. Uh, you got you can't I can't let you just have like all this gold. I'll let your villagers live. But we need we need this gold for England, James. 
Okay, let's get you guys out. Let's get the burning oil. We can get a keep here. Do we have enough for a keep? Oh, wait, are there no keeps in this? Wait, what? Am I crazy? Oh, no, it just got changed, uh, changed location. Okay. Let's decap this as well. Those keeps are pretty cool. I do think a system where when somebody kills you, they become your vassal could also be a very fun game mode. You know, like uh, like if you kill the king, you, you like subjugate them and whatnot. That could be really cool. Well, looks like we're going to get that relic. We could wololo some of these camels. But I don't, I don't want people to know I'm down there with it, so I'm not going to do the wololo. All right, so now we're just chilling. Yeah, we're going to do a standard FFA for the next one. Yeah, right after this. We're going to do a standard FFA. Um, who's left? So we got Quill, Ezra. Uh, there's four of us. Okay, that's great. Green, green looking awfully sus here. As the kids would say. Uh-huh. So you want to brawl? Not sure. I don't have a good army, but I can macro one out. That's good. I don't, I don't intend to fight, but like, yeah, like I said, I will if I have to. Okay, he wants to actually fight, so we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Okay, let's take the knights, just right into his base. So right through, right through. And just fight with everyone else. And then basically just gather out units here. Let's get U14. And we can uh, set up a keep here. Like right there, it's gonna be good. So yeah, a little bit of raiding is always good when you're playing against English. You wanna you wanna do that to break the stalemate. All right, hand, gunner, hand cannoneers, and yeah, it's fine. Pull you guys away, and now we got raiding into his base, I think. No, not quite. Okay, so let's see if we can find a way in back there. All right, villagers back in, help build the keep. And he did stop that from being built as well. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to fight the English, which is a shame. Yeah, usually there's a way in in these like little corner, corner places. So we can just keep riding into his base and trying to raid if we can. Okay, let's get you guys out there. You guys here. And cannoneers are chilling. Let's go take these guys down. And uh, we got 20 bills. Can we go finish that keep? Is it going to finish? Nope, oh, we forgot to cancel that. That's a shame. All right, so white tower is up. Um, we have another keep finishing, so we should be pretty secure against raiding. And it looks like we've uh, idled all of his farms and stuff. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So we need more space to build infrastructure. So let's go down here. Set all that up. Keep get macroing, should be able to win. Here we got his farms idled, so he's got all his vills hiding. Not all of them, so we're gonna get some more villager kills here, which is great. And yeah, we're gonna push back his armies now. No problem, I think. Uh, is there any more stone walls we wanna do from this direction? Yeah, looking good. Keep moving out, keep the grind going. I think the hand cannoneers could make a difference. I don't know why they're repairing that landmark. Let's, we're not here to ask questions, just roll with it. Set up some more towers. I think we're still in range of the uh, network of castles. I think so. And how's the raid looking back here? Yeah, he's struggling to deal with the raid, it looks like. It's 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 actually doing quite a bit of damage. I'm losing a lot of eco here. Yeah, we we did we fought Ventus or, well, Ventus was backstabbed earlier. I wouldn't say we fought. It was it was me just backstabbing his base. Alright, so we won the fight. So let's start dragging all these down and we got raiding in the back. It looks like he finally dealt with it. Okay, looking good. And uh, then we can do a little bit of this. Drop that in there. Two, three, four, five. All right, so here he comes with some knights, but we have hand cannoneers and knights of our own, so I think we're chilling. We can also start making some spears, because they're pretty useful. Looks like he was maybe thinking about raiding around in my base. I'm not sure. All right, so you guys fight. Spears. The classic English grind. Always a, always a fun time. Okay, let's do this, build some walls. And then you guys can come over here and do a little bit of lumberjacking in the shadows. He's gonna he's gonna probably get backstabbed by Ezra is my guess. Isn't my army population supposed to be 250? I guess it only shows if I go over it, right? Which seems like it's just like a crazy big deal. Yeah, we need to fall back to our keeps and stuff. We're giving him good fights in his like by his keeps. Let's fall back and fight here. Catch the overextend, hopefully. And uh, we can start making rams in here in a minute. Green going for sacred, yeah. Well, Green's looks to be pretty strong. He must have gotten some king kills or something, I'm not sure. He must have gotten some old king kills. All right, so we need a little bit of gold. Um, I know there's some down here. 
See if we can grab that. Because the problem is we're gold starved, so his army quality is just going to start getting better than mine. I don't think he's gold starved. He's got the sacreds and everything. So yeah, he's getting attacked by somebody else or else he wouldn't be running for me like this. He would he would be happily fighting me. Because he's got way more gold. It's pretty obvious. Let's get the beams. The beams with the fur. And you guys can do this. Start lumberjacking back here. Obviously he's privy to this. Looks good. Do you, do, do you need the houses to go over the 200? Let's see. Let us see. Uh, what is the aggression? Hostility? Become hostile? I don't know what those effects do. I'm brand new to this game mode, so. Uh, Alright, let's make some springs. And I guess the rams can just come out front. We could just start ram signing things down. Green might be able to kill us. He's looking pretty strong. I think he's cackling on the gold. Um, let's go down here and just see if we can grab this. It's going to be safer. All right, so gather up, gather up. Okay, so we do need houses to go over the 200. Got it. Okay, more of you guys, more horsemen. You should go from red. I'm coming towards you. Uh-oh, someone's coming to attack me, huh? Yeah, this guy's way ahead of me. He's got a lot of resources, man. But we'll scrap hard, we'll scrap hard, and we'll give him a good fight. Um, I never got the elite longbows, which is really potato. Longbows are, well, I guess, I don't know how useful they are against another English player who's going to be using a lot of heavy armor and stuff. Yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to lose those bills. Yeah, so we're just like kind of kind of taxed for gold here. Okay, let's do this. We got the Spring Alts of Doom. All right, so let's attack here. Take the fight here. And we can just go after the Springs or the Artillery Fields. All right, so let's go you, 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 and you. Yeah, he does see them, obviously. That's fine. Let's get some knights to go back there and dive those. Horsemen are obviously always a pretty good call against such equipment. And uh, the rams are clearing some shit out too, so that's good. All right, one, two, three. Looking excellent. And uh, let's just get horsemen, and we can get archers. And rams can just keep going. Yeah, the rams are making progress. They're burning down farms and causing some havoc. His front line isn't, like, too crazy strong. Ezra just killed a bunch of our... Uh, a bunch of our goodies, unfortunately. He, we, we are just like, yeah, Ezra is harassing us now, too. So, yeah, we're in a 2v1 situation, which is going to be rough. Um, so let's go back here, knock these down. So we just need to turtle now, because we're effectively getting raided by Ezra, yeah. So yeah, he's killing my, he's cutting off my production, my reinforcements and stuff. Green is super rich. I don't know. I don't know if him and Ezra are on a team. I don't know if they are. But they could be. Uh, you and Ezra on a team? I don't know if they are. I feel like they might be. Like they, The fact that they're not fighting and they're right next to each other is very suspicious. Alright, so we got the old uh, prison shanks coming out. Let's pull back to the White Tower. Hand over relics. And oh, I know. It's fine. He, he, can, he, can, he can say if he wants. I don't give in to bullying tactics. Um, Alright, so let's get that. There's no way. Yeah, with both of them attacking me and cutting off my gold... I only have attacked people so far who've attacked me. Oh, I see that. All right, let's keep going. We have Barkshire chilling in the back, so we can survive for a while under such pressure. Okay, let's just get Mass Spears coming out because he's mostly spamming horses and whatnot. Let's get you guys coming to repair this. And uh, we never got the cannon upgrade, which is pretty potato, but hopefully, hopefully we can get that going. Okay, Spears and you horses go this way. So let's get you guys going on the uh, cannon and cannon. See if we can shut it down. Looks like these spearmen are doing good. They're they're slowly making some progress. We do get a little bit of pressure into the back, but not as much as I would like. Come on. Keep the old rams going. Just keep spamming crappy units. All right, and then we want to get some siege equipment if we can. But we're very far behind right now. We have no gold. Like, we've been gold starved. I feel like I had an opportunity to kill Green that I really, really blew it. Like, when I let him off after beating his army several times, then he just took map control. And uh, obviously isn't being attacked by Ezra either, I don't think. Okay, pulling back, pulling back. We might have to hide our king, like, deep in the depths of hell. Okay, let's move back and just do some artillery diving here. Okay, spears. Yeah, it doesn't matter if we lose these too much. And we'll get you guys coming down as well. Okay, keep killing artillery, keep killing artillery. It's our only chance. We just got to kill as much siege equipment as we possibly can. It doesn't matter if we lose our uh, our landmarks here. So that does not matter too much. 
Okay, so we need some more infrastructure. We got the mangoes coming. And just finish off these rams. Yeah, there we go. That's going to slow his roll a little bit, but not too much. Um, Barkshire in the back will hold for some time, but we're probably going to need another keeper. Like a tower back here where we can hide our king. Yeah, we're, we're in trouble, dudes. We're in serious trouble. I don't know if the king's going to be able to get away either. It depends if somebody else intervenes and like backstabs him. Ezra screwed us when he, he took our gold out. I, was, I had to start making crappy units to fight back here. All right, so let's go for the cannons. See if we can finish those off. I don't think we are going to even be able to, to be fair. Uh-huh, and uh, let's make some hand cannoneers, but we have like barely any food production now either. It's pretty rough, dude. It's pretty rough. I think we're in trouble. Um, relics are here. Let's go ahead and make some wooden walls just to like buy time. Oh, man. Okay. We got our, our spear legions coming, but that's pretty much it, and our food is so bleak right now. I don't think there's too many ways we can escape with our king. I mean, he's going to get close here. Um, so we need to just, like, run you to the corner. So the king has movement. Oh, it costs food to do that. That's really funny. So the king is fleeing. We're going to try and get away for as long as possible. Um, we have a spear legion, which is here. Yeah, I don't know if there's any too many ways to escape here, unfortunately. Barkshire is uh, going to die. Then he's going to probably be able to punch through here. Holy shit. How does he have vision? Oh, did he just pop his vision thing? Oh my god. Oh my god, rats in the deep. I have to I have to channel my inner Smeagol here, guys. To just try and survive. We can sneak up on his artillery here. Alright, Smeagol, give me your power. Give me your power, Smeagol. Come on. Come on. <laughs> give me your power. I channeled the Smeagol. All right, let's uh, take some of these guys down. Yeah, I should have just killed them when I had the chance. Yeah, it's, it's what I get for being diplomatic. Uh, all right, so let's pull this away. I know, I'm running towards green. I'm just buying as much time as I possibly can. Okay, so the villagers are fleeing. Uh, I don't think there's legit any way of getting away here, guys. Oh, no, he's got walls here. Oh, man, we're in danger. All right, let's shank these villagers down. It's our last act. <laughs> Give me your power. Save me, Tom Cruise. Okay, so we got another layer of walls there. But there's just an unholy amount of units. Hey, we got a lot of villagers. I, I would wager... Thank you. Thank you, Smeagol, for your uh, channeling power. I think Ezra will probably win this, would be my guess. Um, just based on the fact that he's been left alone over there. And he's probably going to go... Like, as soon as I die, he's probably going to go wonder. Look, can we flee through the gatehouse? Let's see. Can we actually like go through there? Oh no. Oh no, king. Let's pop this. See if we can hide in the fog of war. Oh, oh, oh no, Barkshire can see him there. He's got his daggers out. <laughs> He's got his daggers out. Yeah, Ezra's gonna win this for sure. Yeah, it was a really smart play of Ezra to raid me while I was battling, you know, cause it, it uh, Allows him to just focus and build a wonder. Because he had a minimal investment. It was just a couple horsemen, right? Yeah, GG, for sure. GG. Let's see what the map looks like. Uh, let's see how it's going. All right, what do we got here? Yeah. Ezra is probably going to get him. He's he's just preparing. A, yep, look at this. He's already backstabbing him. We knew this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. Yeah, because now he's he's already getting backstabbed by HRE. Oh, man. Yeah, no. Look at look, look, look at this. Oh, what a treacherous, what a treacherous uh, tactic. I love it. But you know, that's, uh, yeah. I could have ran the king south, it's true. I should have done it earlier. I really should have. Um, but he could have found me and just chased me down, probably. But yeah, Ezra is going to kill him now. Like, his whole base is in ruin. You could see he's just, he's just fighting a fully erect HRE army with rams killing everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. GG, well played. Hey, let's get another one in. That was super fun. How the hell do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Settings. Uh, is there any way to escape? I'm trapped. I'm trapped. View summary. There we go. Okay. GG, well played, man. I didn't say my precious. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised he didn't... Uh, well, Quill seems... To, he was a, The English player I was playing seemed to be a very strong player, too. So He had so much gold. He was so rich. He must have been mining gold out of the middle of the map for a long time. I, I was making like spears and horses against it. His good shit. All right. So round two, if you played in the previous one, please don't join this one. Um, turn FFA round two. Um, we will do a standard 
Yeah, we'll do standard. Here we go. And game mode is gonna be none. So the tuning pack should be standard, allow observers. I forgot how to leave a game, it's true. I'm, I'm, I'm falling behind. What map do we wanna do here? Uh, we could just do mega random. Mega random maps are always fun. Yeah, let's just do a mega random. All right, random sieves. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. So let's see what we got. It's time. Random sieves, everybody. You too, Siberius. So we need Siberius on a random sieve. It's funny because the, the flag for the Abbasid looks pretty similar to the random sieve. <laughs> random sieve, uh, Sai and Siberius. <laughs> it's random sieve time, baby. Hey, don't worry. Um, Allied, you can host the next one, dude. We're, the next one is going to be a casted FFA, and you can, you can, you can host that. Yeah, no problem. So you and I guarantee you, I'm doing one more after this, even if this one goes really long. I guarantee it. So, um, looks like we're fine as long as only one person isn't on a team. I think we're good. All right, let's do it. Let's have some fun. Thanks for joining. We're back, baby. Good luck. Some smoking hot age vampires. Please don't kill me. No, age isn't. Uh, age isn't in good shape. I would say. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to slow down a little bit. And obviously, I'm streaming at night. My, my streams always do far, if you're looking at numbers, my streams always do way worse at night because um, a lot of the you know channel lives in Europe. Um, but I do think Age is going to get pummeled pretty bad when Stormgate comes out. Like in terms, I think most of the pros will probably leave Age to go play uh, Stormgate would be my guess. I think that will be like the, the big test unless Stormgate just sucks. And then, you know, then they'll stay with Age, but we'll see. It also depends, though, because Microsoft puts a lot of money into Age of Empires for like all those huge tournaments you see these like content creators hosting. Um, those are funded by Microsoft, so yeah, it's it's a uh, it depends if Stormgate's going to have that kind of capital in their esports scene that will really dictate where the pros go as well. You also need to run uh, build a king with a gatehouse that he can book it into the shadows. That seems like fun, yeah. When do you want to do another tourney? Oh, sometime next week. Sometime next week. But yeah, I think a lot of the RTS pros will go to Stormgate because if it does live up to the hype and it's the next StarCraft game, then yeah, obviously that's where you're going to want to be on the ground floor. But um, yeah, you can always come back to Age as well. Holy shit, I got Mongols. Oh God, did I really? No, Malians. I know how to play Malians. Malians are fine. They're they're cool. I played them a little bit before I took a break from Age. Oh yeah, and when the next Civs drop, it'll for sure see a push. Age of Empires is a great game. It's honestly, they did a good job with it. It's really fun. The multiplayer, FFA, it's just a great time. So we got uh, Sai, Siberius, Nani, Ori, Nanu, Chris is back, Masso, Masu, Masso, myself, and Captain Miller. So should be good. It's go time, baby. Yeah, Stormgate's going to get really sweaty, I bet, for sure. Like, you're going to see, I bet you'll see, like, all the uh, dedicated Age of Empires content creators, like, going over to that, would be my guess. I mean, which makes sense. You know, you, you got to make a living, right? And if that's where, uh, you know, the hype is. Yeah, no, the Stormgate is having an alpha test soon. I didn't get invited to it. I did I did reach out like a long time ago and ask, but yeah, I was bummed. I, it's not like I would be able to show anything. It's just like a closed alpha test or beta test or whatever, but uh, man, I was bummed. I really wanted to play it. You know anyone at Stormgate? <laughs> Hook me up. I would love to play. I would love to play. I'm so excited. I remember the days when RTS was at the top of the gaming world. Yeah, it's a very niche genre for sure, um, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, it's... It's a little, the barrier to entry in RTS is really hard compared to like a lot of other games, right? Like if you look at MOBA games, though there's a, a great depth of complexity to like a game like Dota or even League of Legends at the higher levels. It's like you only need to know four or five buttons to manage a character. I've, I've known friends who aren't gamers, who never played, barely play games, maybe like dabbled in console a little bit. And, um, you know, they were able to pick up, pick up a game like, uh, oh, hello. They're able to pick up a game like, what's it called? Uh, like, like League of Legends very quickly. Like, you know, it, it tells you what items to buy. Like, it's pretty simplistic. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, let's see how this goes. They saw my Brutalist videos, yes. The Dreadlord Brutalist comes. Okay, let's go see what else we can find. Age of Empires is very complicated. Like, I, I, I know it's not an easy game to get people into who don't have a background in RTS or, like, gaming in general. But, you know, I, I, that's like what makes RTS cool is that it's like kind of challenging, right? And there's like a lot of lot of depth to explore and the mechanics are intense. Um, 
Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Malians are fun. They get like a good source of gold. So we just need to make sure to get effective pit mines uh, up and running. All right, so let's see this. See who our neighbors are. They'll still have a Phoenix opening. Yes, I remember. Man, I, I played a lot of StarCraft. I played a, a lot of StarCraft. Yeah, we're going to get the cows going. We're gonna. Our milkshake will bring all the cows to the yard. And uh, we will set up the uh, the old cow pens. Freemba probably isn't what it once was, I would wager. All right, so we got the turn-ins here. We're getting our houses. Looks good. Hey, look at that. We got some water on the top side of the map. Yeah, fighting games are... Uh... Who's got this private river in the corner? Uh, I want in on that. I, I'm not like part of the private river community at the moment, but I definitely want in on it. Okay, let's take these sheep back so we don't run out. My sheep has an anti... My scout has an anti-sheep magnet, says Nanu. That's really funny. All right, that's enough. We can just go focus on food now. Um, I could even set up a little bit of a river economy too. The problem with doing river is that it's gonna make me... Um... <laughs> it says Smeagol up in the corner. <laughs> Wall him in. <laughs> he must be contained. Oh my God, that's so funny, dude. I love that Smeagol's in the corner just cackling. Yeah, all right. It, so Spiegel spawned up in the top right. Yeah, that's hilarious. Okay. Get a little bit of food going here. So we're going to delay our feudal. Have had time to play uh, Age for the past few months, but glad to see the stream tonight. Cheers. Hey, right back at you. Appreciate you, man. Hopefully you enjoy the stream. It's, uh, it's going to be a fun one. And let's go uh, down here and just do this. Like a little bit off the beaten path, so our fishing isn't quite as obvious. And uh, yeah, we should be good. Oh, he's playing Malians too? Interesting. Okay, so let's turn in. Then we can go over here. And unfortunately, uh, we are being hunted by wolves. Wow, really? Just the dreaded double wolf ambush here. I don't know if my scout's going to win or my villager. Hopefully he will. I'm going to bring this guy down just to make sure. The Chad Malian villager. Okay, so yeah. Almost getting to the next age while also getting our fishing going. Oh, save him! Okay, we're good. Holy shit, that was close. Let's make sure there's no other wolves over here so we can save this character. Yeah, looking like it's okay. Yeah, we're going to do a casted game right after this. Yeah, we're going to do the big old FFA. All right, so we haven't really like gotten good intel on who's where and whatnot. But um, aside from that, we're okay. Um, we're going to get our fishing up. It's it's stupid to not fish. Smeagol is definitely like any game FFA game. He really knows FFA. He's super good at it. And he's a great player too in 1v1, I'm sure. But um, yeah, he's he's won many of our FFA games. Okay, let's do this. Look around, see what we got. Set up a little fishing here. Siberius is there. And what we can do is we can do this. Don't you attack my villager, dude. Don't do it. I know you don't want to. So we're going to wall that. Let's go see who's in what corners. And we're pretty close to aging up here. Just need a little bit. All right, so let's do this. And we're going to go for the Mansa, I think. Just to get the uh, good infinite stone, basically. The duel in the wilds, indeed. All right, so let's grab a couple of you guys, do this. Uh, you know, I do need some sheep, so we're gonna take it if Nanny wants to donate. Oh my God, what's going on here? You guys just seeing the dreaded sheep donations? <laughs> just all these sheep donated? Oh my God, that was really funny. It was Nanu and uh, Siberius just donating their sheep. Oh man, that's really funny. <laughs> okay, someone came and got his sheep, but yeah, that's oh wow, that's really funny, dude. All right, so where do we have all these villagers? Oh, they're still in the garrison. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Okay, so we're getting to the next age here in a second. Let's go see who's up in the top. We need to kind of see where this party's going to be going. Obviously, fishing is still going nicely. What made you decide to go new PC instead of? Uh, yeah, uh, there was a couple variables. You can DM me about it if you want, Gunhound. I can. Run down all the basics for you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And uh, yeah, we can get a little bit of forest reaction. Why not? The wild scout donations. I know. I got to see. I got to confirm Smeagol is up here, though. We have to know where the terror and the old knight lies. Smeagol's what what uh, people, uh, parents tell their kids about at night, so they, so they behave. Oh, it's Siberius up here. Oh, so there's another river. Smeagol must be on the other side. Oh, so it's Siberius up here. Okay. Look at that. It's another one. 
which is another foe. All right, so let's get our other pit mine up. I don't need a second TC since I have fishing, in my opinion. I think that's going to be enough. So let's get the fishing nets. And uh, yes, we will now set this on gold. Yeah, gold for faster castle age and then stone later on. All right, so let's grab a couple of you guys. Come here. Grab another pit mine. And uh, that will hopefully get our gold going and we can start mining this one out. How are we looking here? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I would say this is a good start. Uh, if if I remember turns AOE 4 play, he may... Yeah, we do get a lot of relics. There was a time when I used to win a lot of FFA games, for sure. Um, back when I was playing this game mostly as my primary game, but those times have long since passed. The people who play on our Discord have pretty much passed me in terms of skill um, for FFA, and probably a lot of them in 1v1 too. But, you know, we still put up a good fight, which is all that matters. Um, okay, so we know who's up here. Yes, let's go explore the rest of the map. We're kind of in a weird, like, central location, which kind of low-key sucks. But, um, yeah, it could be worse. Okay, and then we do this. We're looking for friends in this dark world. Yeah, no, there's there's already foes being made. Yeah, so we're going to have the new computer set up this week, um, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, you'll have better graphics, all sorts of good stuff. Yeah, the specs in my uh, would, would be out of date at this point. Yeah, they would be. So what do we got up here? Siberius is playing. Uh, he's HRE. We straight up haven't found any relics. Those were the days. Dude, I, I love Total War Warhammer, though. I have so much fun with that game. Like, it's it's like... Yeah, it's it's a great time. Oh, we got Masso, the Dreadlord of Spears over here. Okay, so we know who's, like, near us, more or less. Um, we're going to go mostly cavalry and probably bring, like, Sofa. Let's get this, just in case there's a little bit of strange aggression. Keep the fishing boats going. We got a lot on lumber. What, what the hell is going on here? Jesus, I thought I told him to build that. I must have misclicked. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm, I continue to keep playing this game. Like, I, I really like it. It's fun. Like, even if it's just once a week, come on, hang out with the old crew. I, I love our Age of Empires people, man, that we play with. We got such a cool group of people here. We got such a cool crew. All right. Oh, I hate, when it's not symmetrical like that, it just haunts me, man. It just haunts my soul. Okay, so approaching the castle age here. A little bit of a little bit of hostility going on on the other side. I like that. All right, cool. And we're getting our second ore pit up, which is going to be outstanding. Can pull some view in, switch you onto the sheep, and then we can get the blacksmith here. So sofa sofa spam is pretty good. Sofa spam is pretty good. All right. So how are we looking on the food department? Yeah, we're getting there. We're kind of close. We're not gonna. We're gonna be a little bit greedy and not build any units until the uh, time has come. And uh, looks like we do have a sacred site here that we could grab. We have our nice fishing outpost here. No, nope, we don't want to make any Sophie yet. We're just saving up. And uh, let's get a trade post while we're at it. Always good to have one of those to balance your economy, especially with gold rich civilizations like Malians. That's gonna be pretty clutch. All right, back to the wood you go, baby. Smeagol already has a TC in each corner of the map. I, you know, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I uh, I wouldn't be surprised, to say the least. All right, so let's do this. And we can set up the, uh, not the Frimba. We want to do the Grand Fulani Corral. And where do we want to do that? Like over here? Yeah, it's not the best spot, but it's open and, you know, it's going to it's gonna get us what we want. All right, so gold mining is going good. We have plenty, and it looks like the ore pit is done. So we need to... Preemptively get ready to claim another ore pit, which uh, would probably be down here, like this big open one. And we're going to get the uh, the pastures going, get that sweet, sweet food economy. Granted, we're already very, very good on food, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to be this king of sofas, dude. I'm going to be selling some sweet sofas here at, uh, at Turin Expo. Uh, we can start gathering stone now. I think that's going to be the time for that. Yeah, the time is now. All right, outstanding. We can set up you. And the reason why we set this up is because not only will it give us that deer camp, but it will uh, it will allow us to produce cattle uh, for our ranches. I think that's enough fishing. I think we're a little bit too hard in the fishing. Yeah, I think we're a little bit too hard in the fishing. Okay, is there anything here? Nope, looks like it's just a wild scout running by. It's Smeagol. Smeagol knows where I am. Uh, let's get the wheelbarrow. Going to be one of the first things we do when this finishes. Yep. We don't. Yeah, the food farming upgrade, I guess, is okay. Probably not super worth. But regardless, uh, you guys will come back here when you're done. 
Because we need wood to get those uh, that, that infrastructure set up. Alright, so people are reaching Castle Age. Siberius is Castle Age too, our northern neighbor who could be getting aggressive with us, I'm not sure. And uh, we need that ore pit, so we're just going to kind of chill out here for a minute. Start building houses. Let's get the upgrades. And yeah, again, he's playing what? He's playing the HRE. Alright, HRE is pretty good. Definitely not a bad sieve. Dude, he's getting some... He's gonna. Someone's going to get some sofa action. I don't know who it is yet, but we're feeling it out. Alright, so in the meantime, you guys can just gather some stone, and then we can set up that ore pit once we have the resources. Castle Age upgrades. Let's go see what it looks like up here. Let's see what's going on in the neighborhood. And then you guys come over and get on these deer. And uh, we can just kind of keep pumping out the sofa. Just getting a little bit hog wild on the villagers, as I always do. Alright, so he's walled. He's chilling. He's expecting a little bit of aggression, perhaps. Yeah, so far are great units. They're really, really strong. We need to get that ore pit online. Alright, there we go. Alright, so sofa time. Unleash the sofa. It looks like Spiegel's being attacked by somebody. He's, he, he was betrayed by someone close to him. Someone he loves, it would seem. And look at this! Look at his shit! Look at that! Look at this, guys! He thought I wouldn't notice? Oh my god, dude. You're such a troll. You're such a troll. Look at that. Look. He came and raided me. Oh my god. What a meme that is. We're not letting him get away with that gold. Just on principle, dude. Look at him. Oh, that's so troll. Sounds good, darling. We will. He thought he was going to get that from me. Oh, he almost did, too. Oh my god. That's really troll, and I love every second of it. Alright, so let's do this. And uh, we need to build more uh, infrastructure, so let's do this. And get you, and build some barracks here. Barracks are for the uh, anti-infantry, obviously. So let's go say hello to our neighbor, see what he's up to. You know, just introduce ourselves. Be very polite, very cordial, but, you know, we need to see what's going on here. Alright, cool. So we're going to try and press him a little bit, see if we can, you know, get lucky. He might not be... Dude, he stole... I can't believe that. I can't believe it went down like that, man. It's hilarious. Okay. Alright, Sofa. Let's get in there. Let's go see what this base is made of. And uh, any other upgrades? Yeah, we can get more melee upgrades since he's HRE. He's probably going to have mostly melee. There's a scout sitting in the bushes from Siberius watching me. And uh, what kind of tech do we have? Hopefully he doesn't have spears. That's, that's what I got to watch out for. Alright. So let's go here and here. Kill these spearmen before they can gather and get a critical mass. Yeah, it looks like they're not like terribly upgraded, so. And then, cool. Looking good. And we can start setting up the pastures around this. Alright, this is going to be pretty brutal. I think he's going to be in some serious danger. He's going to get some spears out, but he's going to be taking uh, eco damage 100%. Okay, and then we can start sending you over. We got Sofa wiping him out up top. And it looks like we did get raided down here by Nanu? Interesting. Interesting little raid there. Mm -hmm. Alright. So yeah, this is a pretty brutal little raid. We just got all his vills. He's basically dead. He is toast. We have a couple units on the way. Um, as long as we're still capable of taking a player out, I'm, I'm happy with where we're at. But I think Siberius is in big, big trouble. Um, looks like, wow, we're getting raided pretty heavily by a bunch of very hard spearmen down there. Those are not soft spearmen. Those are uh, hard spearmen. So yeah, let's set up a little tower here. I wanted to finish Siberius off, if I could. Um, let's go for the TC. Go for the landmark snipe, I guess. And just try and finish the job. Because we could get attacked here, um, for sure. <laughs> look, at the, look at the villainous Palpatine. All right, let's use that stone to get spring all towers. Okay, let's get the Muso Fatty coming in. And uh, yeah, keep chasing, looking to see what else he's got around here. It's now or never. Yes, I am a, I am such a tyrant. Uh, yeah, he took down one of my ore mining pits. That's, that's Trixie Hobbits's. Okay, so let's keep you guys pumping out. It's going to slow us down a little bit. I don't know if it was ultimately worth it, but it's, it's sending a message. We're going to have Spring All Towers. Okay, so it looks like we are getting attacked here. Interesting. Who's that by? Nanu? Yeah, we were going to have to pull back, sadly. Yeah, because we're, we're being betrayed. 
For the last time, we have been betrayed. Do a little scoot and torch throw. He just got Imperial Age units. Okay, let's pull. Pull back here. We'll go finish off the HRE after this. We just need to keep Nanu in check. Okay, so let's do this. He's going after my Grand Fulani Corral, which is a curious choice. And let's just keep punishing the HRE with a couple loose units here and there, just so they can't get back on their feet. All right, so villagers are in okay shape. Let's get on the wood. We need to get an ore mining pit back online. The dreaded backstab is upon us. And uh, yeah, unfortunately we're supply blocked now. All right, let's go here. Get a couple of you guys do this. Houses just for the supply gods. All right, so let's get a surround on the spears and then attack. Should be able to get him here, no problem. And the HRE is still taking losses. Let's go up over the top, keep harassing, and it looks like that army has been dealt with. So let's get you guys to repair this. And uh, we definitely get a keep set up here to prevent this uh, this haggard harass. All right, so yeah, farms. Yeah, I mean, the pastures in theory were supposed to handle that. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten any relics. We're kind of in the pits. All right, let's go back to the HRE now. We gotta We got to keep the momentum, stay effective, you know. All right, so let's farm, do this. This is being repaired. Have a couple of Muso Fatty doing their things. So let's go up here, take the troopers back, and we might need to uh, re-wall here. Yes, yes. All right, so cattle, go my cattle. Yeah, it looks like he re-walled it, well played, well played. And is he trying to like do something with his bills here on the river? Oh my God, that's so mean. Let's just farm on the other side. Okay, so hopefully Nanu will chill out for now. And we can set up a, uh, a good old keep here to prevent that from happening again. Take our units, keep harassing, bring the main army up. Yeah, we can't let them get away with that, that's for sure. All right, let's get the keep, get the keep. We are going to make some units in the base to defend as well. Yeah, because he's he's got literally has knights sitting on my border, so like clearly it looks like he wants, wants to attack. Let's kill his infrastructure so we can't keep producing units. Okay. Outstanding. Back to the trees you guys go. And uh, yeah, we just mass spears here and just while we deal with the HRE. Okay, he finally did get those units, but I think we can polish him off here. We're going to have to see. Let's get you guys out. You guys are chilling. The spear upgrades. I guess I'm going to have to go with some basic farms. Just because our food sucks pretty bad right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, eight. All right, so how's this looking? Yeah, he's thinking about coming over here and doing a little bit of raiding, but now that we have a keep here, I think we're, I think we're a-okay. All right, let's keep taking out the infrastructure so we don't get harassed too badly. Um, just sell some wood. We got spring all towers all over the place to keep us from being backstabbed. And our fishing is in good shape. All right. Well, he's, he's going to be pretty hurt on resources for sure. He is going to be hurting pretty bad. And the Fulani Corral, I don't think it ever got repaired fully, so we need to do that. Yeah, Spiegel's already trading like a heathen king of old. Um, Masso's going for Sacred, which I don't really care too much about. I think I got to stay focused on, like, I need to be able to hide it up top. Smeagol is trading like the heathen kings of old, as usual. Nothing nothing else new there. A couple wild-ass camels attacking my base. Turin, you need me to help with Sacreds? You have, he has like two units, you know. I, I don't think, uh, I don't think he can help me too much. So let's call you guys up and get the ore mining pit set up again and get it fully housed out. He's hiding a, a landmark somewhere, I think. Yeah, we, we got a TC over there. Looking good. Let's get some more stables. Sofa, and then we can get a couple more view. I like this army comp for now. It's pretty good against HRE too. So yeah, you can see he's already decapped that. Why is, why is he sieging me? He's got such a chub to attack me here. Should be able to fend him off. I don't know though. He might grow stronger than me. Yeah, the HRE hasn't been crippled enough yet, unfortunately. Um, it's only one siege piece. So we're just going to get a bunch of horsemen and hopefully be fine. All right, let's get you up here. Have you jump on this. And you guys start going after the houses. I, I wonder if I can hold on two fronts here. Yeah, he said maybe. He's like, maybe I don't. Okay, we were, we were wrong. I do feel bad, but it has to be done. All right, let's get you back to the base. 
We got the keep being repaired, which is good. Um, we definitely don't want to be losing this. That's like a big food food gravy train for us. And uh, let's go ahead and get you set up here. Start mining some gold proper. And yeah, see, I'm behind from this like prolonged conflict though. This is a bit of a problem. It's making a lot of spears, so I probably should make some archers of some sort. Um, so we'll start mixing in some like you know archer type units. Okay, so let's keep the repairs going on this. We got you guys. It's been mined out. Um, and what is this? Some HRE trolling here. Okay. Yeah, we're we're kind of behind from all this fighting. Honestly, I didn't I didn't expect to get backstabbed by uh, by Nanu here. But we need to finish him off. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get karate chops. Um, all right, so let's go over the top. Here, here, and here. Man, because he's gonna rebuild. Like, let's go see if he's rebuilding over here. Meanwhile, we'll. Keep building up a Dread Legion here. Uh-huh. And archers. Then you guys can come over the top. You can go here and here. See if you can ambush those. Buy some stone. Alright. Looking good. Ah, he's pretty well secure back here. Rise up, my trade brothers. Yeah. No, he's got a good army, guys. I'm, in, I'm actually in danger here. The fact that I'm, like, so busy up here. I'm trying to kill the HRE off. Alright. So we're just going to commit this army and be like, this is what we have for defense, right? Uh-huh. Keeps being uh, built. Secured. I could get some spring alds and whatnot, but we need to just straight up get on that lumber. Oh, I wasn't watching. He did manage to convert a couple. That's pretty funny. All right. So here he comes with a sacrificial force. Looks like they're going to be moving in and uh, getting karate chops here. Horsemen and javelin throwers. Sure, let's fight under the keep. If we can keep this keep alive. I think our chances of holding are very decent. Let's go ahead and get you. Do we have any wood? No, we have like nothing at the moment. Okay, we need to win this fight here. So let's dive, dive, and dive. Get the keep repairs going. Hopefully we can wipe out some siege equipment. It doesn't look like it though. He's got like good keep security here. All right, let's keep that keep up. It's going to be very important. And where are our... Uh, I think we just got to start spamming out warrior scouts and shit. I really wanted to finish off the HRE, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Not not with this kind of pressure. I might be able to hold, but that's still still kind of a tall order. All right, so let's go here, here, and here. Losing some bills, which sucks, but it is what it is. You know, the, the cost of war. Uh-huh, and take those down. And hopefully we can get, like, a critical mass of units to just kind of hold with. Yeah, and unfortunately I couldn't finish the HRE off either. All right, let's go get that other siege equipment, see if we can do a little bit of diving. I don't know what he's got. He's got the trebs, but his army, I suppose, is manageable. Do we have any boats still going? We do. All right, let's get some more boats in the river. All right, so we managed to, like, hold off his armies. Hopefully it'll be, like, a bit of a ceasefire of sorts from here. Uh, poison arrows, yes. And uh, you guys need to probably augment the food. So let's just go hammer some berry bushes down. And uh, cool. So it looks like we're stable for the most part. Let's get some more Muso Fatty, but I'm Castle Age, man. This is this is not good. HRE is basically on death's bed, but they could start trolling me later, 100%. Um, do we have any, like, upgrades going? Yeah, upgrades. Be nice. Nanu is probably getting sandwiched by someone. The fact that he stopped makes me think that, like, he's not making friends over there. Um, so let's get you and start getting the cattle ranches back online. We can do two at a time. And just kind of sit back and... Amass a decent quality army. There's got to be bigger threats than me. Like, Smeagol's, I think, just living his best life out there. Uh, let's refresh our fishing. Make it a little bit of a closer drop-off for them. That should massively help our food income. Uh-huh. All right, guys. We're still alive. But, like, I'm a little bit nervous about going to raid the HRE now. Let's just send some horsemen to go see if we can, you know, keep them at bay. All right. Food gathering... Well, I have a big army now. I'm pretty confident, unless he's Imperial Age, which he's not. Um, he's he's He doesn't have the Sacred Site either, so that's good. Um, wood is still a little bit tight, so let's update that. Let's finish this. Definitely need some more archery ranges. All right, let's get these cattle ranches all set up. Put a little tower back here. The dock is going to be completed, and we'll do some HRE raiding. I'm broke. Smeagol, you can't, Smeagol's not to be trusted. He is not to be trusted. He is uh, he is uh, a cunning foe, just like the movies. 
Definitely has got some schemes. Enemy destroyed Nani Yori's landmark. Okay. So he's got a lot of HRE. See, that's like what I'm talking about. That's like a full brick of HRE men at arms, who most likely is going to appear in my base at some point. Um, so what we need to do is probably a little bit of this. Yeah, and he's got his regnets up in the corner there. Yeah, see, with a lot of men at arms. Okay. So we don't want to we don't want to attack yet. We, we can't afford to leave because we we just get jumped here. Um, trade. I don't really see any good trade options. Yeah, so far I don't know why they're fighting here. They just decided to. They're like, hey, you know what? This is this is where we uh, draw our line in the sand. This is where I, we make our stand. All right. Makes more towers, so we're secure. I mean, we could definitely go up there and steamroll, but I don't know what Nanu wants. Like, if he wants blood, yeah, we need to protect our investment there too. Uh huh. And get some sofa. Just try and get like a high supply army and see if that does anything for us. So the cattle ranches are looking mighty geared out. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna be extremely sus if I go up here right now and then he appears in my base. I'm gonna be extremely sus, as they would say. All right, so let's keep gathering stone. I have no relics either. This this is rough. But I, we got it. We can't have like a, a Smeagol in the north just like waiting to backstab us. It's basically just a death sentence. Okay, he's ramming down my houses. That's fine. Okay. So I'm pretty sure our army can win. We definitely just start selling some food. I wanted to go Imperial. So we can go Imp very soon. And what we're going to do is set up the uh, the Griot Barra, like right here. Man, I wanted to set it up in this corner here, though. That That's why I was had such a hard-on for taking him out. It's because I wanted to set up my landmark up there. Okay, military, let's go. And let's grab you guys. Do this. And we can we can just start setting it up up here. Nanu setting up towers on the border. That's understandable. Hmm. Oh, Quill. Quill won the first one, huh? Did he? Wow. Very impressive. This is risky as hell, man. But we gotta gotta just keep it keep it honest here. Man. Every time I leave, he just appears like a bandit in the night. We're gonna kill this HRE army for sure. Um, and then we can set up the Griot Barra, like, right here. We need to go Imp. So that way, if we lose on the mainland, we can simply just fall back, right? That's, that's like, the whole the whole game plan. Okay. So, yeah, we know where all his landmarks are, so we just need to destroy this. And just kind of very, very tenuous border situation here. Let's do a keep that will buy us time. Start torching that down. Do this. Uh, Turn, you might really need me later. You know, he, my opponent could be aware uh, of the attacks because this uh, gentleman is announcing it. So that's totally, totally something that could be happening here. Okay, let's keep going. So yeah, we know where his landmarks are. It's just the third one here. He's still castle so we can just landmark snipe him here. Um, we don't see the Abbasid gathering on our borders, which is good. We have Imperial Age coming. We need to find some sort of like trade or something. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to trying to politic his way out of this one. I don't know if it's gonna work. Alright, great. So we gotta keep here. Let's get a cannon emplacement there. We have a mining camp. Lost pretty much all of his villagers. So let's head up to the Regnant's Cathedral and see if we can polish that off. Skip the finish. And uh, cool. So we got U22. Not enough gold for any upgrades. Let's start doing this and just get the Muso Fatty, probably. Can we just run through there? Oh, there's literally an opening. Okay. Have you guys camp on the old landmarks? The Griot Barra is going to be our uh, our new home here. All right. Finally. Finally. I haven't been able to explore the map too much. I've been under a lot of pressure. But yeah, I, I, I mean, if I had better APM and was like just playing better, I, I probably would have been able to know where everything's going. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy that we... We got a relic going for us here, so that's good. Don't wolo -lo, lo me, bro. What happens if he wolo -lo lo's me from beyond like that? That's kind of cool. All right, so that's great. Let's uh, clear all this out. Get some, uh, get some room. GG, Siberius. Well played, man. Sorry, sorry, it had to be you. You were just, you were very close. And uh, you know, it is what it is. Does he have a market? Uh, let's see. 
Did I already kill his market? I probably did. Who knows? It's all good. We'll see what scraps we can find here. And uh, what I also want to do is wall the other part of the river to keep folks from getting in there. And we can get the religious character to go grab the, the dreaded one relic, which is certainly better than nothing, and bring it back. GG Siberius, well played, man. Had I had to go for you. I can't have you sitting on my head up there, you know? It would have just been a death sentence. All right, do we still have a gold node? Nice, we do. We can actually get the uh, the pit here. Outstanding. Yeah, it's a his spot was very strong too. It needed to be stopped. I don't think he's got a market. I legit don't. Just the dreaded one relic. Um, so Nanu, I don't know what Nanu's up to at this point. Let's get spears. Let's get archers upgraded. Um, Sofa to elite and. Um, we need to pimp out our crowd a little bit more, so let's do this. Yeah, looking good. One, two, and three. And head down this way. Looks like we got the Gatehouse of Doom, but I think we're secure here. So now we have like a, like a nice little alcove up in the top, with which we can kind of fall back on. Uh, is there any sort of trade I can do on the river? Let's see if homie had a dock. He does have a dock. So let's see what we can, uh, what we can counter. <laughs> Is that all you can conjure, Saruman? All right, so let's get the trade chips and see what kind of a uh, juicy trade we can get here. It's certainly better than nothing. Certainly better than nothing. All right, so relics being grabbed. So we're just kind of butchering all the wood off the lands. Nanu is uh, looking awfully aggressive over there. We need more archery rangers, so let's do this up in the front. Do that, and then we can do a couple of these. Outstanding. That should be enough to kind of produce everything we want to produce. Unity upgrades, army tactics. Yes, that's going to be a good first one. Yeah, no, I see the dock there. I don't think there's one further down, unfortunately. So that's about as good as it's going to get. But you can land trade with the dock also, but it's on the other side. I think the water trade will be more lucrative. Like, that's a pretty respectable trade route right there. So you played well, Siberius. You played very well, man. <clears throat> you scrapped super hard. You made me come back like three times. Hold your head up high, brother. Hold your head up high. All right, so you guys can just absolutely go ham on this now. And did we not grab that relic? What the hell? Didn't I have the religious character grab that relic? He's just like, no, this relic is, is, is not good enough for us. All right, so let's get this up. Really, really just have like no gold whatsoever. I'm gonna go start setting up like towers around. I do see a gold note over there. So we're gonna go like try and get cheeky and grab that if we can. Nanu has a gold node down here, which is being mined. So I think we need to go like preserve that. Um, you guys, is there anything else we would want to do? All right, so that's not going to happen. So basically, it's just down here is what we need. Archers, he's got his keep there. Blue is pretty big, guys. That's what she said. Who's blue? Captain Miller? Okay. So we got the top, but you know, there's not a lot going on up there. Um, the trade ships is bringing back 39 and 39, which is re it's respectable. It's respectable for sure. We can start deleting some of these guys. Wow, our fishing economy is running into some problems. Miller says lies. You know, I'm inclined to believe Miller. He seems like an earnest guy. Uh, all right, so we got the keep here. Um, I think what we're going to do is, is do a keep drop down here. And then just try and take that gold node. Desperate times, man. Desperate times. All right, let's get some rams. Something we're not in short supply of is wood, that's for sure. The villagers are on the way. We're going to go see what's up here. Oh, and it looks like he's trading as well. Okay. So let's get you guys. Have you come up? Go here. And drop a little, uh, little love keep right there. And he's going to re respond pretty quickly. So we're going to need to be ready for this. All right. So get that keep set up. I would imagine he's got siege equipment. Let's get on these bills. <laughs> he says, turn? No. What, do I do? what did I do? I'm attacking purple. Isn't, isn't he your enemy? You guys like the dreaded keep drop there? Yes, yeah, good. How much gold is he getting? 119, wow. It's pretty respectable. All right, so let's just get our uh, our coastal trade going even more. And take that gold. Looking good. 
I actually legitimately have no idea what he's talking about. Um, I could do some stone walls on our northern border, which probably aren't a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get back to that soon. All right, so we got the gold. We got what we wanted. Um, let's go send some rams and just test the waters of his keep here. We're going to just be basically building Duhast all day. Yeah, it's just, it's the Duhastening. Okay, I don't think we need so many fishing ships now, so we're going to kind of cut down on those. And hopefully the uh, cattles will uh, kind of carry us. Get those all filled out. We stole the gold. And uh, yeah, we can go see where his, uh, his, his market is. Let's go do a little bit of exploration. Are we getting sieged? I don't think so. I don't think we are. Let's just go kind of poke around and see. I can't even get to Imperial Man. He, <laughs> you backstabbed me twice. You backstabbed me twice. What do you expect? All right, so we got a dead market here, which I'm going to kill. I know that might seem silly, but I'd rather deny it to other players than, um, than you know. Because I have I have the, the dock up top, so I'm kind of chilling. I'm kind of chilling. So we're just going to burn that down because I'm sure there's going to be like five or six people trading from it. And I have good trade as well. Yeah, I'm going to get a trade route to the dock eventually. Yeah, that's the that's the plan. But I need to secure a little bit more map first before we go that route. Um, so yeah. We're torching this. All right. And we should have gotten the relic back. So let's have you come down here. Grab that. Because why the hell not? All right. So let's go poke here. I'm sure they're not happy about that. All right, looking good. Let's move up. Yeah, I can definitely trade. Mm -hmm. I got trade options. I am trading at the moment. I'm doing naval trade, so. Mm -hmm. And, uh-huh. All right, so he's got the walls. How are we looking here? Looks like there's like a random Chinese cannon tower there. Hmm. Yes. Hey, Zerk, thank you for the kind words, man. Uh, there's going to be another Age of Wonders 4 video soon. Yeah, we're going to do a stream. I don't know when, but it's it's going down. What is our villager count at? 119? Yeah. Where's he going with those, by the way? Is he coming to try and shut this down? Not sure. He's got, like, some random men-at-arms just kind of kind of running out in the fields here. I need the gold. Can I have some? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Are we going to be able to get the sacred site? If, if they just let us get that, I'm going to be stoked. Yeah, he's trying to just troll me. Just running into my base here. Oh, I love when they do that, when they chop trees instead of actually going for the goodies. Look, he's just going after a couple of random cattle. Yeah, so our trade is starting to pay dividends. Um, we have all our trade ships and stuff, so. Um, we could do a little bit of siege engineering. A raid for a raid, turn. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, okay, Masso's coming after me. All right. Well, that, that escalated quickly. The Spear Lord cometh. Both of you? What? They're both raiding me? Are Masso and, uh... Are you guys allies? <laughs> Look at this. I'm being raided by both of them. There's like... <laughs> Smeagol and, uh, and Masso are both attacking me. Oh, no. Which Vils? I don't even know what Vils he's talking about. Did I kill some of Spiegel's villagers? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. We're in trouble. Which Vils? I actually don't even legit know which Vils he's talking about. You, I, I, I killed them, did I? Okay, well, I guess I did. I guess I'm the villain now. Okay, so yeah, we're going to wipe all this out. We should be able to fend off the raid. Um, we can leave purple alone for sure. Okay, so we almost got that wall up. Let's finish that. We got 33 of you guys. Ooh, the gold is gone. All right, so um, yep, let's just get on wood for now. Better than nothing. Uh, get some sofa popping out. We get the trebs going. And uh, what walls do we want to finish here? Do this. And then we do that. Continue securing our lands. Let's get all of our equipment and push back towards yellow. Age of Wonders is so fun. I highly recommend that game. It's a, it's an amazing game. Yeah, I highly recommend it. I play. I was pl uh, playing it so much. Like literally almost every day. And I still, I pl still play pretty frequently. So. My thumbs were getting sore. Had to show my strength. I mean, no harm. <laughs> and then we got Masso in here. Coming in and raiding me. Alright, so let's move up here and see what we can do. 
We have to like remove one of these like neighboring threats, right? Why is that not generating stone? Is it still generating stone? I don't know if it is. Okay, so we're grabbing that. It's a nice little sacred site for us. All right. Let's move up. Cool. So progress is being made. I don't think we lost too much. Maybe like a handful of villagers. Um, and I think there might actually be a gold node here. Let's go check. All right. So the Ramstein's moving in. Our food's pretty solid. Um, we're Malians. So like I said, we have good resources. We're going to press a little bit and see what we can do. Okay, let's jump into there. Doesn't want us to have the sacred site. And uh, Smeagol could raid us again. He absolutely could. I believe this is producing stone still. Yeah, okay. So we can definitely beat this army. It's mostly just knights and stuff. So I think we're okay against that. And uh, let's make some uh, hunters. Although, I don't know. This army's pretty metal. Pretty metal. We're going to need some uh, reinforcing troops, it would look like. Yeah, so I don't want to, like, attack more... Because if I attack Smeagol, the problem is he's going to jump me, attack me also, and I'm going to be getting 2v1. Masso's already a handful, so... You know, we got we to gotta prepare for this. Uh-huh. Let's get some Muso Fatty gunners. He's got uh, a lot of trebuchets. A couple rams. The rams are just distracting his main army, which is good. Orange is going to be taking that. Spring in placement just for the random shenanigans. And uh, we can also start mining here. How much do we got there? Ooh, HRE army might be able to push through here. They're looking mighty scary, and I'm kind of poor. Am I going to have to just pull back to my main empire? To my little island rat's nest? I might. Homie's got manganels and stuff. Okay, let's pull back. Let's pull back. Yeah, I, I am in a very precarious situation. I'm like heavily surrounded. I could afford to lose my main base. It would obviously suck, but you know. Uh, I, it, it could happen and we would survive. But yeah, it's not ideal. Um, I could retreat up to the northern island. And just maintain my naval trade. Yeah, it looks like he's busy fighting someone as well. And, all right, so you guys have done this. Let's take you down here. <laughs> uh, Smeagol trades mid for 150. He must be stopped. Yeah, Smeagol needs to be stopped. He's just trading in the middle for 150 a pop. He's just laughing all the way to the bank. He's lying. He's lying. He's not weak. He's a tyrant. Look at him. Okay, so I'm going to go middle, try and shut this down. Um, I could do some deep set trading here. So let's try a little bit of that and see how that... This is probably about as far as I can go whilst being safe. So setting up some towers. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to do the work and, and be a team player here. All right, let's do this. Smeagol uh, could have ended me 30 minutes ago. I don't know if I can betray. Yeah, he is he is far richer than we are. That's for damn sure. It's either that or we die. Yeah, that's pretty much our two options. You you fight him or, or we die, brother. Okay, so let's get you up here. I, I could lose this to Smeagol, but at least I'm trying to stop him, you know. All right, let's get the villagers to do their thing. A little bit of raiding is coming around, so we can go after these guys. Looks good. Uh, Spiegel, what's, he's asking Spiegel if, if he should attack him. <laughs> That's like government agencies who like, who do like some absurd criminal shit, like investigating themselves. <laughs> oh my god. We haven't played 1v1s yet, no. That'll be probably at the very end of the stream if we do do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, looking good. Did we ever get the trade going here? We did. So let's uh, get that with the dock upriver. It's going to be a bit of a journey, but it could be worth it. Smeagol's going to be back. He'll be back for vengeance, for sure. This isn't the last we've heard of him. I'm taking this gold in the middle. All right. He's just a humble trader, it would seem. Yes. Mm, do we still have those vills up here on the top? I think we do. Hmm, this trade route here is interesting. We could go for his keep, but he's for sure got burning oil, so... It's gonna hurt, but I'm happy to just take this gold and uh, secure this trade post. We'll have to see how much homeboy makes here. Um, top to middle is also a very good option. I think that might be better. So let's do that here. 
One, two, three, four. And we can always reroute them when the time comes, right? But we'll see what this, this route yields for now. Use it to build traders. And uh, so that's been built. And then we want to do this. So do we have any stone? We don't. Okay, so let's buy some. Somebody is dying out there. I don't know who, but somebody somebody is for sure getting karate chopped. Uh, do we have any siege infrastructure? We do. So let's build a ram and just have it go clear the top side of the map. Um, how is our, our cattle looking? Yeah, some of the, not fully polished off, but will be after one more. Holy shit. All right. So it looks like there's another gold node here. So we're going to try and take that. We're going to have to dive this, I think, or else the villagers are going to get popped. So, yeah, let's move so fatty, you guys, and, uh, yeah, let's just... Just eat the burning oil like a champ. We need that gold. The gold is far more important than that, that single army here. So we're trying to take it. He's trying to trade as well, so let's kill that trader. I don't know if he's got the burning oil. Okay. Neutralizing the sacred site. Random arrows here. Oh, looks like the camel lord's going to betray me. Once again, the backstab. It was never meant to be this way, says Masso. Oh my god, I love it. I, I'm a little bit nervous about this. Yeah, he's, he's legit building towers on my borders. So we need to go stop that. Um, let's have you just finish cap decapping that. Okay, let's get the walls up. I think I built that one the wrong way, but I'll go back and check later. Masso says I yield. Masso! Where's the fighting spirit? <laughs> oh no. All right. So Camel Master is here. Hmm. And then we get the middle back. We've all, all also gotten a great raid here. Yeah, this is the, I was not sure if I should attack him, but this is definitely the uh, the red flag here. Yeah, he needs to go. All right, so let's move up. He might have a better army than me, but if it's camels, then I should for sure win. Because camels will suck against my spears and stuff. Ooh, he might actually be able to win this. Let's go loose formation. Yeah, he's got some mangoes back there and whatnot, so let's uh, go dive those if we can. And just keep mustering. Even if we lose this fight, we should be able to remuster here, no problem. And, uh, yeah. Make some so far. We got the wood production still going. Battle's looking all right. Rams are getting in there, so let's knock those down. And, yeah, it seems like the fight's going okay. Because we can re-macro, like, super heavily. Make some Muso Fatty. Gold in the middle is going our way. Um, we need to get a better income for all this. Let's go up here and take down the stealth forest. No, I think everybody's kind of grinding a little bit, to be to be fair. Somebody was wondering if like there's just cackling going on while like two people are fighting. Now we'll test his economy and see how strong his eco is. Alright, so let's do this and have him go down to the middle. Outstanding. Alright, so that's gonna be pretty sweet. How much gold are you bringing back? Alright. 46 villagers, they purge through that. Let's get him on these trees here and just get what we can. Prepare for round two. And it looks like he wants to come fight. So we'll take these rams. And uh, we could do the rams here. Nah, we could do like here and then here. We'll see. Yeah, he, we don't have a lot of like good siege equipment. So we can build culverins with these guys. Um, what is our eco looking at? 65. Holy shit. Oh my god. Man, I've been getting sandwiched in these games. It makes sense though. My position is very sandwichable. You can have the middle, dude. It's all yours. I don't even want it. I do not even want it. All right, so let's uh, let's have you guys just stop your production for a second. Chill up in our base. Just passing by, I can see that. Um, he's trading with one of my markets, so I'm going to delete that right now. So he doesn't get any gold from that. Um, we still have the naval trade, which again isn't the best. Uh, is that as far down rivers I can go? No, it's not actually. So let's get you guys. Um, we can go sla slam one of these down like even deeper set and see what kind of trade we can optimize with. Okay, we got to be careful. We don't want to like make too many enemies here. Because we, we have a nasty fight versus the uh, Abbasid here. 100%. This is generating a little bit of stone for us. Our army quality is okay. Our eco and army pretty well balanced. Yeah, I don't know. There was someone who was getting their landmarks destroyed earlier. I don't know who it was. Let's go finish that keep off if we can. See if he's watching. Masso is just passing by. Uh, maybe he's going to the sacred sites. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's get you guys and you guys. Are we going to get that? Nope. He's sitting there chilling. Do we fight this? 
Feels like a bit of an ugly fight, but I kind of want to macro and push the tempo. Uh-huh. Let's get you guys back. Go after the mangoes. Mangoes and mangoes. The Rams heading into the keep. Outstanding. So we got his artillery. That will definitely even out the fight for us. And now I think we just can win the fight. 35 bills. Yes. You guys are getting hog wild. Let's go get on some uh, berry bushes of doom. Rams. Uh, are my rams moving? Not sure. I'm not sure. All right. Trade ship. Let's get you down there. And uh, we want to get all the trade ships and reroute them down here. Smeagol, don't you dare. What's he doing? He's up to no good, man. We almost got this keep down. I think we can defeat the Abbasid. Um, I'm across the map right now saving you. Why are you Why are you saving Smeagol? You know he's going to win if you do that. Why? He's like, he's like Frodo. He has pity on him. He's like, I pitied the creature. Oh my god, why would you save Smeagol? That's, that's so foolish. Health of buildings, yeah. Why on earth are you saving Smeagol? Why, why would he save him? He's like such a good effort. He's just going to use it to his advantage and cackle at you, dude. Okay, let's free up some supply here. I, you know, I don't get it. Turn so hot right now. I know, we're trying. Smeagol is my base. Yeah, well, you know. Teach their own, man. You're going to regret it later unless you don't care about winning. And then, you know, in that case, I, I understand. Okay, let's do a little bit of fighting here. Reinforcements, archers. Going to need more uh, archery ranges, 100%. Let's match our eco. We should be able to just grind his army down. It's mostly spearmen and things like that. Enemy destroyed Captain Miller's landmark. Okay, Captain Miller's landmarks are going down here. 60 and 60 is very good. Everyone attack orange. Are they are they like betraying right now? What what what's what is this? All right, so let's get this sacred site because money matters. Just keep steamrolling through the base here. Um, in the middle, how are we looking? Let's cancel all these and these. We have our little outpost tower here. We can make that stone. Why not? And just kind of keep moving through all the infrastructure. It's going to take a while to grind him down, but the great part is he's a bastard, so once I find his main main stuff. <laughs> Sauron has zero gold income, so yes. Well, pit mines. Okay, so let's move in here, get into the villagers. Keep the rams clearing and move our armies up. Let's go there. smeagol has gone full golem. Yeah, he's gone He's gone pretty, pretty far off the deep end here. But our naval trade is very respectable, so... Yeah, let's do this. And just get more navy tr naval trade. And, uh, yeah, just keep keep clearing through the base. Smeagol is definitely not broke. He is definitely not broke. Okay, so rams are getting knocked down. Let's get some more siege equipment here. Just kind of keep rampaging through the base. <laughs> How would you even know? How would you even know? I used to, until yellow passed through. I do have I do have the naval trade, but he's not aware of that. So um, yeah, we don't need that land-based trade. That sucks. Okay, so he's got a couple horsemen here running interference. Let's get you guys fighting, you guys fighting, and do we have any more troops coming out? We should in a minute. Pretty nice though. Yeah, we definitely torched him down. He's gonna be hurting a little bit. Okay, spears and archers. We got 31 bills. Let's just purge all the slumber off the land. Could have deleted them for a bigger military, which honestly would have been probably smart. Um, he's trying to raid, but the keep should be able to head him off. All right, so let's go you, you, and you. Yes. I, I had like two traders. Okay, so what do we got here in the middle? Oh, these guys are actually still trading. Okay, that's nice. So we do have that long-term trade. Uh, this is his main TC. Yeah, I think so. Cool. So now we just need to find out where he's hiding his uh, his his main his main landmark. It's probably like back here somewhere. Um, cool. So I think we eventually caught his horsemen. So let's gather our whole army and uh, go trundling. I would wager he's past those walls there. Let's go up here. See if that's where he's hiding it. Gotta hunt him down. And uh, we need to grab that damn. Uh... Now where are you at? I know you're here somewhere. Let's see if he's got any relics too. That would be a nice gimme. If he gathered like three or four relics, that would be pretty sweet. Although honestly, it looks like he either hid them or doesn't have them. So, yeah, what a shame. What a shame. All right, so let's keep cruising. His wall can see the dock, maybe. That's my wall up there, I'm pretty sure. 
This dock? Eh, it's pretty far away. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this is his last stand here. All right, so let's clean it up. Holy shit. Okay, I am I'm dead. Oh my god, Blue's coming. I don't know what Blue's Clues here wants, but he is he is looking awfully pissed off. So we just need to get keeps. Oh, uh, wow. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, big Chinese army of palace guard and fire lancers and a couple different things. Yeah, so he might have been saved. I wonder why Captain Miller is attacking me. Why is Blue North? What? <laughs> why is Blue North here? Let's pull back into the choke point where his numbers count for a little bit less and then we can fight. He's doing a little bit of raiding. It's weird. I, I can rebuild infrastructure. As long as he doesn't come and like karate chop my base, I'm cool with that. That's very strange. It's very strange. So blue was just coming to party, I guess. And in the choke point, you can see our troopers are trading quite well. Still torching down bit infrastructure. Grinding him, grabbing the sacred site. Um, we did get another panic keep in the back. Just to be safe. And it looks like, yeah, we've officially just, like, moved through this. All right. Outstanding. That was weird. That was very weird that Blue was uh, just chilling there. Oh, my God. And we have these traders doing the, the five trade route. LOL. All right. So, yeah, we need to... I needed to ram this down. So, let's go build a siege workshop here. These guns are just going hard, man. He's just bleeding into them. Let's get you. Did we ever finish those archery ranges? We did. Nice. More stables. He's close enough that I don't think I really need like forward infrastructure. Okay, yeah, he's still just losing a lot. And I think once this other reinforcement force arrives, we should be able to kind of steamroll that. Got some rams. Let's get him in there to have him start attacking. Um, Siege Workshop, still not finished yet. We have a lot of naval trade. A lot of naval trade. Um, what is our eco at? 109? Okay, pretty respectable. Yeah, Fire Lancers, he doesn't, those weren't Fire Lancers though. Um, I'm building a Siege Workshop, so Battering Ram to clear wall space, but yeah, those were not Fire Lancers. Okay, let's go see if we can grab this. Get very cheeky. Somebody is just like sitting on a wonder, just waiting. Yeah, somebody is. Okay. Let's keep moving in. It looks like we finally got through his uh, morass of units. He's just straight up pumping out the Abbasid Spears with their uh, Phalanx all day. All right, so you guys keep going. Going to grab a beer, BRB. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Yeah, he's got it in the corner back here, 100%. Well played to him, though. Good placement, you know, good uh, good, good foresight. Um, yeah, and, you know, we get food from our cattle ranches, so I, I suppose we're okay there. Although I feel like it's not quite enough, so maybe we just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. A little bit of that going, and I think we found the dreaded rat's nest in the back. Yeah, we got rams coming. It's going to take some time. Let's head over here, go back there, keep farming those units. Trade is still going, quite strong. I feel like building towers here is kind of pointless, I don't know. I'm almost, most of this are in turns base, by the way. Oh, one of them is, yes. You re Does he really think I'm gonna go for a sacred victory here? Like under all this pressure with this many people alive and no stability or entrenchment? <laughs> this, that would be so foolish. Smeagol is using shit politics. It would be so dumb to go sacred against the others. Smeagol's just trying to use the most obvious shit politics. <laughs> just like, it would be so stupid to go sacred. Like this one's right in the middle. And do you know how hard that would be to defend? We're just calling it like we see it. Okay, we got you guys, let's gather you in. We got the Rams going for the old walls, torching down the Empire, and uh, hopefully we'll get them finished. And uh, we're definitely not going to go for the last one. All right. Where are we at? Gunpowder. Yeah, we should have gotten that a long time ago. And the health for our Rams. Well, at least we're getting a lot of lumber on the map. Nano pumping out units. I know he is. He truly is. I'm trying to get back to his goodies. Just just hoping nobody attacks me here. Um, what the hell is this? He's like random archer units? Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I might not be able to wall there because of the, uh... Let's move in. Pretty sure this is where his last landmark's hidden. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And we need to camp his town center. TC to make sure he doesn't repair that. Meanwhile, we take that down. Somebody's going to go wonder, um, I think. And it ain't going to be me. I'm too poor at the moment. 
The naval trade, though, I think is worth. Um, although some of them I don't think are doing the full trade distance. Yeah, they need to go a little bit further. And uh, we got some Malian fishing boats here. Smeagol is in the river. So what we could do about that is come and set up some, uh, some towers along the river here. Okay, let's do that. We almost got this down. We have the TC being uh, camped, although it looks like he... Yeah, he doesn't have the resources to repair it right now. All right, Donso. Take those villagers out. Scrappy, scrappy for my opponent here. So we're going to set up like a, like a coastal, kind of coastal ocean wall, sort of. Um, can we get walls around this? Yes. And delete this. All right. So I think we got it, unless he repaired that quick enough, which I don't think he did. He might have, actually. He might have. Yep. GG. Well played, man. Well played. Yeah, Spiegel's in my trade routes. I know he is. I know. He's, he's cackling here. All right, let's head back to the base. Let's get out of here. Um, how are we looking market-wise? He might have deleted his market. I might have actually killed it too. Um, but we'll, we'll go explore. We'll go see what he's got. No, he didn't have any relics either, which is a shame. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just do a little arrow emplacements just to kind of pop transport ships and things like that. Uh, I don't know when this game's getting new DLCs, to be honest. I have no idea. I have no idea, my friend. Yeah, and like the problem is we're just like it feels like it's going to be impossible here to get the um, get enough stone for a wonder. We have respectable top to middle trade. It's 105 a pop. I think we can just kind of keep hammering that out. That's a lot of towers, Masso. Yeah, Masso's the Lord of Towers, huh? So we just need to bank at this point. There's, I mean, we could like, say, but I wasn't joking when I said it would be really stupid to go sacred. Because Smeagol and Masso would just annihilate me with Psy. There's there's like four or five people here. Yeah, I got all the uni upgrades. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. All the relevant ones. Yep, they're all they're all done. Mostly fully upgraded. Just in case we want to build something over here. Selfish Smeagol. I know, isn't that funny? And let's head back. We don't really care about the sacreds too much. The sacreds are more of like a, like a distraction of sorts. You upgraded them to cannon towers. Look at these guys. They're they're battling. They're going at it. Yeah, so we got Captain Miller down there. Captain Miller is the Chinese player who just like raided me all wildly. Oh no. He found me. He wasn't gonna have that. He's like, enough, enough. Um he's got his little boats in the river. Just get the emplacements. Yeah, we don't need that one. Smeagol's got his elite sofa. He's gonna make me sit on a sofa if I'm not careful. He's casting sofa. Um, all right, so he's coming with a uh, raid, looks like, but I'm here, so it should be fine. How can we wall this? Like, get a proper wall across? Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, so we're moving. Can grab some of these food villagers, and uh, you guys can go ahead and start on a wall. And then we need to continue this across and across. And then we can start building out this way. Yeah, to seal it. So now we start just poking Smeagol a little bit. Masso could backstab us, but again, we, we have our Northern Empire to fall back on. And uh, what is our military? We definitely can cut down on the Wood Villagers a little bit. Yeah, we don't need any more military at this point. Have you guys turn in. Looking good. All right, let's, uh, let's poke up and see what he looks like, see what he's doing. Oh, he's got another trade post in his base. Wow, okay, he's actually got a good quality army. I don't know if I want to like throw my army away quite like this. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's all right. We got we got enough to remake. Spears, guns, and bows. Yep, looks like we can definitely fight his army for now. We got the wall being set up, the Great Wall of the Malian Empire. Nanu has left the match. Nanu was uh, purple, who we fought. Looking good. Um, Smeagol is up to no good here. Look at this shit. He is up to no good. We need to make sure to secure that. Yeah, this is going to just be a losing fight at this point, so let's gather up. Gather up. And yeah, the trade is good, but not as good as I would like it to be. Um, so yeah, Smeagol's got his walls here, so let's attack those. Keep that trade coming. Yes. And what's nice about the naval trade is, even though it's a little bit smaller, it's still... Um, I'm going to delete this so they'll just take a better trade route. Is it... Um, it gives us wood. So like, it also helps us get a huge wood surplus. Even when things run a little bit tight, 
All right, let's get a cannon tower here. Obviously, there's some funny business that could happen. So we want to, we want to like shut down the shenanigans up on the side of the map. Can he actually, can you run through there? Is that possible? I don't know. This will hurt his food a tiny bit, but it's pretty insignificant, the amount of damage it'll do. All right, so two cannon towers should kind of keep things chilling. Let's get our army and move up and knock him off the east. We need to just build like a nice critical mass of resources. Is this my, is this my walls? All right, so where are we at? There we go. Go back to the shadow. So he's got to keep getting set up, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fight a little bit under it. But as soon as it finishes, we pull, we scoot and shoot and pull back. All right, yeah, because you can see the burning oil saturating in. Yeah, looking good. We have a really good wonder spot, like up on the top of the map, like really really good. And uh, what else do we want to make? Spears and archers. Malian archers are pretty great. All right, so we could fight there, no problem. Can do a little wall here and here to prevent like ride buys later on. I feel like this is like the the part in Helm's Deep, like the vulnerability where the Urukai will like you know find and bombard and stuff like that. We have a uh, we have the uh, the cattle ranches doing their thing for us, but yeah, I don't know if it's enough. We have fishing boats, we have trade. We have no stone way of getting stone outside of that like one building though. Yeah, there's no way of getting it outside of the one building. Wood? Yeah, I mean, like, dude, we need way more to go for a wonder. I like to have the option to go wonder, though. Okay, so, like, yeah, we have two sacred sites generating income for us. Which is pretty cool. Let's run you across and uh, set up some towers here. Yeah, now it's just, we're just going to do the, the dandy dragon tactics where we just kind of chill for a minute. Like, let my hands rest and kind of, you know, get polish off all the upgrades. And uh, what do we want to do down here? I guess there's like some stealth force we can go purge. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, the cannon tower should do it. Where are we at? Am I missing anything here? I don't think so. We got the dock here, but I have towers guarding it, so nobody else is going to be able to uh, trade. Don't know what he's doing. He's for sure probably going like for a wonder posture. All right, so you guys didn't finish the Great Wall off, so let's do that. Cool. So that like gives our empire a respectable wall. I mean, a little bit vulnerable from being attacked on this side. Yeah, I have a feeling Smeagol was trading with his dock too, and I didn't I didn't notice this. Although these walls, whose walls are those? It was belonging to Maso. Okay. Let's get you. He wants to waste some stone on walls. I'm good with that. Take some free bills. Enemy destroyed Spiegel's landmarks. Okay, this is the time to kind of dogpile on and attack him a little bit. Man, the trade... The, yeah, so a lot of people are probably trading for stone. All right, let's move into his base, see if we can shut down the trade there, which is obviously, obviously going to be coming. Uh, we need more siege infrastructure. All right, so let's do this. Two, three, four. Come back. So we're just going to kind of creep on by. Nice mangonel shot. Very nice. Let's Ramstein that, and you guys can go in and take this down. Let's do that, and just kind of explore his base a little bit. See what's going on in the neighborhood. I'm going to try and micro that. I don't think there's any point. Hey, we're finding some free siege equipment, which is great. Keeps being Ramsteined. Smeagol is too too cunning to be left alive. He needs to, he needs to be ambushed and, and karate chopped. Okay, looking good. <laughs> At least we have that like really pitiful amount of stone income. Anything else we want to do here? Turn, can you get in on Smeagol? Oh, I am. I am. I don't know where his main base is, though. All right. So let's keep gathering up. Got you four. Uh, don't want to build any keeps, obviously. Towers are fine. We're going to push. Got the rams down. Look, Smeagol. Desperate Smeagol. Watch out. That's when he's most dangerous. <laughs> Desperate Spiegel, watch out. That's when he's that's when he's most dangerous. Just pouncing from the rafters. Alright, so let's take our horses and go like kinda see if we can find the layout of his base. Yeah, he needs to go now for sure. He's too strong to be left alive. 
I need to start losing some units. All right. All right, so we can let those guys keep torching, and uh, you guys can gather up here. Let's move down, see what we can find. Looks like villagers and villagers. Nice. Got to start chopping away at that eco. He probably has like a million gold saved, though. Would be my guess. I have a feeling Smeagol's laughing all the way to the bank. All righty. So damage is going. I don't know what Blue and Pink are up to. I, I know Captain Miller like backstabbed me. Well, I w it's not a backstab. He just ganks me out of nowhere earlier. Um, so I don't know what he's doing, honestly. He's been pretty quiet. Yeah, nobody truly knows where Smeagol's base is. It's, uh, it's a mystery. Okay, so here's the runes of somebody's base. I think he's over here. It's a great mystery. I, dude, I have no idea where Smeagol's, Smeagol's base is either. Let's get these upgrades in case it comes into play. You have a little bit of gold to spare. He's going to bite my finger off. I know, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Like, where is his base? Where is it? What is he doing? Back here somewhere? We're just torching down this infrastructure to kind of slow his roll a little bit, but... Um... Oh, hello. I don't want to be fighting yellow. Yeah, we, we're, we're chilling now. I think he's in the ruins of this old base down here. Would be my guess. Okay, let's go take that keep down. Um, our eco is 123. It's pretty damn high. We need to stop producing villagers. I keep I have a bad habit of just like getting so excited for that in late game and just doing it. All right, so gonna keep creeping down this way. Looks like we've almost got the keep down, which is good. We see the ruins of a fallen empire. Yes. Smeagol's got like little rats nest towers. <laughs> oh my god, dude! What this guy is. <laughs> I'm checking bottom. You know, he, he usually will set up where you least expect it, right? Like that's that's what Gollum does. He waits in the, the bushes and ambushes you when you're uh, when you're least expecting it. Okay, looks good. We can get you guys just lumberjacking some of the stealth forest here. Okay, so that's pink down here. Whistles innocently, yeah. I know, I know. He's gonna be back, yeah, I know. Okay, so he's he might is he down here? This is Pink's base. I don't even know what Pink's doing. He's in my base. Alright, I think he's over this way. That would be my guess. Alright, so we're just going to charge over there with whatever we can. I could pull some forward infrastructure. Um, so let's do that. Get some bills down there. Set it up. Thankfully, the trade is going pretty good. We have the toll post system set up. I'm pretty sure I set it up. Yeah, let's do this better. Uh-huh. And then you can come back here. Yeah, all right. So we found Smeagol's base, I think. Trying to get my armies across, but it's just such a colossal map, actually. It's very big. All right. Is he in the corner here? Yeah, it looks like it. The stone exchange rate is just awful right now. I don't think anybody's in a good position to go wonder. Um, I got to be using this more, too. The festivals and stuff, they seem, they seem pretty darn good. He's the west corner behind a river. Get him while he's vulnerable. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. Gonna be trying to. We got Vils coming down to build infrastructure for us so we uh, can be a little bit more aggressive. And I think we got some rams in this army too. I'm not sure. We could do some siege engineering. Gotta clear out what we can. Enemy destroyed Maso's landmark. Oh shit, okay. Smeagol's back and he's pissed. I told you guys. He seemed vulnerable, but he uh, he just wasn't. God, he's got such a good spot too. He's in like the far corner here. Man, that is, uh, that is like prime time. Prime real estate. All right, so let's go knock down these walls. So what happens when there's no French? Yeah, makes sense actually, for sure. Yeah, Smeagol's on the other side of the river, so um, we could do a Corsair Lord raid, but I don't think we have the ship upgrades. We could start on it, I guess. Like I think Mali and Navy might actually be kind of disruptive against uh, some of the stuff they're doing, so we'll start on that. And uh, yeah, let's have you knock down the gatehouse. You have more siege stuff coming, villagers on the way. Let's get the villagers here, set up a keep, and then we just push. And uh, Outstanding. Cool, so yeah, should be able to get that set up. We'll get some siege equipment. Somehow, somehow Smeagol has returned, I know. He's totally the Palpatine of our community. I thought I was, but he's he's the true Palpatine. I remember when the name was first adopted. I was there. I was there, Gandalf. Okay, so it's being destroyed. 
I'm out of gold, says Captain Miller, aren't we all? All right, let's move through. Heading to the corner. <laughs> we know, I know how good Spiegel is. Even if it's like, it wouldn't seem like it's the good target to get rid of. I think, uh, I think it's the right choice. The English will be scary. Most certainly. Oh my god. Look at that filthy, filthy position back here. Dear God. All right, so let's get you guys. Get a couple uh, trebs coming out. Although we need to make sure we finish more. Am I going to get backstabbed by him? It totally could happen. I mean, he is starved out in the corner at this point. You know, like he's definitely just a, a corner gremlin. I don't know if yellow is going to help me though. If, if I get any inkling that yellow isn't helping me, then I'm definitely just going to pull back and not help. I just like to destroy all these walls. Because it's, you know, it costs stone to replace it, so. What is our stone income? 100 a minute? Oh, God. <laughs> Scatter like roaches when you turn the lights off. <laughs> I know. I know. Isn't that the truth? Our army's not that amazing, honestly. Okay. So yellow's not even helping. So we're just going to leave. Yeah, he thinks I'm dealing with it. But, no, you know, I, I'm not going to, like... Invest unless he's helping me. I'm not gonna invest all my resources and trying to deal with Smeagol here It's a it's a tall order man. I mean I could probably push in and kill him since he's trapped in the corner with no resources, but You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be uh, Be the fool of a took here. Let's uh secure this so nobody's trading Winning with sacred would be basically impossible But thankfully we have the two sacred sites, so yeah, yellow retreated, so I'm I'm not gonna not gonna do it. It would be stupid for me, cause then yellow just is, if I kill Smeagol and spend a ton of resources, he just backstabs me and I lose. So um yeah, so that's not how it's gonna go down. So we'll let Smeagol live for now. We will let him live in the corner. As much as I hate to do it, it feels wrong. It uh it has to be. If I want any chance of winning, this is turning into an iron bladder. We're only an hour into this one, guys. I saw you leave. I saw you leave, dude. Don't I try to act like you're my homie. I saw you leave. Look. Oh, is he? Is he telling the truth? Or is it just a couple rams? Okay. I will help now. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Uh, yeah, we got our keep here, which is popping villagers. He, he, he came back. He rode away and then he came back. Got it. He keeps back during my base. <laughs> Says the, uh, oh my god, that's so troll. All right, let's get a couple of these. Dude, getting 6,000 stone just feels like straight up impossible here. Oh my god. All right, so where would we go anyways? Would it be like up here? It'd probably be like right here or something. Seems like a relatively decent spot. Um, although this is, yeah, further away from the river is good. Although the corner spot is just so money. So money. What other bills do I have nearby? Do I have any wood villagers that can come and clear this out? I could delete the keep here. But we're just going to ram through the walls and uh, see what we can do. He's got that river entrenchment, man. So it's, uh, it's tough. But yeah, this actually works in my favor. Even if we don't kill Smeagol, as long as it like keeps the pressure off me, then I think we're I think we're onto something here. All right, so Rams the walls, make it harder. Take those guys down. Wall is down. Nice. He's got he does have war canoes, so he's got the dreaded war canoes here. Let's uh, fan out up here. Oh man. Okay, he's actually got a sizable army there. Take down the ship. I love the haggard poison arrow on the ship. Archers. Fight's not going bad. It's not going bad. We did kill his war canoe and uh, his army is diminishing, so he's probably hemorrhaging resources right now. Okay, let's get 23 workers. Head up here. Go get that. Although you need to take a, a safe route, so let's go here and then up there. Alright, so not bad. Let's get you uh, siege equipment back. Keep ramming down the walls and keep the pressure on. If the English player keeps helping me, he should fall eventually. Meanwhile, we just build up a Build up what pitiful amount of stone we can. Oh, God, it's so brutal. Force them to go through Nanu's walls and buildings. Yeah, it's kind of kind of a hard spot to really get to here. Right, you guys go up here. Let's clear out that forest, that top area. 
Uh, no, we want to attack, attack. Yes, clear those out. All right. Using the war canoes is a pretty cool tech, huh? That's what she said. Yes. <laughs> peace on the peace still on the table, Blue. It seems like they're having a they're having a blood feud down there. Those two. <laughs> Don't listen to Dread Smeagol. <laughs> yes. Don't listen to him. It's a trick. Smeagol is like a, a strange hybrid of like, like you know, Sauron and 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 like, and Grima He's, and and Gollum. It's it's truly a hybrid situation. Okay, I need some vision over there. Can I get some vision? Does that keep? Knock down all this. Rams keep coming here. We got some random Chinese spearmen. Uh oh, is that not sealed? That'd be very annoying if it wasn't. Yep, it's not. Shit. Better seal that up, nice and quick. And uh, Uvil's going to be able to purge this off. All right, let's keep it going. And the walls are almost down. smeagol has got a very defensive. You see, the thing is, like, it, it might seem like he's a, like accruing pity here, but the thing is, like, he could be sitting on a million resources and just wonder if we leave him alone, which is usually what happens with him. Yeah, so you gotta you gotta put some respect on it. Uh oh, the Rams are inadvertently killing my stuff. All right, so we need to just make more uh, more Rams while we can. Hey, knock all these down. Yeah, because he's got the war canoes helping him also, and keeps and stuff, right? So he's pretty jacked. The fact that he's producing like all these pretty gold intensive units means that he's ri he's way richer than he's he's letting on. He's definitely way richer than he's letting on. All right. You guys do this. Do we have any towers here or anything? We don't. Okay. So we can keep knocking these down and just forcing him to expend stone. Yeah, the fact that he's got enough for this is definitely a testament to his wealth. Right, let's kill these sofa for free. And, uh, yeah, the rams are leaving. Okay, they're pulling back now. Good. So he just threw all those sofas and for no gain. He's got culverins popping out. Good hold so far. And I think we got the the breach shield. Hmm. Him throwing a truce down with pink is, is scary. Because they're gonna they're gonna help Smeagol. If we let Smeagol live, he's gonna win the game. He's he's that good of a player. That that corner position is nasty. Alright, so let's go knock these down. Just chilling with our forces. Might as well build a Wonder Dudes Entrench in the west corner. Yeah, Prob Rich from trade with my doc earlier. Yeah, he was trading. I'm pretty sure he was trading with my doc. I'm not 100% sure, but he was definitely cackling a bit. Okay, let's get the cannons. Start ripping some shots at his boats here. Drag down the dreaded war canoes. Nice. One down. Let's get another one. Those things aren't cheap to replace. And we got the trade sites secured. Oh my god, this is like brutal. Alright. So he's pulling back. Let's send you up as a bit of a distraction there. Rip another one of you down. Nope, oh, he's actually in range. Wow. Oh, the culverin's got it. Thankfully, they can't reach the trab safely. So that's, uh, that's something we got going for us. All right, so got to pull back because Blue's going to backstab me, so I got to retreat. Because Blue is going to come from my base, most likely. And what is he trading with now? Where is he trading to? Okay, he must have found a market over there. Yeah, so we, we got to go clear Blue off the middle, I think. Because he's going to come for us, 100%. Um, let's see how much trade he's bringing back, though, is the question. What does his army look like? Okay, mostly horsemen and palace guard, which means he's probably kind of broke. But I, I need to... I need to stay. Uh, I need to stay true to my uh, my my wonder kind of investment here. All right, because honestly, I mean, I think eventually Massa will kill Smeagol in a straight up fight. Um, so yeah, we got to just kind of bank on that. So what is Blue doing? Okay, Blue is trading somewhere. Let's go shut down that trade. If it's a if it's a free market, we we go shut that down. 
Okay, let's have you guys purge these berry bushes. Just make room. Yeah, attack those. Sacred sites are being taken. This is becoming a very interesting game. No, yellow, yellow might just be, you know. Can you delete uh, the tower north of the river? Uh, can you delete tower north river? Uh, out of an act of goodwill, sure. I can delete that, yes. How's the trade ship doing? Looks like the trade ships are still going strong. Bringing back 60 a pop, 120 resources in total. I had a feeling China would do this, so thankfully I was I was prepared. Yeah, I wonder where they're they're sneaking in there. And the good thing too, because I, I didn't notice that breach, and now I can seal that when uh, when he's done pouring into his doom here. Oh, is he blocking on purpose there? I was gonna say that's pretty MLG play. If he was, but I don't think so. He's just building a tower there. He's got to be gold starved. Um, so yeah, we'll for sure just come out and try and hammer him down. Archers, save what gold we can. This trade route's uh, certainly in a little bit of danger. All right, so let's move out and uh, plow this area. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we got to be the onion for sure. But it's 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 still a ways off. Still a ways off. Smeagol's going to try and rebuild and escape his rat's nest for sure. So Maso, Maso's going to have to deal with him because I'm being attacked now. And if I go help Maso, I die basically, so... Okay, let's take the traders, the cavalry, because we don't want to charge them into spears and have them fight his horsemen. Excellent. Take a couple of you guys this way and go shut down the trade. And uh, yeah, now we just kind of grind here. Yes. How much is he getting a pop? Oh, it's only 63. It's not that much, actually. Okay, archers. Everyone's on their way out. Let's go explore. I need to see where the source is, like what he's trading with over here. It's probably a derelict market, I would wager. As long as we're not losing gold and stone, I'm okay with this trading. Probably a derelict market, which if we shut that down, he's, you know, hurting on the uh, the old supplies. I don't think we can win this fight out here anymore. That's okay. Let's see. Where are you going, buddy? What is this abandoned market ye have found? Fighting China late game scary. They're very good. Okay. <laughs> Take me to your leader. Okay, so he's found a market of some sort. Let's see this. Now, does he knock down the gate here? He has. Okay. So we got that. Looks like he wants to keep fighting, which is okay. We can gold starve him by, uh, by taking this down. Might have to actually build some keeps here. Shit, I don't know. Man, where... Oh, it was hidden all the way up there. Shit, okay. I'm sure you guys saw that earlier, but I was in the heat of the moment and missed it. All right. So let's take down this market. Say goodnight, sweet prince, to that trade. And, uh, yeah. Looks like we forced back the Chinese army. All right. Uh, the wall was being built, but the villagers who were building it died. So it's, it's okay. I kind of need to go out that way anyways right now, so... All right, so we torched the market, and now we can just start butchering these traders. Following ants back to the nest, I know, truly. All right, you guys keep clearing it. Let's get it more effective here. China's not going to be happy about that. They're definitely not going to be pleased. Yeah, especially since we're getting a lot of the traders as well. Yeah, <laughs> we're following the ants back to the nest. It's a very, very good analogy. Very good. What are these fire lancers or elite horsemen? Yeah, he's, he's microing on top of the archers pretty well. We can pull him back into the pits. And uh, we can build so far. We're probably going to need him. Although, honestly, Spears will counter most of his army if we just go mass Spears. All right, cool. Yeah, I wonder what Pink's up to. Uh, you just beat my army. He's saying I'm too strong as his army just, like, beats mine in open field. Miller just killed my haggard force. <laughs> he's like, it's, he's like, turns too strong. It's, it's like the troops just wipe mine up. Yeah, you got it. Masso knows how good Spiegel is. He knows that he has to finish him. What are these villagers? Do like a tower over here. Kind of keep tabs on things. You have, me, you have me stuck in the corner. Man, it seems like just so many impasses here. Just so many little uh, Helm's Deeps and whatnot. So 
We have a lot of wood saved up, which is great. Our food surplus isn't bad. Um, our, our cattle system with the Fulani is, is keeping it steady, despite not being amazing. Uh, China does not have any trade now, unless they go to the middle. Um, looks like Smeagol's doing something. If you just, if you just, if Masso just masses Trebs and keeps pushing up, that would probably do the trick. I don't really need to fight Blue, to be honest. Like, now that he's not trading, I'm just like, whatever, you know? Let's just go there and make sure. Looks like he's pushing out. Uh, the big thing is going to be denying trade, making sure that, like, people aren't trading. And that we are, you know, that's like the, that's the whole thing. Okay, maybe he's moving into the base here, we're not sure. Let's grab all of our military, head over this way, clear those guys out. And even if we lose our land base, base trade, we can switch to the uh, naval trade. Yeah, I could see a little bit of funny business upriver here. So this would be Masso attacking us, like, head on. I don't know what the best spot for the Wonder is, to be completely honest. Um, probably, like, maybe somewhere like this. Because it's far away from Smeagol and him, but then Blue is going to be unleashing the Chinese Fury on that. Yeah, I got to do a little bit of planning. Yeah, the wall doesn't have a gap anymore. Looks like the villager was uh, mostly on it. I can't do anything. I have a thousand, hundred thousand food. This means nothing. So Treb push will beat him eventually. I need to get a new keyboard. Mine's so shitty and broken. With fortifications following. It depends though. It's very like to beat an entrenched troll, you know, you gotta... We can take some raiders here and do a little something something. What we could also do is do like naval defense. So we could use like a strong navy to um, to defend our shores. Yes, yeah, so we almost have enough stone now. We almost have enough stone. We're going to go clean out Smeagol's Towers and his little rat rat business here. Okay. Looking good. And China's still sieging us. He has full river control. Yeah, I mean, usually Longbows can just sweep out a river, but I'm not sure what he's worried about here. Smeagol trying to re-secure trade. We can't let that happen. We have to be very privy to that. I mean, China can knock down a wall, whatever, it's fine. I, I think we have enough like macro infrastructure that it would be really difficult to kill us. Um, so yeah, I'm not too stressed about that. We just can't let him trade. All right, so we finished that. Um, I think like up here is actually like the spot that you would do. So it would be, let's delete these and we'll, we'll start like just preemptively setting up for it. Smeagol trying to get middle back. China has mid map. Look at it. China does have the middle of the map. I have to I have to scheme here. So, oh, Smeagol's got all his houses in his, his gold pit here. So if we take that down, that's going to be pretty fat. All right, let's get this round. Beat down those units. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't catch this earlier, but hopefully we can uh, we can just torch this down. Some sofa here. All right, let's kill the ore pit. That's going to turn off his gold quite a bit. China and I had a death match for 45 minutes. Don't believe his lies. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Okay, 32 bills. Um, where would we go here? So it needs to be far enough away. Yeah, I think we can like start on this. We'll, we'll evaluate in time. Yeah, I, I'm a little rusty, so I don't remember like the exact spacing of like wonders. But um. I think that should be big enough. Cool. So now we just torch Smeagol's houses down, and that's going to cut off one of his ore pits. Meanwhile, we keep accruing wealth. That's what we got to do. The dark, the dank late game politics, I know. The dark late game politics. Yeah, he's trying to, I mean, these are just wooden towers. We can rebuild those, I think. But yeah, shutting that down is pretty clutch. Let's go send you guys. Have you torched the, the towers down? We still have our, our siege workshops here producing mangoes, which is really haggard. And uh, yeah, that should be an okay spot. And then we can start, you know, doing some some entrenchment. Granted, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time because there's going to be so many rams coming in. Oh, here, hello. Are we getting attacked? Jesus. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Sweet Christmas. We're besieged. Looks like our army here is holding okay. 
We're, we're trying to help everyone, you know. Cutting down the, the gremlin's nest here. He's got a nest of bees. Nice. But we should be able to remuster an army in the base pretty, pretty quickly, I would say. And then we could just push this army out once it advances a little bit further. Got a multitask. Oh, we got another pit mine here. Uh, got Smeagol's pit mines, yellow. Oh, yellow is his, his minion now? What? Wait, what? The politics are shifting? Oh my god, look at this. Well, I don't think we'll have too many problems pushing this back, especially with the key back here. Yeah, it'll be okay. Let's go get some cavalry, loop around, and go, uh, we can do this, and have a couple of you go dive that, and dive that. Yeah, we'll just play defensively here, and uh, we gotta make sure Gollum isn't trading, though. He probably, probably is. So let's get us around on these guys, pop them in the face. Uh, he did secure this trade here, effectively knocking me off it, so that's pretty good for him. And delete that, didn't mean to be there. Let's go see if he's trading. He's in your base. How How is the English getting pushed by a Malian at this point? England should have the gold. I don't, I don't get it, man. All right, well, we drove China back once again. Somehow Palpatine has returned. And now, um, you know, England better delete those markets. I would help. Uh, but blue is attacking me. I would help him, being honest here. I definitely would. I definitely would. Um, all right, so do we have any more, like, walls? Anything here? Need to go make sure he's not trading. Um, yeah, he's got those walls in the middle. Okay, so down here. What do we got? Yeah, Ram's coming out. Is he trading? Just camp here and find out. Him losing these ore pits, though, is a pretty big blow, 100%. That's gonna, that's gonna set him back pretty hardcore. Yeah, and China's, China's out for blood. You know, they're, they're here for it. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, he's got, what, a lot of elite sofa. I genuinely am curious how he's getting so much money. That's like, uh... How Smeagol is maintaining a fight against late game English. He must have some like secret treacherous trade somewhere. Alright, thankfully we have like a couple random sorry, I keep hitting the wrong hotkeys here. We have a couple like random keeps in the base here. Okay, let's do this. And you guys stay here and fight the archers. The rest of you guys go chase these. We can re remake the cattles like super quickly. So Yeah, it's a it's a something. It's annoying more than anything. Uh, Alright, so yeah, we don't want to rebuild this yet. Looks like we've polished off that force and uh, he's he's doing some some micro here. The big MLG micro place, but um, yeah, I think I think we're fine. Um, Ram's coming in the back too. Oh, okay, interesting. Little sneaky, sneaky. See, the thing is, I never walled this side off, so China, China might try something. Okay, let's keep making towers here. Take our military. Did we get his horsemen? Hey, what is he doing? He's like going after an archery range. Okay. Blue is gonna realize he might not know who Smeagol is. He, I don't know if he's in our in the regular play circle, but. If he lets Smeagol get trade going, we're definitely going to lose. Um, okay, so let's actually officially seal that breach again. Although I think he's chilling there with some units. Let's see. No, okay. We'll just hang tight here for now. Got a good sized army. Let's go deal with the Rams. And, you know, if anything, uh, this helps me here because it, it reminds me that I need to build some walls back here to wall off the old empire. All right. Let's take down the Rams. Looks like we uh, have kept him off the trade for now. And Smeagol sending some random rams my way. I think resources are going to mine out here soon. Wait. Wait, why? Wait, why? I under I appreciate the gesture, but like I think that orange is going to be the threat. I mean, China has no gold. They're sending horsemen and spearmen at me. Uh, what is my villager count? Yeah, wow. 30 rams at your base? All right, man. Wow. Okay. He was serious. And, uh, all right, you villagers have done pretty good here. I would say, is there any other resources we can get on the map? Yeah, it looks like there's some wood over there. Smeagol doing a little bit of raiding. We need to go uh, re-secure the sacred sites. So let's grab some of these peasants and have them uh, come out here and secure the trade. Okay, so it looks good. Let's do that and rebuild the walls. 
Hopefully they will be uh, solid. Now we move out and deny him trade because he's obviously massing traders here. That's it's like the most obvious shit ever. Uh, all right. Pink. Oh yeah, pink is still in this game, man. There's so many uh, so many variables. Yellow is gonna kill me, dude. Yellow went all the way across the map to backstab China. That's some serious uh, that's some serious devotion there to the Ramsteining. Still no trade from Smeagol, which is weird. I'm like, I'm, I keep coming here expecting trade, but. You have any wood? Oh, so this is Masso's empire. Okay. Yeah, wow. He's, he must be trading somewhere else. Who else could he be trading with? Like a ruined base on the bottom? Let's grab a couple of you guys and go like explore around and see. Oh, he's probably trading with Masso. Masso is probably letting him trade. Because he's like his minion, I guess, or something. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. Set up some more towers to go get a little bit of control here. He might he might just be giving it up to him. I'm not sure. Yeah, Masso might just straight up be helping Smeagol. So I'm looking for like weird long distance trading on the map, trying to see if I can find anything. Yeah, this is this is like a real political game. So we're just gonna like torch down these random like buildings here. Um, the Rams are still trolling in, so Blue's. I don't know why Blue's got such a hard on for me. He definitely does. And this wall just never finished because it's, it's the wall mechanics are a little funky in this game at times. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get that down. He has a spring, he has like random spring all tards there too. All right, dudes, you keep cleaning off the base, and let's go get the Rams here. Is he going for the keep? I wonder why. I guess maybe he's planning an attack later. We'll have to see. All right, so the wall's coming up. Uh, Smeagol has the river behind. Yeah, he's probably trading, yeah. Pink saved blue, respect. Okay. So I think what we can do is some funny business here. Oh, there's a bunch of dead docks right here. Ah, oh, shit. We need to go deal with that, man. But blue keeps attacking me. It's definitely throwing me off. Um, and as much as I don't want to do this, we need to do that. Okay. Yeah, there's some dead idle docks there that he's just farming 100%. Okay, let's get in the towers. Get in the towers. Yes. Kill those random villagers he's running around with. Not sure what he's trying to do, but he's, he's certainly scurrying away. Yeah, so there's some funny business going on there. Not sure what he's doing with these bills. Let's go here. I believe I have some troops nearby, so I can come and hunt them. And let's do this and then attack. Okay, so we go and shut that down. Um, I could be trading with those docks too, to be honest. Hmm, maybe I need to just like get the long distance naval trading going. Is he still there? Well, let's go see if they're still there. They might not be. Okay, so we have the little arrow tower set up. Let's get a mango blasting him. I can't believe Smeagol got, Smeagol got the English to be his ally. That's That trips me out. We're going to go see if the docks are still here. Could just send one of my boats, actually, but we're already kind of running over this way anyway, so I don't have a gatehouse here. Shit. Okay, well, let's delete this for now. And then come over and check. We need to kind of, like, get some intel. Perhaps it's time to send Masso on his way. It's over. It's over, you old dog. All right, so let's get the repairs going. All these little micro engagements do matter. Okay, so those docks are destroyed. We're gonna go like check the back of the river here and see. And uh, let's get a gatehouse here. Okay, how are we holding in the middle? Okay, looks like it's getting a little bit crazy. So we do have some units gathering out front, which we can use to fight Smeagol's forces. He's got to be doing some shit down here. I knew it. I knew it. Wait, that's just the dock. It's unprotected. He really is in his base. Okay, so is there any trade going on? Okay, so keep the troops pumping out here. Captain Miller has been eliminated. You know, it happens. He was attacking me a little aggressively when I think there were some other threats, like him ramming me and shit. Yeah. GG, first FFA, well played. You played really well if that's your first game, dude. 
I'm not seeing any trade. Smeagol's gonna go under, probably. Obviously. Look at that, everyone all game was like pitying Smeagol. But he of course had enough for a wonder. Okay, this army is, is trapped here, so we're just gonna delete this and just make a new one by the main base, free up the supply. Come on, guys. We saw this coming from a mile away. Did we not? All right, so let's go make a religious building there. All right, yellow. We gotta try. He's building a wonder. And I, I I wouldn't be able to race him to it, but I have a I actually have a good play of a counter wonder potentially. So let's see if yellow can help. Y yeah, he's there's some there's some shenanigans going on over here. Man, he got a really good spawn too. Let's give it a go though. I'm pretty broke. Rams, Rams will do the trick. Okay, let's get you guys coming and have you run over here. He's trying to stop the sacred site, which is pretty funny. The Sacred Sounder counterplay wasn't really on my agenda too much, to be fair. I do have one in my base, which is cool, and uh, this, this dude's gonna come build this. Alright, so we got the decap. I don't even know where pink is. I know, nobody does. It's a, it's a great mystery of our time. Okay, so heading on down. He's got like walls and stuff, so this would be pretty hard to actually like play the Sacreds. Um, and I doubt, I doubt he's gonna delete, so we'll just set this up. Smeagol running a little bit of interference, which is fine. Uh, but we need to start moving to his base and setting up infrastructure. Yeah, if yellow's not attacking, we have no chance. I hate when I grab those those units. Oh, so troll. Uh, oh wow, my base is open. Are you serious? I, when, who did that? Who and when did that happen? He's gonna, gonna try and troll into my base. Pull these random archer units. As long as the villagers get away, we're, we're chilling. And uh, we got the keep coming up here, so hopefully we can finish that with this. He's planning for all the sacred counterplay, which is smart. But I'm I'm more more so going to be going for his base. Oh, thankfully we got the walls up to prevent the uh, raiding. All right, so you villagers, uh, just chop some trees. We have a good bank. We're we're relatively well banked here. All right, let's get you guys to clean up. We got spears coming out, so let's have you guys come out and help. Yeah, it's not his whole army. He's got he's got a fair amount of troops here, and it looks like he did shut down the keep over there, uh, as is as was foretold. All right, so let's set up siege workshops, and then we can get you, and that will allow us to keep like steady pressure. Let's get a couple of you guys to build the keep. All right, so let's grab all our military, head down this way. We don't really care about the sacreds. It, it it's too hard to protect because he built he there was walls around it so. We have 12 minutes, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of time, my friends. And he's just trickling out units. God, I really do wonder how he was making so much. I mean, understandably, maybe it was naval trade for a long time. Yellow, what are you doing? Don't backstab my base. What are you doing? Why are there transport ships up in my territory? What is this? What is this? I cannot get jiggy with this. All right, let's start spamming rams because that's, that's just what we do. Where's our military? Yeah, most, most, most of it's like tied up in trade, which just obviously makes sense. Let's go push. Do we have any siege equipment yet? I don't think so. Um, so let's grab a bunch of the archers and just delete them. All right, rams. Let's get those rams going. We arrive. Hopefully Pink will be here to help. And he can just troll around if he wants to and probably shut down some trade too, actually. So let's get some of you guys and you guys and you guys and you guys and protect the trade route. Meanwhile, let's see if there's any openings. I doubt it, but we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, cool. So forward infrastructure, forward infrastructure of the gods. And uh, then we switch our rally keys to all these buildings. And we see his armies, okay. I could do some canoes. Hopefully yellow is like planning something, something cool, you know? Yeah, we can just like clear all these out and then have our armies gather in here. And can we build a, yeah, we can do this. So clean this out, get our armies through here. Enemy destroyed Spiegel's landmark. So it looks like Gollum did lose a landmark. He's got no pit mines. So yeah, he's spamming warrior scouts mostly just like kind of cheap crappy units right now. So maybe we have a chance of getting in here. We'll have to see. All right, so we need mangoes. 
Like stat. So let's just go take a grind. So the reason why we're knocking down this uh, gatehouse here. All right, let's do this and uh, grab a couple of you guys. It's because then we can build a tower in between and he won't be able to rewall that. Okay, so a lot of trebuchets. It's fine. Let's get our rams up. Let's go for the gatehouse and we can go and fight on the river. Take a couple of you guys, go try and snipe those boats. And yeah, we can start losing, affording to lose some units for sure. His army's not that good. He might actually have a decent chance at this. I mean, the positioning and the choke point on the water is really the nastiness. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe we can get through there. I don't know what you guys are doing, but let's set up a keep here. So he can't really push us out. Um, try and knock down the walls. Okay, so we need mangoes and spears and sofa and scouts and stuff. Yeah, his wonder's in the corner. Probably pretty well entrenched, I would guess, based on... Uh, hopefully I'm not the only one attacking. That's That's my concern. He's trying to dive back here with some random warrior scouts. Pretty strong. Pretty smart. He's got them torching buildings and stuff. That's why you build the old. Uh, that's why you build the old, uh, the old uh, keep there. Try and force him back. Okay, is anybody else attacking? If not, we might run into some serious problems. Actually. Okay. So let's get you guys shooting. Unfortunately, he's got a nice little ambush on us here, but we have enough to just build basically infinite. And uh, let's get some archery rangers up here too. And uh, one more keep should do the trick. The so far are gonna eventually win the grind against his units here. Uh, sounds good. Okay, so Maso says he's attacking. I was actually about to ask. I was like, is anybody actually coming in to help? But it sounds like he is. So that's great. All right, so you guys finish it up. Let's get our army down here. Clean up the last of Smeagol's troll force. Troll force one. And do this, and do this. All right, great. So that's a decent little produ uh, production center. Let's go in, keep moving. We got the keep. Now we can start pressing. We got six of the mangonels. So let's get the do hosting going. We have wood to last a lifetime. As a matter of fact, we'll steal some wood down here. Yeah, he's got units coming from down there. I wonder what, the, what they're doing. Is this a, oh, that's his old town center, wow, okay. All right, so the keep's gonna get finished. I think these are sofa. Yeah, he still still somehow has gold. I don't know how he's doing it. It's wild, wild shit. Good interference though. Really, really good play from him. All right, so we clean them up. The keep should be finishing in a second, which will keep him from flanking so easily there. And now we just move our whole army on in, and we're all set. Great. We're having to use a lot. I'm using a lot of stone to try and like ensure the efficacy of this push. Unfortunately, but um. Yeah, I think it's worth. Spears, um, archery ranges are still being finished. Yeah, he's got to be feeling this by now. How, and how does Homeboy have so much stone, too? My goodness. I would love to see his bank. I'm curious how he's so rich. All right, let's nail these villagers here. Let's see if we can get in. And uh, let's get some of these. All right, so Vils are getting hammered. We are officially in, or at least pretty close to it. Here comes his army. He's going to be trying to do battle here. So let's do a fight, which is a good spot for us because we have the uh, advantage of the... Uh, how much time do we have left? Seven minutes? Okay. It's doable. He's got a lot of mangoes, though. He's got a lot of horsemen, too. Thankfully, we do have this keep back here, which is hopefully going to help us hold. And, uh, yeah, we just kind of keep on the rams. We got bombards coming in our next wave, so hopefully we win this fight here, this brawl. And they can keep knocking down all these. You guys keep knocking down all these. Okay. He's taking big casualties, man. I don't know how he's mustering. Uh, keep going. Okay, let's fan out. Okay, we got most of his army down. Now it's mainly just like siege and stuff. All right, let's get the sofa mastery upgrade. So it's mainly just siege equipment now, and we've gotten through several layers of walls, and now we just need to remuster a big army and push. Um, we can do some culves, but he's got a really good diving army. Yeah, we got four bombards now, too. Okay, how are we looking? Is he flanking here? No, doesn't look like it. Looks like he thought about it. Oh, he's got a cannon tower down there. Okay. All right, so now we got the bombardos. I'm hoping they'll make a difference in this fight. Granted, it's hard to protect them here. But if the English are attacking, you know, we're doing our part. This is This is what we do. This is what we do. Okay, and get spears. Take our army, move over and attack. 
Smeagol's 200 military pop? Yeah, it's 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 more of a question of like how long can his bank hold. That's that's really what we're testing because you know he if he indeed had like 100,000 of every resource, which I suspect he did, um, then yeah he could hold for sure. But otherwise we we have a chance. He could he could start to run dry on resources. I'm I'm hemorrhaging resources pretty hard, but it, you know you can see his army's looking a little bit lighter now. It's looking a little bit lighter. Okay, let's move in. Go after the Manganels if we can. How can I not move past that wall? That was weird. It didn't look like it was finished. Okay, let's pull back, pull back. Knock the walls down. Yes, yes, precious. Is there any sort of flanking coming in? Looks like, yeah, a little bit of raiding in the back, but nothing too serious. All right, so we got in. Let's go jump on all the artillery if possible. Holy shit! Holy shit! Look at that. Oh, dear God. I didn't even see you, homie. I did not even see you. Okay, so let's uh, knock down these walls to help our deli friend get in. The, de the deli Chad showing up in the fourth quarter. This choke point is disgusting, by the way. Uh-huh. Let's knock down this one. And now we start knocking down some of the artillery in the back, if possible. Okay. Just this ginormous deli army just rolls up. Why are they not shooting? Are they just... I gave them shooting orders, but it seems like they're having some line of sight issues still. Okay, so the mangonels are getting brought down. We got rams moving up. Let's keep popping all these artillery. Okay, he's run them back. And now we need some more of these. Hey, you know what? That that Every little bit of resource drain helps, right? Every little bit. We got another big wave of reinforcements coming in. Guys, he must have been so rich. Jesus, I'm going to delete this keep so uh, the purple, the, that player doesn't keep losing things. Yeah, the choke point's nasty. It's like we just can't get past it like with, it, with ease, obviously, without any trouble. Okay, how are we doing? We got three minutes left, and we got to hope the English player is doing something too. I can't believe people still trust Smeagol politics. I sure don't. But a lot of people still do, which is crazy. Okay, let's do this. We're still bunched up in the water here, which definitely sucks bad. Got 50 spearmen, which is not going to be too helpful here. No! Can't you find another way across the river? This is like screwing up, screwing it up. Both of us getting in here, we're just fighting one another. Uh, get creative and cross the river. Us fighting in this choke, it's like it's, we're basically just helping him. I'm the gr let me do the grind on the river. What the hell is this? Is something shooting me here? It's like some war canoe or something. Okay. Uh, not you. I know you have been. Okay, so let's move the culverins up. We only have two minutes left, guys. It's it's looking real tight. Okay, so we'll get you to shoot this, you to shoot this. All right, so it looks like we just popped a bunch of his siege engines, which is good. So, that's a start. Yes, yes. Oops, wrong button. I don't think we're going to get it, though. I think it's just... I think he's too too rich. I mean, I'm rich, too, but he's got this corner position. And entrenchment. Okay, he's coming with rams. Let's get his before he gets ours. Let's get him. Did we get a pop? Okay. So one culverin down. Let's get the other culverin. He might be running. Oh, those are spring alds. I don't want to be spamming spring alds at our friend here. As much as I like Smeagol. Okay, so let's get that other one. As soon as he pops out, we get that. Come on. He definitely sweared on the precious. Yeah, so rams are coming, but the angling of having to fight in this river. This is like literally a hellscape. If this was any open field, we would have gotten in pretty easily, but this is just brutal. All right, so let's uh, knock those down. Yeah, he's only got a couple of these left. Um, but yeah, like, Yellow's gonna end up attacking me here. Just because, you know, we're standing on top of each other. Yeah, coming from the river would probably be preferable. He can try and get in. He can try, but man, this choke is so foul. And am I still being raided down here a little bit? No, no, it's, not, it's nothing. It's just the cannon. Plus, he's got the warships, which are just really good. Alright, so let's move you guys in. See if we can get on top of the artillery. Yeah, see, like, I can't even get past Yellow. Oh, uh, force your way in. All right, so we've gotten on top of some of these, which is good. 
We might have broken in, but too little too late. Yeah, we finally kind of got in here, see? With like one minute left. So yeah, this would be this would be where we need to be, but it's too late. Yeah, he's, his spawn is super strong. GG, well played. He played a great game too, man. Even with a good spawn, that takes an immense amount of skill to do. I'm wondering if he has demo ships also. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, allied, you can get the next lobby warmed up. Do it. Prepare it for battle. Like, how do we, this choke point, how else do we get into his base? Is that it? It's the only land, land way to get into his base, I think. Yeah, there's no other way. Oh my god. Well, six seconds left, but the wonder is still entrenched. He probably has to keep some walls back there. Man, well played, though, well played. I couldn't have held like that. I couldn't have. 100% no. Yeah, GG, well played. Yeah, so we we had, when Yellow and I were 2v1ing Smeagol, we could have probably won it if I didn't get jumped by the other players. Like, if, um, if Blue didn't jump me, I think we could have killed Smeagol, but they probably weren't aware how rich he was, so they thought it was, like, bullying, maybe. Yeah, because he was just, yeah, he's just got the whole corner here. Oh, my God, look at this. Wow. Oh, uh, not, like, super entrenched, but, you know, the thing is, he was probably naval trading from, like, this dock, like, all the way upriver for a long time. I think he was. So he was he was trading here. Holy shit, that's OP. Yeah, well played. He certainly he certainly took advantage of what he got. Awesome play for Imba Garrison back here. Yeah, no, this is like, oh, my God, that spawn is hellish. My spawn was... It was okay. It, once we cleared out our northern thread, it was good because we set up for a wonder of our own. But the problem with my wonder is um, I would have gotten attacked from pink from here, Smeagol from here, and and uh, yellow from here. So holding off all three of them. I could have, but I wouldn't have beat him. He had more villagers than me. I only had like 30 villagers, cause, so I, I wouldn't have been able to beat him. Yeah, dude, crazy ass spawn. All right, allied, get that lobby ready, baby. Let's cast it. Hey, I knew he was, I knew he was a raid boss. I was trying to get people to work against him, but... They just felt like attacking me instead. Yeah, which I understand. I was trading a little bit in the middle. It wasn't like that strong, but um, somebody who has an entrenched corner position, you have to kill them. You have to kill them or else you're just going to lose. Yeah, we did wait, but you know, I, I couldn't have held a wonder. There was zero chance of that. Yeah, so we're doing a casted FFA now. Allied is going to get the game going. Uh, so Allied, go ahead and get the game if you're here in chat. I'm going to grab some water. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. It's been fun. Uh, how can we look at the resources? I already left the lobby. Is it possible? To go into my match history? Maybe I can. Uh, okay, I think we can. I think we can go back and look. Hold on. Yeah, so resources. Smeagol had the most stone. He had 25,000 stone somehow, which is nuts. Um, and he had the most wood too. It looks like max wood, most wood. Or maybe he had the most at some point. I had the most gold, which makes sense, but Smeagol was 151, I was 154. So we were basically the same in the gold department, but um, somehow he had got way more stone than me. Another 5,000 on top of that, very nice. But it was really the position. All right, I'm gonna go grab some water and uh, we'll get started with the next game here in just a second. Well played to our champions tonight, it's been fun. And uh, let's see if the lobby gets brought up. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, is he here? If he's AFK, then we'll find someone else to host. Um, so let's see. Scroll up. Well played to Smeagol once again. Uh, Allied seems to be AFK. So I'll message him on Discord and see and give him, give him a chance. All right, so where is he? 
What's his name on Discord? It's different. Yo, man. You AFK? You here, brother? I know, he was fiending to host one of these. He's always asking. So I shot him a message in Discord. I see the little phone icon, so I know he's lurking there somewhere. You better hurry. Dinner, Dinner's creeping up. He's getting on. Okay, there you go. We're all good. And feel, and feel free to join his lobby. Yeah. So anybody's welcome to join um, who didn't play in the previous ones because we want to make sure that everybody gets a chance to play. So um, anyone is good to go. Let's see what's going to happen, man. Man, it's 5 a.m. and I've been playing uh, on the second monitor. Why am I like this? Dude, Carlos, I'm the same way, man. Like every night I'll like, I'll just look at the clock and it's like 4 a.m. And I'm just like, dude, I'm going to feel like shit tomorrow. Why am I like this? That's just like, I, I, I can't, I'm not, a, I don't like sleeping. I just, uh, yeah, I can completely relate, man. I'm working on a color scheme for um, some Warriors of Chaos for uh, Warhammer Fantasy right now. I'm trying to, trying to iron it out. It's been tough. The beast hungers. It does, dude. It does. All right. Let's see here. What what are you saying, Allied? You got the lobby up? I'm looking. I see you browsing custom. Doesn't say in lobby. You better hurry, boss. Hmm. Perfect. Thanks for the late night. Oh, it's always a good time, man. I, I love this game. I love it. Yeah. Age of Empires is always a great time. I got to get back to playing some 1v1s. I played a couple. I won. I won. I think I won two and lost one. I, I got back to Diamond League, so... I gotta, uh, I gotta maybe grind and try and get my way back to the old conqueror in the next two weeks. It'd be, it'd be fun. I don't know if I'm good enough though. To I've been playing other games too much. Sleep is for old people and babies. You know what's interesting, Gunhound is most older people I've met, like people in their you know, sixties and seventies and eighties. I find that um, at least in the case of my grandparents and a lot of my family is they like they sleep less when they're older. It's like my dad used to probably only sleep six hours, seven hours a night. Um, Let's see. Yeah, in his older years. And my grandpa would stay up till like 2 a.m. watching westerns every night before he passed. He would just be like chilling, watching like Clint Eastwood and, and, uh, and, uh, and, you know, John Wayne movies and stuff. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Did you and Sparty ever play Pokemon against each other in ye old days? No, we don't go that far back. Um, I met Sparty in 2007, 2006, um, when we were in college together at, um, at a school down in California. So at that point, um, we were we were just both addicted to World of Warcraft, basically. Hey, congratulations, Gunhound! Congratulations, you got the dreaded Gold Three and ranked, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Um, I'm checking here. So, Ally, do you have the lobby up? Let me check with you. Um, sh starting. Uh, so let's see here. So from your message, sure. No problem. Two minutes left then, I'm guessing. All right, so Allied said he's gonna be starting in the lobby in about two minutes. He's just had to take care of something in the house real quick, so we'll, we'll let him do it. Yeah, it's fine. We're just gonna hang out and chat a little bit. Fuck, dude, World of Warcraft was brutal. Oh my God, so many, so many. You know what the most cursed thing in World of Warcraft is? After you've been addicted to it for a long time, to go and type slash played. Oh my God. It's like one of those like sinking moments in a movie when you're just like, you know, some dark revelation happens and it's just like play some dramatic music. Yeah, no, it's it's brutal. Yeah. What class did you main in World of Warcraft? I was a I was a gladiator frost mage. So I managed to get gladiator playing. Uh, I was a frost mage. We had a rogue and then we had a priest in our 3v3 team and then also in 2v2. But then eventually Blizzard changed it so you couldn't get the gladiator rewards for the 2v2 arena, which I thought was stupid. I thought 2v2 was really fun. But um, yeah. It was good. I had land trade with three relics and giant pit mines. Yeah, no, Smeagol was cackling for sure. He was. But yeah, Slash played in World of Warcraft is really depressing. I I thought about going back recently and looking to see, but I was like, oh my god, no. Don't do it. It's a trap. It is a trap. What map are you suggesting? Uh, Want to spring a custom map? So, or, yeah, go ahead and do a custom map. Just communicate with uh, Allied Trex. In Discord and, and set it up, and then we can do that. Yeah, it's fun. You're the Dominic Toretta of FFA <laughs> family. Oh my god. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, Smeagol must have been pretty rich. We found I found his pit mines pretty late in the game. I, I could have killed those earlier. 
but he was he was cackling all the way to the bank. He was so rich, and his micro is so good. Like Smeagol's micro is so impressive. Like the way he flanks and defends his wonders is like it's like godlike. I I would honestly put his wonder defense against any like pro players defending a wonder. Like it's it's really really good. I heard the latest expansion is decent, dude. I couldn't go back to World of Warcraft though. It's too much of a grind. It's like. Like nostalgia is like kind of trying to pull me back to play um, Diablo, you know, because that was Diablo Two is like one of my favorite games of all time, and the nostalgia is strong. They have my favorite class, the Necromancer, in the new one, but it's just like God, it's so grindy, you know. It's like just grinding and grinding and grinding, and I know there's some PvP in it now, but I don't know. I don't know, man. So what color am I painting my Chaos Boys? Um, so they have white armor with like a grime on it, like a green grime, and then they have a silver uh, trim and green a green cloak. It's like a Nurgle, Nurgle faction with white armor. I, so far, I'm not like super happy with it, but I gotta I gotta keep experimenting with this game and iron it out. No, that was all Gollum that game. Although no, there was some Smeagol because he came out and tried to elicit like pity from people, like you know, as if he was being two v one for no reason, even though he like was cackling on a wonder. Wonder Bunny. Um, so there's the Golem, but the Smeagol is like when he starts to strangle you with the Wonder. You know, that's that's the anecdote for that. Yeah, I've, I've heard mixed things about Diablo 4. I've heard mixed things. I've had a couple of friends say they love it, and a couple of folks say it's kind of like boring. Um, you know, too similar to Diablo Immortal, and like the pay to win is going to come eventually, even though it's not here now. Lobby's up. Lobby's up, baby. Let's do it. Hopefully, you guys don't mind the podcast chilling. It's like the OG Dusk Raiders. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's like, uh, so it's like white with a uh, Caliban green and then um, silver trim and like moot green to highlight the Nurgle details. And then I'm going to put like Nurgle's rot on the bases and stuff. Yeah. So it's like a Nurgle Warriors of Chaos Army. Nurgle, uh, Nurgle marked. And so not like pure. Um, oh, wow. Holy shit. They started that lobby fast. Jesus. Okay. We're going to be getting into the game right now. Yeah, it's hard enough for me to mash buttons in this game with my arthritis in my hands. So I'm like, in Diablo, I feel like it would just be pure suffering. But, you know, I can do RTS because it's like burst, you know, more so. But yeah, like it, that's literally just if you play for four hours, you're just mashing, you know, buttons for four hours. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, let's see. Can we spectate? Hopefully you didn't forget to put a spectator slot. Sometimes it takes a second. You have to, you have to kind of let it roll. So... We'll see if it pops up for us. What is the most played, most slash played of the games you regularly stream? Uh, Total War for sure. I play a lot of Total War after hours to like, because one of my like least favorite things is when you listen to a commentator and they don't know the game they're talking about. You know, like a lot of, you'll see that in esports and you'll see that in like professional sports too. They'll like hire mercenary commentators who don't like know, know or care about the game really. Like I like to be at a comp competent, com semi-competitive level with games I'm commentating, right? So someone is uh, holding the lobby. Someone is about to be kicked. All right, sounds good. Thanks for the update, man. Yeah, we could just go with, go with seven. It's okay. No need to restart. Uh, why playing with the... No, controllers are actually harder for my hands. Yeah, it's harder, but I'm going to be starting some medicine soon that will hopefully help with my hands because uh, it's based on psoriatic arthritis. So it basically just attacks all my tendons and joints and shit. So hopefully uh, I can get back to normal, which would be great. That would mean more. That would mean like two streams a day. We'd be doing a lot of fun stuff. Hmm. The good times would roll indeed. Yeah, I tried decayed bronze, um, but I didn't like it. I actually switched to silver. The bronze like kind of clashed with the greens a little bit, at least with the scheme I was doing. Yeah, we might have the assigning teams bug. So any announcer that doesn't support my favorite team, yeah. All right, let's see. Nope, still still uh, lagging out. Look at all the drama with getting this last game started tonight. My goodness. No, not that frost light. It's something else, yeah. I'm an OG Luna Wolves man myself. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, the old Black the Black Legion before the Black Legion. Fellow arthritis sufferer. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, dude. It sucks. I, I've had it since I was 21, although I didn't get diagnosed until like maybe six months ago. Crazy, crazy times. Yeah, if they need to rehost, it's fine. Just get try and get the same people in there if you can. But just yeah, get it get it rolling, brothers. So Allied, go ahead and you guys can force quit if you need to rehost or something. And but just try to get the same people that you had. So maybe take a screenshot and see how that looks. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Do your thing, guys. I'm 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 good. We're chilling. 
The new Warriors of Chaos models are pretty cool. We can take a look at some of those. I know a lot of you guys might not be Warhammer enjoyers since you're here for age, but um, like the Slaves of the Darkness models are really great. And they're, they're basically just fantasy Warriors of Chaos who've been updated. So if you want to play the old world, you can you could just buy them and you know, and then they'll, uh, they'll fit your needs. Uh, let me show you here. Yeah, here we are. So Chaos, uh, nope, not Skaven. Every time I look at Skaven, I think I just read Shaven first. So this is the kit I got. It's it's, it's pretty cool. I painted. Um, which one did I paint last night? Uh, I, I can't remember. It's the guy who has his skull on a shield. He's around here somewhere. Yeah, the guy on the the left. But um, yeah, these models are rad. So these are the new Warriors of Chaos models. They're really really good. So yeah, I'm trying to do them justice. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Um, but like other Warriors of Chaos stuff is pretty great. Some of the stuff is like too high fantasy. Age of Sigmar. Like this guy, I'm not a huge fan of him, but like the Chaos Knights are great. You can get a batch of Chaos Knights and you could just slap these bad boys on square bases and they're going to be ready for Old World and, um, or just use base modifiers. Like you're going to be totally fine. Yeah. Evil Dead AoE. Yeah. You, you like the Evil Dead stream? That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Maybe we'll go back and play that again sometime. All right. Ally just got the lobby up. Harry the Hammer. I'm doing a Nurgle scheme, so it's a little bit different. Do you think they'll make another Warhammer movie or TV show? Yeah, I think someday it'll happen. I don't know when, but like we're going to get Henry Cavill apparently is working on a Warhammer show, right? So we're probably going to get one from him, but that's going to be 40K. Um, I think they mentioned that it's going to be like loosely based on or inspired by um, like an Inquisitor, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Or some sort of a character like that. So it won't be like... It's kind of hard to have Space Marines as your main focus, like outside of literature. You know, Space Marines are basically giant child soldiers, right? I mean, they do have some personality, but uh, I think it's way more interesting if you have a non-Space Marine as your main character and have the Space Marines be these, like, super scary, like, Terminators who just show up. And there's, like, a shock and awe of seeing them. And, like, it really captures, like, the super superhuman, post-human nature of the Space Marine. I think that's really how you do it. Like, you could have one in the crew, like, have there be a Space Marine traveling with, like, this Inquisitor squad or whatever, but, like... You know, I, I think having them as a side character is better than like a main character. Although, you know, the Space Marine video game does a good job of that with um, the, the Ultramarine guy. He's really cool. Uh, they're doing a 40K animated one right now. I'm not sure. A lot of the Games Workshop ones are, um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen those on the services, but I'm sure they're fine. Have you ever thought about pursuing a casting career in more lucrative games? Um, it, it's, 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 it's crossed my mind for sure, but um, I'm like, I don't know. You got to chase, you got to like pursue your passion, you know? And like, if I was casting for like Dota or one of these bigger games, like, you know, you got to, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I've always been an advocate of like really pursuing your passion. And then with that will come success, you know? Um, and plus I, I have friends who used to, you know, cast for Blizzard and who've done like professional casting for big companies like Riot. And they do not get paid as well as you would think. They, Unless it's like a really major event or the caster is like a huge personality themselves. Someone like Day9, for example. Um, those uh, Esports casters do not get paid as well as you would think. They really, really get done dirty. Like if you look at how much like a college, a college, you know, even a college football caster or, uh, you know, an ESPN guy might make, regardless of the size of the esport event, the, the, the casters, even proportionally speaking for esports, get like paid horribly. Like, absolutely horribly, so. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go for the games you love, for sure. That's, that's just how I roll. I understand it, though. The more Machiavellian approach, like, but, yeah, for me, I would, I would maybe burn out. Like, I haven't burned out on these games, RTS and Total War and, you know, all this, because I just, it's something you really enjoy. Yeah, but esports, esports, esports casters do not get paid well. Whereas, like, somebody who does more along the lines of what I do, you can, you have more negotiating power when you're working with companies. Um, that's something I've noticed. But, you know, hopefully that answers your question. If you aren't passionate about the con... Oh, dude, I'm super passionate about, like... Yeah, you could you, you could ask you could ask anyone in my life about Warhammer and stuff. For a second, I thought I was playing. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, I better get my mouse going. All right, let's... You guys ready? You want some official, you know, some official kind of casting stuff? So uh, let's get it started. Spawning on the north side of the map, we have Allied Trex. He is going to be our blue Delhi Sultanate champion. He has been representing the Delhi... Since I can remember. Down on the west side of the map, we have Quill. Quill was the winner of our first FFA game. Quill was able to defeat me and then went on to defeat the great Dark Hunter Ezra. Over to the east, we have the Angry Penguin. Angry Penguin is here with the uh, dreaded town center. 
Yes, no surprises here, but this is going to be Malians. Down to the south side of the map, we have Santi. Santi is going to be the Ottomans, which I'm really excited. Will we see the Forbidden Ottoman trade with the Seagate Castle? I think that could be quite a bit of fun as well. Over to the east, we have Sorona. Sorona is going to be our Holy Roman champion. Holy and Roman, and a little bit German as well. So they are going to be here and uh, gathering those sweet resources. Up to the east side, we have Startled. Startled is going to be our Roost player. Roost immediately opening with the hunting cabin as well as bounty hunting on the map, which I'm surprised that doesn't get said as often. But yeah, bounty hunting. A little bit of water on the map, and this isn't insignificant. These are deep water fish, so I think it'd be worth it to maybe get like two or three, maybe even four Roost fishing boats here because deep water fish does respawn. And that is a considerable amount of food. Obviously, deep sea fishing does have an extremely fast gather rate. So that's pretty good. Now, rating the spawn positions, I think yellow has a really, really nice spawn, like kind of up in the corner with two relics up here, like very, very free to grab. Obviously, anybody who's starting in a corner is going to be having a bit of an advantage, but you have to remember the epicenter of gold on this map. So like the real, real sweet spot, ladies and gentlemen, is up here. So you get like all the gold veins. This area is so balls deep with resources. And as you know, trade trade is king. Um, trade is king in FFA. That's how, you know, if gold runs out of the map, whoever has trade typically is going to be the winner. I mean, obviously they, they can get swarmed and dragged down, but they're going to be having a pretty considerable advantage to say the least. So pretty darn fun, man. Pretty darn fun. Who's going to be aging up first? Quill is on the French. I think Quill is going to be looking to uh, steamroll somebody in Castle Age with some French knights with upgrades and then maybe look to go wonder after that. I think that's going to be pretty great. And uh, yeah, guys, that's the tale of the tape. Thanks for joining. It looks like the Roost is going to be maybe thinking about getting some water here. They do scout it. So we do see Startled uh, discovering the water. So they will know that, that is indeed on the table. And down on the south side, though, this is this is the real, real juiciness. We got a bunch of deep sea fishing nodes so it looks like there's going to be six in total of deep sea fishing nodes so yeah whoever's going to get this uh this isn't any special format or anything it's not regicide this is just a normal ffa so it's very much going to be you know the classic win conditions like french wonders in the corner um who would be aggressive we don't have your avity here tonight your avity is like the king of castle age aggression he's getting in there and it, it's cool yeah he has like a really unique play style just like smeagol does and you know you start to see the personalities of different players develop after you cast for like a couple months but china is also you know depending on the skill level of twist here china is like a super super late game powerhouse hmm. that needs to be respected so we'll see we can see this imperial official that's how they used to do it back in ancient china by the way if you guys have never been there they they just kind of stand there and shimmy and kind of are hunched over and waving their arms back and forth making sure the commoners are working and dropping off the sheep at this mill you guys know how it goes yeah, the center is definitely big. I mean, you got the trade post here. I think there's another trade post too. Yeah, there's one on the far side here. One trade post here for anybody who's looking to kind of keep tabs on things. And looking around the rest of the map, uh, I think that's really the epicenter of action. Yeah, these two trade posts. That's where it's really going to be heavily contested. So Regicide is really fun. I, I like Regicide a lot. Like it, it can speed up the pacing of the game. I think my favorite thing about Regicide, especially the one that um, Aussie Drongo made, was the... Um, the, like the population cap increase because it incentivizes aggression, which I think makes it a lot more fun to watch. Hey, Frostlight, thank you for the tenor care of reporting. Thank you, man. Yeah, the Chinese official uh, is indeed, uh, yes, dabbing, as you said. I think he's he's throwing those elbows up. He's doing, he's doing some moves. Dabbing would be, when was that a thing? That was like, that's like a Zoomer thing, right? Like dabbing? Because back in my day, um, you had you had Fat Joe who was like a rapper and he had this oh, was it Fat Joe who had the song it was like elbows up side to side or something and it's like the dance is kind of like this like shimmy where you throw your elbows up I remember hearing that when I was in high school I think the the dab is like a newer phenomenon I think that was like maybe early 2010 so that would probably be categorized as like a zoomer thing maybe I'm not sure yeah I'm trying to like we when I was in high school we had like little John we had the Ying Yang twins. Like if we're talking like those, that kind of like rap music that set trends and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can train. You totally can, man. You can. That it was about five years ago. Okay. Yeah. So that was what, man? 2018, really? God, man. Time flies. It's way too fast. I think it's millennials, really. 2018 probably wouldn't be a millennial thing, but it could be. Could be like early Zoomers. Hmm, hard to say. Well. On the far side, we have the dreaded Chamber of Commerce, and he's going to be getting that trading going quick. And it looks like there is going to be a scout. Allied Trex is nearby, but is Allied Trex going to be sounding the horn and kind of calling out the French trade? I don't know, man. I don't know. 
But yeah, Chamber of Commerce is pretty cool. It acts as a market, trains one free trader for each economic technology research. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's neat. I, I don't use it terribly often. I know it got changed, but really unfortunate spawn for Angry Penguin. I feel bad for him. Um, this is a cursed spawn position, just like in the middle of the map with two people behind you and then like the resources in the middle right in front of you where everybody's going to be kind of contesting and battling. Yeah, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a grim time for uh, the angry penguin unless he gets like turbo aggressive and takes somebody out near him to secure some safety. Dabbing was like borderline zoomer memes. Yeah, yeah, it's like border the border between like zoomers and millennials. Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy is man, I was uh, the other day I was just sitting and thinking. I was like, what were like the really early internet memes that I remember? Obviously, when I was in college, we had rage comics. That was like all the hotness. But before that, do you guys remember the This Is Sparta like compilations? Oh my God, that was that was great. Those are really fun. Um, yeah, and all the uh, bad. There was Bad Luck Brian. We had Scumbag Steve. Those that's that's really some dating stuff right there. I'm sure many of you guys can relate. So down to the south side. Good fishing here from Serona. Serona going to be grabbing uh, five boats and really really sitting quite quite well here. Turn. We just had the Macarena. Oh my god, I remember going to roller rinks back in the 1990s and having the Macarena play. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, the cat. I remember that one. Yeah, and the limbo. We used to do that. Yeah, this is some wild stuff, man. Yeah, good times. All your base belongs to us. Yeah, that one's another one. The red, red versus blue spawned a lot of memes as well. Dude, it goes even deeper. The end of the world, I remember that one. The end of the world from like, God, that was on like some, like way, way back when. Would that have been like 2002, 2003 when that was on the internet? Velociraptor, yeah, yeah. Planking back in the 2000s. Oh my God, you guys. Cotton Eye Joe, I remember that. That's the name of my necromancer in, uh, in Diablo. It was Cotton Eye Joe, yeah. Planking was 2014, man. Hell yeah, Sparta compilations, Techno Viking. Techno Viking was a classic, yeah, he was. A little bit of a weird situation here on the bottom. Quill getting attacked by double sc by warrior scouts? Are you guys seeing this? What is this? Angry Penguin is raiding Quill with like warrior scouts. Quill is uh, was looking to go greedy French 2TC with his trade, but he's actually getting punished a little bit for it now. But I mean, he should be able to get some spears out and uh, angle that. Oh my God, the what's up Budweiser thing. Oh my God, that's so old. That's so old. Yeah, man, this is this is uh, this is a good time. I feel like a lot of us are around the same age, you know. When I look at the the demographics for people who watch this channel, it's like I think the overwhelming majority is like twenty four to thirty six is like the overwhelming majority of people. Yeah, Chocolate Rain was like two thousand late two thousands, I think. Yeah, with Tay Day, I think was his name or something. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Nonetheless, a little bit of heavy skirmishing going on here as we do see the Warrior Scouts. Angry Penguin not making friends. And I'm sure Quill is going to be coming for blood. The French will gather their spears and uh, and create a, a dread legion. I have to say, Angry Penguin, though, is some good micro. He's getting some nice harassment. Looks like he's going to be dragging down the scout of Serona. Serona fishing. Over to the east, we have Startled. Startled has taken the water with the Roost fishing boats. Very, very strong. Mr. Moo is just being English. Just building farms and just, you know, hanging out. Longbow's chilling in the base. Economically speaking, not going to be terribly strong simply because, you know, you're on one TC. I mean, if he goes fast castle and then builds the uh, two second TC landmark, I think he'll be okay. I think he'll be okay. Up in the far north, we do got Twist, our Chinese player. What's he doing? He's got the Song Dynasty on the way, so he's going to be producing villagers at a very, very quick rate. He's all good. Delhi is uh, going to be going ham with the Village Fortress spam. Oh, I like that. So Rahul... Uh, Ally Trex here. It's going to be going for the village fortresses. So basically you build a million keeps, you research the village fortresses, and then all of your keeps are going to be able to produce villagers. You're super durable. You have huge macro boom. It's really, really fun. I think Delhi is uh, super, super awesome. Yeah, always a great time. And uh, yeah, looks like there's going to be some mortal wombat here. We do see the second TC coming up here from Quill. Quill is going to be getting all these uh, huntable deer around the lands over to the east. It looks like the Malians are going to have to figure it out. They raided, but... They didn't quite get the job done. And now the French are probably going to have a bit of an economic advantage on them with the second TC coming out. And uh, they have their infrastructure. And I assume there's going to be some Mortal Kombat coming here soon. These two are going to be going at it. It's going to be Scorpion Sub-Zero all up in this game. And we get the Freema. Okay, wait. Freema Garrison could be heavy aggression on the French, which I think would be good. I think that, you know, Angry Penguin needs to go for the kill on uh, Quill. Kind of rhymed. That was, that was cool, right? Somebody in chat saying, I remember using Vinchillo for my Wrath of the Lich King raids. You and me both, brother. You and me both. It's all about that. Delhi going for the Relic Theft. 
He's got his scholar hustling up there. How many relics does Allied have? Allied Trek sitting on four relics, looking mighty jacked here. Going to be getting another keep. He's got all his upgrades coming. Man, i got to get back to playing Delhi. Delhi's such a fun faction. Look at this. Allied is just jacking all the relics from Yellow's lands, but Yellow is walling him in. Oh, this is going to be some Mission Impossible shit. What are these villagers doing? they got to finish the wall. If they finish the wall and trap in the uh, Scholars, then the Scholars aren't going to be able to escape, and they can just take the relics. So Allied looks like he's going to be going for more relics, heading over to the middle as well. And grabbing just this one, I would wager. Not going to be going for the Sacred Sites. The French are still trading. And uh, it looks like the Malians are going to be going for blood. Yeah, yeah, we got archers coming out to counter the spearmen. Straight out of the frame, but Garrison. I feel like I'm watching a really, really sweaty 1v1 game, which is pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. So they're heading across, and uh, the raiding begins. So they're going to be forced back into the TC, but not before they start to lose villagers. So one villager is probably going to go down here before he reacts. A second villager most likely going to be going down. So a slight lapse in micro from Quill does cost him two villagers. The French do have some knights, though, so they're not helpless. Uh, I don't know if the archers are going to be enough to get through the French knight. French knights do have really, really good armor, so... I don't know, man. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how this goes down. Looking around, all peaceful on the roost. All peaceful here for Serona. Santa Claus down here, absolutely chilling with the twin Minaret Madras. Probably mangled that pronunciation, but it's all good. I'm American. We're, we're allowed to do that. And uh, over here to the east, we do have Mr. Moo chilling out. Yellow just kind of cackling up in the north, going uh, Castle Age China. But Allied Trex is, I think, going to be a raid boss. He's getting those keeps up with the village fortresses, right? It's village fortress going to be finishing in less than a minute. Um, probably going to be producing mass men at arms. That's like the Allied Trek special. He loves, absolutely loves making just hordes and hordes of men at arms. That is totally his thing. So we'll see if he does it. Although we see stables. Okay, elephants are knights. He is an elephant man. So maybe elephants will come. 124 from the trade, and uh, the Malians look like they're getting aggressive. But the longer the Malians take here, the worse it's going to be for them. Guildhall coming out for the French. No surprises there. That is going to give them some fat, fat money for sure. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be tough. The Malian timing is like quick. The window is quickly disappearing. When the French get Castle Age and start producing, you know, Arbalists. Well, Arbalists aren't really good against Malians. Malians don't have armor, but just Castle Age tier units. Uh, they're going to have a bad time. But here comes the raid, man. I'm happy someone's getting aggressive. I think it's fun. Looks like the Holy Roman's coming out looking for relics, but probably not going to find too many. Um, I think Allied Trex literally got like six relics. Oh my god, he's got seven relics. The Dark Lord, and with tithe barns, that's so much stone. That is so money. So yeah, you're going to need some siege equipment, man. I played against Quill earlier. Quill seems to be a very, very strong player. So I think that, uh, you know, if you don't finish him off, man... You're going to have a bad time. Yes, pink is down in the water. I think. No, that's weird. Santa Claus here needs to go for the water. Santi. That's a big misplay. But, you know, understandably, he might just be wanting to uh, kind of play the land. And, you know, play as he wants to play. We're not judging. We're not judging. But yeah, Malians are going to get steamrolled. I'm calling it now. Uh, we do see more spears coming out, more Donso. But, yeah, we're going to be seeing blacksmiths coming out. Castle Age Knights. Men at Arms will basically hard counter the entire Malian army, which does not have any Muso Fatty in it. You need Muso Fatty to deal with the armor. And honestly, they do bonus versus heavy, so they're not bad against French Knights in numbers either. But Donso are obviously very solid against French Knights. But yeah, mixing them together is, is a really, really good composition. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Heavy trade in the middle. Starting to develop. French 124, 124, 124. The fat trade. And Allied is just going village fortresses and producing villagers out of all of his keeps, which is fun. And, uh, you know, Allied might go down and backstab Red because Allied knows that Red is very, very uh, heavy in the trade in the middle. He sees it. The, the trade is running over a sacred site. So I can totally see Allied going down there and just going bananas. The Relic Thief must be stopped. Yeah, yeah, he's certainly living his best life with these relics, man. He is. He has got a lot. He's got a lot. And here comes the trade. No battling here, man. Just all's calm on the front. All's calm. I think Orange probably, probably going to be realizing soon that this is not going to go well as the French are amassing a pretty good army. They're going to be like the French and Monty Python sitting atop the keep walls. Taunting those below them. Yeah, I would wager that's what's going to happen. Sacred Site captured by Delhi. Dude, Allied is going to be so strong. They're letting him have two Delhi Sacred Sites and seven relics. And, man, nobody is, like, pressuring him at all. It looks like he's going to start setting up walls. Yeah, Delhi is so cool. Look at this. Being able to build walls, I just forgot all about them. I was, like, playing these other civs. But, yeah, they're great, man. They're great. They don't have, like, the strongest FFA mechanics. But if you could go Fast Castle with Delhi and, you know, grab all those relics, I mean, I suppose that kind of, you know, gets the job done, right? The trade route, somebody in chat asking, is 124 gold a pop. So he's getting a fair amount. 
Delhi is starting to kill traders, so Red is going to be getting his cash cow cut off, and that actually gives Angry Penguin a much better fighting chance if he's not getting that trade. Here we see one of the pit mines being raided, and the forces of the French putting it to the torch as they do build a house as well as a mill here, and the villagers going to be farming like the heathen kings of old. The javelin fire dragging down one of the knights, and the knights lead the charge, and that might actually give the Malians the power they need to win this fight. However, very, very poor tools against the men-at-arms, but we do see some Muso Fatty arriving. Angry Penguin is angry! And with the French trade being shut off by allied treks here, suddenly one of the big, you know, momentums here that the French have is going to be heavily diminished. I mean, they're still getting trade here with 56 a pop, but that's going to give the Penguin a really, really good fighting chance as the French army is being driven back. Archers with their poison arrows, the javelin throws, doing some really, really nice incremental damage as they do continue to fight. And yeah, Quill better watch out. My predictions could have been wrong. Maybe the angry penguin heard me on stream and he makes me wants me to eat my words. We'll have to see. But the Malians coming in to uh, steal some of the gold. French putting up a good fight here. And French now building more infrastructure. But the knights are being thrown away in a pretty messy way. Um, they keep moving through spears and getting dragged down by spears. And I think that's one of the big reasons why. Is a knight-heavy army against like all these spearmen is, uh, is quite tough for sure. The French should just be going men-at-arms and archers. Uh, that should just be the army composition. But he probably knows that. And he's going to be switching to that soon, I would imagine. Allied setting up the Great Wall of Delhi here um, on the bottom side, holding on to the two sacred sites. Where's the other sacred site, by the way? I know there's another one. Yeah, it's down here. So looks like that's going to be safe in the hands of Santi. And over here to the east, we do not see too much aggression, man. This is a really, really chill game outside of this little skirmish on the west side of the map. Yellow is, like, able to macro freely. And China being left to its own devices, dude, is gnarly. They can get such crazy granary economies and just be producing, like, just absolute beasts. Nice uh, nice little uh, Imperial official making sure that the gold resources are doing well. Look at this. Allied Trek's building the Great Wall of Delhi and trapping in the villagers here, which I'm surprised he hasn't killed them. I think if Allied were to decide he wanted to kill these villagers, that's 11 food villagers for the French. Um, that would probably be the end of Red. Red would probably then die to Orange. Oh my god, a keep drop coming in. Man, Angry Penguin making me eat my words. He is getting aggressive and having success. I totally thought the French were going to be able to steamroll him back just because of the timing and the two TCs, but he kept that aggression on. And also Red is being disrupted by Delhi. So that's something that, uh, you know, need to take into account as well. Yeah, Pink is just chilling out. Allied is looking to be the tyrant. I mean, looking at Allied's resources, guys, he has 3,000 gold right now. 3,000 gold. Absolutely bananas. And uh, the traders still trading. Allied good to be finishing his Great Wall here, making sure he's safe from Southern aggression. But honestly, the French are looking to be in dire straits, man. They're going to need a keep or something. I think a French keep could be a very good idea. Does he have enough resources? Quill does not. Oh, man, Quill is hurting. He's got no gold income at all. Like, none. I mean, he does have a gold node in the back of his base. Definitely should get on that with some villagers if he can. But, man, this is a, this is some heavy Malian aggression. I'm very impressed. Good play. I, I, I did not think he'd be able to break through the French there. I really, really did not. Over to the east side. What do we have? The Rus, which is setting up their borders and uh, macroing. Everybody's macroing quite happily. The dreaded dandy dragon tactics. And uh, over to the south side, we do have the villagers torching down the house or the depot or outpost, whatever the hell it is. And they're going to be taking this gold node and most likely building a pit mine on that. It's a pretty nice, safe little spot. And the French have mustered somewhat of a defensive force, but now this Malian army has so many units. It has 21 Muso Fatty which are just going to be torching these men-at-arms, like absolutely torching them, especially with a little bit of Poison Arrow Overwatch. The Poison Arrow Fire actually does okay against armor. Once it adds up and stacks, it can be uh, it can be very nasty. Yeah, look at that. Red getting 2v1 pretty well here too. Allied killing all of this trade is going to be cutting off what little gold production he did have. So I'd be really surprised if Red is able to stabilize. Unless, of course, the Malians just let him live and decide not to finish him off or something. But the Malians are still in a rough position. They're kind of like not all in, but they're investing a ton in this aggression. And... Uh, yeah, they're really, really exposed in their central position. So I think if you're the Malians, you do have to be aggressive like this. You have to be the Honey Badger. And it looks like the uh, French are going to be trying to build a keep. What is he doing at the Guildhall? Guildhall is banking uh, stone at this point. So it looks like he may have just collected some stone. But here comes the aggression. It's going to be a hard hold here. It's going to be a very hard hold. Um, thankfully for the French, a lot of the units aren't fighting properly. Okay, now they're moving across and the battle is going to be on. Good micro from Angry Penguin. He's actually sniping some of the lightly armored targets in the back with the archers. And the Muso Fatty Warriors have moved in, but it seems like a lot of his army isn't quite attacking. He's like trying to snipe villagers instead of killing the French army. I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, the French might actually be able to hold this. They have a nice choke point here. They have the TC with five villagers in it, just getting some nice shots. And the Malians uh, might have given the French a lifeline back to life. We'll have to see. I mean, the army is really getting diminished. Big, big pressure for sure. 
And red is like really, really just in the danger zone. Uh, although his trade is still getting a little bit of trade. Nope, trade is being camped by Allied Trex. Allied is going to continue being a tyrant and uh, not letting anybody else get that sweet, sweet trade. Down here, we do have Teal, Serona taking a little bit of map control as well. Looking pretty jacked to this HRE army. Uh, what kind of relics are we working with? We got the Regnets probably on the bottom. L's back and Regnets with two relics. Hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, it's going to give you, th well, what, 300 plus gold a minute? If I'm not mistaken, which is pretty respectable. Uh, yeah, more traders going to their doom. That's got to feel really, really bad for the uh, poor French player in the corner who's barely holding on. And uh, the Malians have set up a keep here. So basically, if you're the Malians, you could just own the French by building a trebuchet. Uh, if you just build the treb and put it right here and start sieging all their stuff and their buildings and their production, they're toast, uh, I would wager. Yep, this gold is being uh, pillaged pretty aggressively, but he might want to leave some of it for a pit mine. Looking at the resources here of Angry Penguin, He's doing pretty darn good. Um, does he? How is his food so good? Is he fishing somewhere? I guess he's just, oh, he's using Farimba. Yeah, he's just producing out of Farimba. So the gold is the only thing that matters. And he's producing cattle at his TC to try and get that going, which I do like. Where was Gondor when Grand came? I don't know, man. The Grand meme is pretty funny. I was looking at the Magic the Gathering set for Lord of the Rings and they did make a card for Grand, which I thought was pretty hilarious, but a Grand commander deck would be the true flex. Oh, uh, keep coming up from Allied. Yeah, he's not going to be having this. He's tired of these villagers here, and if Red loses those villagers, man, that's going to be a huge setback. A little bit of raiding. Veteran Royal Knight moving his way in. And that knight, you know, if left uh, to its devices, will be able to probably take down quite a few of these Malian villagers. But the Malian player does respond. Muso Fatty, do do plus 15 versus heavy. And knights do have the heavy keyword. You can see heavy melee cavalry. So they will be able to drag down the big knight right there. And you can see they certainly take it to the club as the villagers uh, are going to be piecing out. They took all the gold, and their job is done. Yeah, blue is for sure the strongest on the board right now, I would say. Allied score is the highest, but not by much. Holy Roman Empire is certainly a contender. Holy Roman Empire do have water, you know, so they have a little bit of deep sea fish. It looks like they're getting through it. Um, and HRE is Imperial Age now, too. So we could start to see a Mortal Kombat between the Imperial HRE and Delhi in the middle, like fighting over the resources. And it looks like HRE is going to be decapping this node. So that Sacred Site is going to be decapped, and the uh, the battle will continue, my friends. It will continue. Well, it's going to be taken. Looks like there's a, a Pope there. The Battle Pope is here, and he's going to be claiming that for the Holy Roman Empire. Malian's just gathering, but the French are getting a keep. I have to say I'm very impressed with Quill's hold here, and Quill is actually ahead of a Angry Penguin in the score. Maybe Quill's going to be able to come back. I mean, French are a sieve that can definitely come back from the pits of hell because of the Guild Hall. So even if you're in the corner just gathering food and wood, you could just let the Guild Hall build up 6,000 stone and then switch to gold, and then suddenly you, you have some tricks, right? Trebuchet is coming out. Is the Angry Penguin going to be able to finish the job? He was really close. I felt as if that fight that the Angry Penguin took here was maybe a, throw, a potential throw. He could have maybe ran up here and harassed and shut down all the farms and things like that. But we'll have to see. Now the Malian Keep is going to be getting torched. As we look over here, we do see the French Knights trying to do a little bit of counter raiding, but the Malians are able to hunt them down and keep them from causing too much drama. Now, what is going on here? Why is Allied letting Orange gather all this gold? Because that's a, that's a lot of gold lost for the Delhi. What is he doing? What is Allied Trex up to? I think he's very hyper-focused on the Holy Roman Empire in the middle. Hey, look, we got a little bit of fighting here on this side. Startled. Our, uh, our Roost Knights try and make their way in to fight the Old English. But Mr. Moo looks pretty uh, well-prepared. I mean, talk about a hard counter against a knight combo, right? Like spears and crossbows. That's basically a hard counter against knights. A lot of trebuchets out here for the Roost. Might be able to do some work. We'll have to see. The English army is a pretty good counter against the knights, but it's not going to be durable enough to really move into a keep. And a slight lapse in micro here by Mr. Moo. And a lot of his buildings do get torched down. And, or not buildings, his units, excuse me. And uh, you know, they, they're going to be forced to retreat. Over to the far west side. The counterweight trebuchet continues to drop the fat bombardments here. Getting a little bit of nice work in. Yes, yeah, so you can see this keep. Trading trebuchet fire with one another. Who's going to have the stone to repair? Probably the French. If they want to claim it from the guild hall. The guild hall currently sitting at pretty much no stone. So it is what it is. Look at that. They're like mirroring each other. The trebuchets, they just like, uh-oh. But Angry Penguin goes for the enemy Springald, which is the play. And now he has the advantage. And now his little Springald that could is going to be able to probably pick off some of the trebs if the uh, French don't respond quickly and send out some cavalry. So one more shot and that treb is going to be going down. He flees the scene. Is it going to be able to get away? It looks like it is. The Muso Fatty move in. And now the Spring is going to be microing back in. Nice micro there by the Angry Penguin as those two, two have their Duel of Fates. And he rips the shot and does it go? It does. One trebuchet is down. Going to buy some time for the keep, but it looks like the keep is going to be paying the iron price. As the two trebuchets are able to get the job done rather quickly. And man, this is uh, this is like a straight up blood feud over here, man. These guys. Well, Pink is technically fishing, sort of. He's doing shoreline fishing, but not with boats. 
Definitely a big misplay. China is just greed macroing up in the top. So China is just, they don't give any shits, man. They are just, they're just laughing it up. Nobody is pressuring them. They're just building whatever they want. Growing fat and scary, but trade is the most important thing to establish. Obviously that and relics, very, very important to get those right. So we'll have to see. On the bottom, it looks like uh, Quill just microing well. And we do see a surrender from the Malians. Wow, look at that. Okay, I was right. I called it. Even though it was a little bit circuitous, the route we got there. Still got it. All right. Still got it. So down goes the old spring olds and uh, the Malians just surrender, losing that fight in a pretty decisive fashion. The French move in, going to be exploring their new prize. Well played to the angry penguin, who's very close to finishing off Quill, but he didn't quite get there. He didn't quite get there. So now the French are going to have to kind of secure their trade if they can, looking up here at the base here of Mr. Mu. Wow, the Roost putting some big pressure on him. The White Tower is actually almost dead. Nice Mangadel shots ripping through the English battle lines. And then the Roost Knights are going to pop out with the support of the Keep and probably be able to steamroll this army. They most likely have the Boyar's Fortitude, Chef Boyar D, which uh, it looks like they do with 300 HP. And I don't think they have the biology upgrade yet. Maybe they do, but... Yeah, the English look like they're kind of dead. A lot of trebuchet support. England going to be mustering up some spears and some defenses. England does have a nice 2TC infrastructure and some, some spears and whatnot, but... Um, this is Imperial Roos with Streltsy and the White Tower is being repaired, but yeah, it seems as if the Roos player is going to be able to get the job done. Angry Penguin's Ghost is going to be haunting Red. Probably so. Probably so. Quill is back in business. Yeah, 100%. Very, very impressive hold. That was not easy. Malian pressure with Freemba is uh, uh, is very, very nasty. Yeah, it can, it can definitely overwhelm you. So what is Allied doing? Is Allied going to be taking his Delhi fonts and going to attack Red? That would be a good idea, for sure. Knowing that Red was in Mortal Kombat and was kind of being bullied for a while, going after him and trying to finish the job for sure is going to be the way. As the Roos continue with their Streltsy push, so the Streltsy and the big heavy cavalry moving about, raiding the English lands. England does have some uh, defenders, very small amount, but I don't know why they haven't gotten these Rams involved yet. But yeah, that's going to be a very big keep drop coming in, and that's going to be sealing the deal for uh, Purple here. Mr. Moo's going to have to ask for some milk, ask for some help. A keep drop coming in from Allied. It's the second keep drop that this poor French player has had to endure. Oh my god, how many villages does he have? Okay, he's got a lot of villagers doing this. There's a keep right there. The Delhi Knight's going to be lancing in, and they do shut down the Spring Alt, and now the Delhi Fonts are on their way in, and the army of the French, for some reason, was out here exploring. So they're going to be on their way back, um, but even still, Allied not going to be an easy threat to remove. He's got elephants. Uh, the keep is most likely going to be finishing. We'll have to see. Villagers are rushing it. That keep is going to be extremely oppressive to this archer-based army. So he really needs to finish off that keep if he can. I feel like Allied could send way more stuff. Like, he, he sent, like, like an expeditionary force, not even, like, a real army. Oh, my God. He's going to be keep dropping right in the actual base, too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's getting real crazy here. The Roos have won this. This is, this is like, we know how this is going to go down. Uh, so we don't have to focus on it as much. I think the Roos are just going to steamroll and basically slow siege down the entire English base. And England will take a long time to kill because they're very resilient, obviously. And yeah, Allied dropping another keep in the base. Just absolutely filthy. A lot of stone. Allied Trek's currently sitting at 5,000 gold. 1,800 gold a minute. That is so fat. And he can even throw down another keep if he wants to. So the keep is up and it looks like there's going to be a uh, spring ult coming. So that will help. Archers are being picked off. Definitely going to be driving the, dropping those archer models pretty rapidly. And now Jelly's going to be trying to salvage these villagers. So it looks like the keep is going to be canceled, which is smart. Obviously, trying to finish that with the bills wasn't really in the books. And many of those villagers are going to go down. Will Allied go more all-in is the question. I mean, honestly, if I were him, just maybe pull like 15, 20 villagers. Although, oh, is he being attacked in the middle? Okay. Yeah, it looks like Allied is fighting on two fronts. I, I really think he should focus his efforts to try and finish off the French here. Um, you know. Because you're making yourself an enemy. And if you don't finish them off, they're going to come back for blood. It's like every haggard 80s revenge movie ever. If you, the, the boy who got away. You don't want to let them get away. You know, you got to you gotta be ruthless here in Age of Empires 4. How's this looking here for the Old English? Uh, they have the landmark. Uh, they have the council hall. White Tower is gone. Mr. Moo is about to die. So when the uh, council hall goes down, that is going to be the end of our English enjoyer. Up on the top side, China just chilling, man. He is just, he's relaxing. No APMs, just having a good old jolly time. There's a little delay between myself and the game, I think. There's a little bit of a delay, but nothing too crazy. So Red is holding once again against Allied Trex. Allied doing, oh, these are Salt and Tower Elephants. Those are so good. Look at that. They have 10 ranged armor. These, these archers are hitting them for one damage. 
as they're just being picked off. Look at these just Chad elephants just mowing down the villagers with the shotguns on top. It's like Arnold and Terminator. And uh, yeah, they're just causing so much disruption, these two elephants. And honestly, the archers can just do like nothing. The spring bullets are the biggest source of damage against them. Um, Delhi, in the meantime, are they continuing the aggression or are they going to be consolidating their forces in the middle to do battle with uh, Serona? I don't know. Serona's very aggressive on the borders here of, uh, of Allied. But yeah, I think Allied needs to finish the job. Otherwise, he's going to be getting sieged by the French while he then gets attacked by the Holy Roman Empire. So you really, really need to go. Yeah. Dude, these elephants, though, man, just doing so much value as they just grind through this army. They definitely should have kept moving. Um, they can kind of kite the spears a little bit while they run, but um, at the end of the day... How's Red's eco looking? Quill's still holding on to 104 eco. He's really not in the worst shape. Granted, Delhi is way stronger with all the relics and, you know, just the uninhibited like, economy this game. He hasn't been really touched at all. Delhi's got a couple knights lurking on the border here. He's got more elephants on the way in. They're going to be the spear elephants. Um, is he mustering units? It's kind of, it's like hard to tell what Allied's doing. What is he doing? Holy shit. Oh, he's supply capped. That explains it. He's super greedy eco. Holy shit. Look at the farms here. Okay, that explains it a lot. He's got 109 economy. It looks like he might have deleted some to uh, increase his military supply. I was wondering why he was so... Okay, he's going for it. He's not going to let him get away. So back in the middle, I would be really surprised if Teal wasn't trading. Um, let's see. So we got the trade post here. Uh, Teal is looking like he does not have markets set up yet. Okay, we got some... Okay, he's building markets. So Teal clearly has the intent to trade now. Um, oh, it's a town center. Interesting. Um, why is he not trading? Where's this trade? Where's the fat trade? Where's the Holy Roman trade? Where's the Sigmarite trade? I don't see it anywhere. And Allied going to be trying to set up forward infrastructure to uh, deal with the French. And there is going to be a uh, keep coming up here for yield Delhi shot. So the War Elephant's going to be turning around to intercept them. But honestly, you're going to have to bring... Uh, Quill is a really good player from what I can see. So you're going to need to bring some heavy stopping power to get through him. And clearly, Allied Trex has every advantage right now. Like, Allied should just be mustering mass men at arms and elephants down there and just steamrolling. Okay. I was wondering what was going on with it. I was like, where the hell is your whole army, dude? Where are these? Where are your units? They're all in elephants. And that is some serious elephant action. As you can see, the archers getting absolutely run over. The Dumbos are out for blood. Dumbo 3, Revenge of the Dumbo. As they drag down the remnants of the French army. The French do have some trebuchets and some spring here. But I think Allied uh, definitely knows he needs to get the kill here. And that's a lot of elephants, man. If he had some scholars healing them, too, I don't think the French could do anything. Basically, just be dead in the water. So the French are going to be pulling back to their base, and the Dumbo elephants are going to be marching in and attacking right now, I would wager. The Bruce finished the job, so our brave English champion here has fallen, Mr. Moo. You, you may be lost, but you're not forgotten, my friend. We, we will always remember your brave sacrifices. Quill is a higher rank Conqueror 3 player than Gravity, last I checked. Yeah, okay, so that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Um, so if he's Conqueror 3, yeah, like, Allied needs to just go pedal to the metal and finish him while well, he has the advantage. Because this guy is straight up Palpatine. He's going to force lightning you when you think he's down. Uh, and what is he saving for at the Guild Hall? Here it is. Okay. So it looks like he's got a fair amount of gold saved up there. Not bad. Elephant's moving in. He's got the keep. Might be able to work something. Building a lot more infrastructure here. Villagers being pulled to build the Red Palace. If that finishes, I think Allied might be in a little bit of trouble. In terms of the aggression here, um, obviously Allied is still a long way from dying or anything, but... Yeah, it's a lot of Spears. Spears are pretty good against Dumbos, but they are being dragged down, but it's buying time for the Red Keep, and the Red Keep looks like it's going to finish. Oh my god. He is just so hard to kill. Wow. So the Elephants have retreated back. They can always go down here. Like, the Elephants should just ignore the Red Palace. But now the French... Oh my god, the Machine Gun Palace. Look at this. You just see the Delhi Elephants getting mowed down by the Imperial Landmark. Brutal! Absolutely brutal. That feels really, really bad. So Allied is going to retreat. Um, Allied is Imperial Age himself. But he's going to need some siege infrastructure, and this is going to be a war that is going to be going for quite some time. Quite some time indeed. What do we got on the central side of the map, or the central uh, corner, I should say? Holy Romans, man, they really just don't care. They are just they are just 18,000 gold, just whatever. Just, you, everyone else, do whatever you want. The HRE is taking all the gold off the middle of the map. Like, nobody else is getting access to that. China's going to run out of gold super hard. And even though they have a good army, China's going to be very poor. Uh, no trade. And, yeah, once all the gold nodes up on the top are purged, which they will be rapidly, it's going to be kind of scary. Um, do the Rus have any trade routes going themselves? No, HRE has, like, full control over this. Full control. So we do see the French moving out with a couple more units. Allied going to be getting siege workshops and more elephants. Allied is really going for it, man. And that's definitely a good call. 
You, you gotta you gotta try and finish the job here. As long as he goes down here and just ignores the Red Palace, like, I don't know. Like, look at what the French have versus this. Like, Allied could grab all these units and go steamroll this entire section of the French base, cutting off the gold, and there's, like, nothing they could do. It, it would, they would basically just be in the trash can. Um, it looks like he's trying to set up some farms down here, which is smart, trying to get a little bit of eco going outside of his base in case things get a little bit scary. And is Allied going to be coming in for the kill is the question. Yeah, he's pulling in Scholars to get some healing. The biggest mistake would be trying to take the Red Palace on. That is really, really a bad idea. Um, so we'll see if he ends up doing it. Looking at Quill's bank, yeah, Quill is like on on like pal like on death's bed Palpatine style here. He's got like nothing in eco. Allied, on the other hand, is a little bit low in gold, but is sitting super heavy on the primary resources. So yeah, it's, that's the thing with elephant only armies, right? They're they're going to eat a lot of your gold right there. So yeah, this is where you start saying shit like red is trading. And then you force them to defend themselves, right? Yeah, so you, you got to do it. Down here on the south side, Santi just chilling. Not much going on. Finally going to be, uh-oh, this sucks for red. This sucks pretty bad for red. Red might get his farm swept out by the uh, by the Ottomans. And then if they, uh-oh, uh-oh, he's going to have to run with everything. Man, red is certainly in dire straits here. But I have to say, I am so impressed. I am so impressed at how well he's holding despite all these bad circumstances he's encountering here. Janissaries look like they're moving up and Allied is setting up a keep here, but I don't know about that. There's a lot of a lot of trebs here in the base that are going to be able to knock that down pretty quickly. Allied basically just has to make sure he doesn't get lured into a bad uh into a bad, you know, Red Palace trade. That like there's this army is so much better than this army. Just as long as he doesn't go to the Red Palace, he's fine. If he just goes down here and kills all this, then he wins. That's a straight up it, man. Straight up it. You can just like clean through all this. Like all this farms, just everything is shut down. And he's going to be trying to drop keeps here, which um, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with it. He's got a lot of villagers coming in. It's 53 villagers being pulled, man. That's insane. That's a lot. I mean, all of his eco is going into these keep drops and different things like that. Yeah, wow. Okay, so setting up one right here to make the pushback a little bit harder. And uh, in the meantime, yeah, they, they, they did attack the farms, but they didn't quite go for the kill on it. They left them alive, and it uh, looks like the wood villagers are still here. Red's going to run out of resources in the corner. That's the thing. Like, he's out of gold now. Yeah, so Delhi is learning. They're, they've evolved. We're moving over to the other side. Delhi does have some hand cannoneers in here. We should be able to mow these units down. Going to be setting up a keep drop in the base, but it's going to be getting knocked down pretty quickly. So, I, I don't know. There's a lot of trebs there. You need to deal with the trebs before you try and do keep drops. And uh, we do see uh, siege workshops coming in to try and most likely build. And he's going for another keep drop. That's so greedy. He's going to lose so much stone here. He's gonna, yeah, he just lost another 800 stone. Man, Allied needs to calm down with the keep drops. It's it's like his opponent is totally aware of it and he's basically just countering it. The Delifon army getting the job done. The French don't really have a whole lot left here. I guess they have some hand cannoneers and whatnot, but it yeah, looks like he's going to be going for the trebuchets. And if the trebuchets are knocked down, yeah, he could then, you know, do whatever he wants in regards to the keeps, right? So the elephant's going for a deep dive right here. The Sultan elephant now in and the keep is now coming up and it's probably going to survive here because it didn't get shot instantly. More Delhi fonts making their way back here. Sultans are really, really carrying this one pretty hard, and the Tower Elephants as well. And yeah, Red could just be toast. This is just straight attrition. Yeah, Red is toast. He's got no wood, no gold, not going to be able to produce anything. A bunch of fully erect elephants hanging out in his base, and uh, yeah, that's going to be that. We're going to be seeing battering rams and trebuchets coming out from Allied, villagers being pulled, and I think Red, he can't build a landmark anywhere else either. He built the Red Palace in his base, so all of his landmarks are in the vicinity of his main base here. Oh, villagers getting mowed down. I think Allied Trex has gotten the job done. He got in, and he uh, he made elephant sounds, whatever they sound like. I, I can't really imitate an elephant off the top of my head, but yeah, obviously getting trebuchets pumped out is going to be able to knock down these keeps. And uh, man, well played to Red though, man. He got swarmed pretty hard. You know, pressure on all sides. Even a little bit of pressure here from our uh, from our Ottoman enjoyer in the corner. But Allied definitely in a position to go for a wonder victory with the amount of resources. If he can knock down the Chinese in the north and then just go wander up in the top, then he is going to be just pure villainy, pure villainy for sure. Getting into the farms, I'm probably going to see another keep drop here. Uh, I don't know where you would do it. You could just do towers as well, but towers don't start shooting immediately, so. Villagers get a torch, get their daggers out, and uh, yeah, I think the French are in trouble. It's a big old stampede. We got trebuchets coming out. Trebs definitely need to knock down this keep. Is there any way Quill could muster a resistance? I don't think so, but man, his scrappiness is really, really impressive. Like, every second he's fighting like this, it's huge for him, right? It's huge because uh, it, it's buying time for somebody else to potentially attack Allied. Granted, it's not happening, but it could happen. So I think that's that's quite strong. 
Big raid coming in from the south. We see the Ottomans finally mobilizing with the Sipahi and archers and Janissaries. Looks like they're going to be heading to the middle, maybe to try and shut down. Like, man, I'm so surprised the HRE isn't trading. It's nuts. Um, I suppose he's going to take all the gold from the map and then delete the villagers and then start trading. I would guess that that's going to be it. That would be my guess. Arena Emperor says, bet turn uh, five bucks ally never wonders. You don't think so? Is he not a wonder guy? Is that, his, is that the reputation he's earned these days? Uh, as far as landmarks go, what do we have for the French? Uh, we have the Red Palace still alive. We have the Guild Hall all the way back here. Chamber of Commerce is being taken down by the elephants, but uh, the elephants are going to get prison shanked by these elite spearmen. Still scrapping, still fighting, man. He didn't hear no bell. Massing spears. And where are these guys going? They're going for the keep. What? It's like such a random thing. You just get your whole army and march across the map to attack this, this arbitrary keep somewhere. I mean, I guess maybe he's going for blue. I have a feeling that Quill may have called called for help. He may have been like, hey, Allied's powerful. He's killing me. Uh, come in and help. But this doesn't seem worth it. You're literally like all these horsemen. Like, is this army actually going to beat the keep? The burning oil is doing so much damage. And uh, yeah, honestly, <laughs> this isn't looking too good for this attacking force here. Allied is probably just confused. He's like, what's going on? Like, wh why is this happening? A couple trebuchets moving in, being sacrificed to Quill. Quill able to kind of shank them down. Allied needs to pull in like his main army and finish the job. He's probably a little bit distracted by this, but the burning oil might be able to get it. I think they'll barely kill the keep, but it's going to be close. Yeah, all these elite men at arms are going to be able to kind of tank it and probably get their torches down. But yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. Like this whole army he's been building up just basically dead to one keep. It's strange. Yeah, hot oil. The burning oil is doing great. So 400 HP, 300 HP down to 200. One more burning oil should melt most of that force. And uh, now it's just a couple archers. Allied literally made like 500 trebuchets. And he's just going to start knocking down all these buildings. Men at arms are in the base battling the spearmen. And one keep goes down. <laughs> Allied is just like throwing money at this problem. It's just like he is so far ahead financially that like even he can make horrendous blunders with his units. And it just doesn't matter. So the keep is killing villagers, looking at Quill. Quill is currently sitting at 115 eco, which is super impressive. Uh, the keep might be able to knock these spearmen off, but not before they get in and uh, take down some of the trebs. Did Allied ever move with his forces? Um, he had a big elephant blob. I'm not sure where it went. Okay, there it is. So the elephants have moved into the base. They're going to be trying to knock down the keeps. The Red Palace is not functional at the moment. Dude, just straight up hordes of hell. Yeah, I mean, hey, look, he got the keep down. Mission accomplished in that regard, for sure. Um, Quill's still scrapping hard. Got ramps coming in and shit, going after the keeps of Allied. Allied is just like diving landmarks right now. Um, which I think if the Chamber of Commerce dies, and yeah, the Guild Hall is dead, I think he's just toast. Is Quill going to be able to get any repairs? He's trying to, but these elephants have shotguns on their back. There's no messing with uh, the dreaded medieval shotgun elephants. I guess, you know, more like Imperial Age, but whatever. You guys get the idea. Chamber of Commerce is down for the count, and that is going to be the end of Quill. Well played, Quill. You played super well, man. You basically got two, two and a half verse one there and uh, still put up a great fight. But getting 2v1 is incredibly hard. It is incredibly hard. So Allied gonna be celebrating his victory, gathering up his forces, and uh, probably setting his sights on Pink um, after being raided by Pink's army. Pink waiting in the bushes here. And the time is now. Yes, the time is now. What is China doing? Are, have they moved? Is this Dandy Dragon's alt? Is he just hanging out and just like moving his army like a couple, couple inches every, you know, 10 minutes? Over to the east, what do we got here? Yeah, looks like we have the old, uh, we have the old Roos. Roos looking pretty comfortable, but no gold. They are starved. They are officially starved. The gold bandits are the Holy Roman Empire who are now doing trade. Okay, so we have trade coming in from the HRE now. We just saw our first wave of traders coming out. You can see they're all moving. Um, so I, I would bet that's going to be close to 100 gold, maybe a little bit over. And where does Allied go now? Does Allied select his whole army and just go battle HRE? I think that's probably the right choice. Pink is starved of resources. So Pink has got great bombards and Janissaries. I mean, it's, you know, Pink's army actually could fight Allied's army pretty well. Great bombards and Janissaries would be pretty good because I believe the elephants count as cavalry. Yeah, they do. So, um, you know, the Janissaries should do bonus damage against them with their trench guns, which is nice. I'm not sure who is, <laughs> I'm not sure who is Soviet Russia at the moment, Allied or the Ottomans. We'll see. We will see. He is very rich, very wealthy indeed. So all the Trebs and hand cannoneers, hopefully Allied knows how to use the, the select all a military hotkey. Um, I guess he's going to go to the middle. Because this trade, it can't be allowed to happen, for sure. That's going to be bad. You'll notice all the sandwiches are dying. Sandwiches are, they don't last long in the mouths of Hungry Age of Empires players. As uh, the sandwich player, this sandwich player is dead. And this, this corner player did die, but you know he was 2v1'd also. So. 
But typically, players who spawn in the sandwich position are going to have a really, really tough time. Turn Twist is an eco boomer for sure. Also, a meme lord will do things like wipe someone's base, but leave them with one landmark for the cackles. <laughs> but beware when the army uh, moves eventually. He's very good. All right, I'm happy to hear that. I loved, I love to hear that Twist is a fun player. Yeah, he's 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 got to have a bank built. Yeah. Not that much gold though. I mean, 8,000 gold is respectable, but probably nothing near what Allied has. Allied sitting at 17,000 Gs. Oh, that is so fat. So, do we have any trade in the French base? The Chamber of Commerce, unfortunately, you know, here's the thing, guys. You could repair the Chamber of Commerce because you can repair people's buildings and then you could trade with it. So if Allied wants to, he could take villagers and I believe repair the Chamber of Commerce down here, which counts as a market, and he could trade with that from his base. So he could trade safely from here. Yeah, Allied looks like he's preparing for war. Yep, yep, oh man. He is getting ready to attack the Chinese. If I've ever seen a bigger, you know, warning sign, uh, yeah, it's here. He's coming for it, man. Yeah, Teal's trading. He's good, Teal's chilling. Uh, I wonder if he's gonna plan for a wonder. Teal has really been calm too, like not much military. Like he could have go down here and have attacked the uh, the Ottomans. I mean, the Ottomans, if they lose their army once, are basically going to be in the pits of hell because, like, they just have no gold. I mean, they have 3,000 saved, but you're going to go through that so quickly once you're in, like, a fully mechanized war. Like, it's going to it's gonna go incredibly quickly, guys. So the elite Janissaries and the archers are on their way over. It is time to do glorious, glorious battle, my friends. And the time is now. Here comes the hordes of hell. Santi has heard no bell. The Rus are attacking the HRE. Okay. I was wondering when this would happen. So the HRE could get caught in the dreaded sandwich. I mean, they're super rich. 24,000, yeah, HRE could straight up wonder if they wanted to. Need to, save up, need to save up wood for a little while, which isn't hard to do. But look at this, the, the Ottomans are coming. They got the great bombards. The HRE could suddenly be in a little bit of danger. It depends on how pedal to the metal the Rus go. If the Rus go full, full hog, just full, <laughs> full pressure in there, then you could see the HRE start to struggle. Um, but it, need, it would need to be both of them because the HRE is independently stronger than both of them, I would say, uh, with the amount of resources they have banked. But yeah, we got the great bombards of the Ottomans shooting into the walls here. So the walls getting knocked down pretty aggressively. And man, this is such a win for Allied, though. The fact that these two players are going to be teaming up on the HRE gives a ton of momentum for Allied to just go one on one with the Chinese and then cackle and have the top all to himself. So the great bombards not moving up super quickly. Um, Santi certainly needs to get in there and party. HRE calling in a relief force, so you can see the elite men at arms with their big maces going to be heading down to the south to try and take these guys to the club. So we'll see how the elite men at arms hold up there. And looking on the top side, are the Rus continuing in? It looks like they, they were thinking about it, but the Rus, being a very wood focused civilization, are uh, looking to give the HRE a taste of their own due host. We'll have to see. With the Ottomans doing battle here, we do see the first keep getting knocked down. Good army quality from the Ottomans. Elite crossbows as well as Janissaries, and good micro from Santi. He moves up on the walls to get the benefits of being up on a wall and uh, does Daka down the HRE army. This is a really rough one. HRE should be able to hold just because they can basically throw just insurmountable amounts of money, but it really depends on the Roost aggression. If the Roost kind of pump the brakes on their aggression, then I think the HRE will eventually be able to push back the Ottomans. But the entire Ottoman army is pretty good against men at arms. Like crossbows have bonus for heavy. Janissaries do reasonable damage against men at arms as well. And great bombards have splash damage and hit very, very hard. It looks like they're going to be pulling back, interestingly enough. Are they macroing more units? They are. But um, yeah, that is a much needed reprieve. As Allied looks like he's going to be coming in and looking. Enemy attacking Serona's landmark? What? Somebody's attacking one of Serona's landmarks? It must be like the Kremlin or like some border landmark or something. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Yeah, trying to figure out where it is. Oh, the Rus come in and they do host the Regnitz Cathedral. Oh my God, that just got taken down super hard. And here we see the dock also getting rammed as uh, Strelzi are gonna be raiding into the lands. Allied Trex, look at Allied. He's in here with some random ass cavalry just raiding and causing havoc. Oh my goodness. But Allied has got to know, we got to know he's going for the Chinese. Like the Chinese are, are uh, not gonna be an easy fight though. I mean, they have 37 hand cannoneers and a bunch of nest of bees. I think they will probably be able to defeat the Delhi army, but yeah, HRE is sandwiched here. They have definitely the most power on the board in terms of the position with the sacred sites and the trade and everything. But yeah, the, the 2v1 could wear on him. Um, looking at the bank of Serona, yeah, he's got 36,000 food and 28,000 gold. So there's no way. Um, he's gonna be able to easily, easily just keep producing good quality armies. They would need to overwhelm him, just sheer numbers. Just absolute sheer numbers. Hey Frank, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yes, late night Age of Empires. It is our weekly Age of Empires stream. 
So walls getting knocked down. Bombards should probably just keep knocking down the walls and uh, destroying infrastructure where they can. If you can destroy the infrastructure, that's going to keep them from... Uh, he's, it looks like he's blitzing into the base, though, which I don't know if I agree with. Um, I think, like, steamrolling through the infrastructure first in this situation, trying to win a war of attrition. Although he doesn't know the dynamics of what's going on on the other side as well. The Rus having a little bit of a standoff here. Not super strong. The Rus are very gold-starved. Um, they have, like, literally only gold income from their hunting cabins, which is good. It's about a 1,000 a minute, but it's not going to be comparable to trade or, you know, like, 10 relics like Allied Trex has, for example. Allied is being really patient here. He's, he's, he's just hanging out. It looks like he wants to get his war machine fully optimized before he moves in. But it's going to happen. Destroyed Serona's landmark. Wait, what's what's going on with Serona's landmarks? Getting like tooltips for his landmarks being destroyed? Or is he, oh, is he like destroying landmarks in somebody's like fallen base or something? Hey, look at that. The Roost actually found some trade. It's it's not amazing, but it's 50 trade a pop, so it's better than nothing. And what are the, the Ottomans just moved their whole army to the north side of the HRE base and they're just like picking off the trade. That's not a bad idea. I like that. A couple of Bombards are moving up there as well and uh, good to be trying to cut off the trade supply lines. I feel like the Roos and the and Pink might be working together. I'm not sure. Like, they might be communicating a little bit, being like, hey, we're both, like, fighting here. Like, you do this, I'll shut down trade, whatever. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's the Dark Lord. He refuses to fish. Fishing is for the weak. He's, he's, he's uh, he prefers a land-based diet. Yeah, there's no fishing for him. So heading up north, uh, maybe going to be trying to take the Sacred Site. He literally just walked through the HRE base with no interruption, which is pretty hilarious. Strelts here are super good against Holy Romans. They can just stand in their static position with pretty good HP pools and build up their buffs. That is way too many Spring Alts. That is way, way too many Spring Alts. <laughs> They're not going to be very helpful here. And HRE might be able to get some momentum and start to actually kill the Roos. Um, they have the one keep here. They have a second keep up on the high ground. A lot of Strelts here are kind of pouring in here, but it looks like they are getting some good momentum. Spring Alts have gotten behind the wall. Good to be starting to return the favor. But, I mean, Pink is just in... What is he? What is Pink doing? What is he? He's just wandering around the lands. Oh my god, he's just hanging out. And did Allied repair the landmark? Um, let's see. So Allied is getting some long distance trading going, it looks like. Yeah, so I think these are all his landmarks. And did he repair the guild hall that was destroyed? I could have sworn he did. No, it doesn't look like it. He's still just knocking down keeps or at least trying to clear things out. But the Holy Romans push back the roost once again, but it's just a war of attrition, really. This is kind of who, who's got the bigger resource pool. Okay, this is the weirdest shit ever. I have no idea what he's doing. I have no idea. Look at this. He's just got... He's just, like, wandering the map. Santi was, like, in the HRE base. Could have done some huge damage. and Maybe even ended him with the Roos attacking. And, and now he's just wandering towards Allied Trex. He's, he is a wandering man. Look at that. that is, that's a lot of pressure. And HRE is just full on, fully fully erect now to try and kill the, uh, the Roos, which is definitely smart. The Roos... Yeah, the Roos are close to death. It might not look like it, but their bank is horrific. They have only 400 wood and 300 gold. So if the HRE can just get in there and bash through them with just sheer attrition, I mean, they're going to die. The HRE bank is nuts. It's, it's yeah, look at that. 23,000, 21,000, 3,000, 8. Like, that's so thick. That is so incredibly thick. And yeah, I, I legit, China is another one. I, I don't know what they're doing. Like, China is just, they're just semi-AFK here. Semi-AFK. Somebody asked in chat to see Pink's vision. So Pink is... I don't think he even knows what, what Allied's doing. Maybe he's trying to secure trade for himself by moving up to the trade post, would be my guess. I really don't know, though. He is, he is, a, he is a man of man of mystery. You know, he is unpredictable as, as the weather. He's just hanging out there. As this battle rages on, HRE, I think, is, is really committed to winning this fight now. They're, they're just going to be trying to torch down. And you see the entire army is just armor. It's like men at arms and knights. It's just pure business. A lot of battery grams. The Roos are just sending desperation rams. I love it. Like maybe the rams will occupy the HRE troops for a minute. As the HRE, do they get in? But they do. They're fighting in a choke point, which is kind of ugly. But look at the rams. The rams are being used to block the HRE units from getting to the guns. Oh, that's so... I don't know if that's intentional, but if it is, it's pretty metal. As the HRE is being shot to pieces by the Streltsy, but the Streltsy lines are starting to lose numbers as the men at arms and the cavalry do get on top of them. And, uh, yeah, Pink just hanging out here. Yellow just literally semi-AFK up in his base. Doing God knows what. And, uh, yeah, if HRE is able to kind of secure the bottom and finish off the Roost, that's going to be pretty big. Roos are taking some damage on the traders as the Holy Romans do make it into the base, so some of the trade is getting diminished. And the Battering Ram's just being used as a bit of a distraction. They're just being sent in. The dreaded distraction Carnifex, yes. Allied has also been chilling for a while. I don't know if this is, like, some new meta since... 
since my days where people just sit semi AFK and just gather themselves, maybe they're saving APMs, but I guess there's not, maybe they're just waiting for a battle to be decided. I'm not sure. I am not sure indeed. Yeah, the Rams are definitely annoying, you know, but now we got, oh man, HRE's got Bombards now. That's going to be nasty. They're going to knock down this keep easy. And the Roos, looking at the Bank of Startled, he actually rebuilt the bank pretty well. He's going to be able to muster a, a new core of Strelsea. Now we're seeing Horsemen being spammed by Serona, which is very good. Horsemen do bonus for siege damage, also do bonus for Strelsea. So um, that's like the ideal unit type, right? If your opponent's just spamming Strelsea, you want to be spamming Horsemen and or Archers uh, in combination with one another. Yeah, so they are uh, grinding on down. Those, those Rams aren't free. That's 300 wood a pop, man. And the Roos are going to... It's actually run out of wood eventually, although it looks like they're not going too hard on the wood. So, yeah, maybe they're going to be able to afford it for a while. We'll see. But all those rams are dead. It is basically just a, a distraction to allow the roos to gather their bearings, I guess. Now we got hardened spearmen coming out. Very good. Spearmen will uh, counter the horsemen diving on the Strelsey. But this army is so mad. What are these guys doing? What is this? this what is his scheme? Is he going to... Okay, so Allied starts to attack the Chinese. But then Pink comes in here. No, Pink! Don't do it! Let them fight! Otherwise, it's, well, now China might actually counterattack. We'll see. Allied, uh, is he aware of this? Is he aware that there's like five or four great bombards at his southern walls just trolling him here? I don't know. He might be hyper fixated on fighting the Chinese here, but it looks like the Chinese are moving out now. Hmm. Allied has a bit of a, a weird FFA mom syndrome, somebody in chat says. He'll stop and start asking people to pair up for 1v1s when his knights... <laughs> Yeah, he might have actually tried to sort it. That's pretty fun. Everyone into 1v1s. Could be doing big politics right now. Well, like, this is weird, right? Like, they, he attacks and kills a wall, and then he just leaves. What is he trying to get his scholars in there or something? And it looks like Allied is pulled back now. And we do have the... Uh, yeah, Pink is the Joker. Yeah, totally. He's he's unpredictable. We, we, we have no idea what he's up to here. A lot of men at arms getting in there, bumping and grinding. And we do also see the... Uh, the old Dread Mangonels. Mangonels are also another great counter against Streltsy Blobs. You just move them up and drop some rocks right on their head and give them a good old bonkin'. They're not going to enjoy that, I can assure you. Startled running low on gold. Food is in good shape, though, so it looks like his food eco is still holding on. Probably largely due to the fact that he had some nice deep sea fishing over the course of the game to accrue some resources. But yeah, he's still just moving in with those cannons, man. HRE, they need to make sure their artillery is in proper support position. Uh, that's one spring all, two spring all. Looks like a couple. He's got a couple spring alls, but yeah, the Strelzi are trading really well in these choke points. The HRE are basically just sending troops into very, very difficult fights. Mangonels, that's going to be big damage. Oh man, that whole Strelzi army almost dies. Wow. If only those mangoes had been in position a little bit earlier, but yeah, they they do huge damage against those range units. And HRE, yep, is pouring more units in. Yeah, the Ottomans pulled the trigger, man. They're doing it. They're going for uh, Allied, and the Chinese would be uh, certainly prudent to move in and counterattack. If they wanted to, but it looks like China just content to sit in the corner. You know, we've seen people win FFA games like that, where they're just really inactive in the corner of the map, and then they just. But I don't know, like that's mostly French players. Like if you want to just kind of be the ultimate corner player and chill, you should play French. Um, French are like the kings of that. I honestly think French are probably one of the highest win rate FFA saves, simply because of the fact that they can do that so effectively. So yeah we see the keep going down here on the bottom side the old uh elite knights moving out and men at arms coming and round two fight that's a hell of a lot of spring holds though definitely going to be able to counter the hre artillery hre should just do some base dives i think like run up into the base kill the trade routes you know send some dudes back here like scatter like men at arms and knights all over the enemy base because he's basically playing into the roost's hands here by just fighting him in a choke point over and over like the Roosters are stoked to do this. Like, very, very happy. So you're going to see one of these die. These knights could definitely flank around, too. Yep, and get around the back, flank, maybe go after some of the springs. And yeah, the men-at-arms might be able to get there eventually. You know, this is what I like to call the face-to-foot style, where you just kind of, you know, let your opponent kick you in the face till you get tired. And it, it might work in this situation. As the knights do flank back there, men-at-arms cutting them off. And uh, yeah, that is a ton of pressure. And the Streltsy, though, being ground down. They're being ground down. The artillery needs to get active once again. Spring alt's getting torched. Most of them gone. Startled, uh, probably not going to be able to produce too much more. You can see he's very, very low in resources. And uh, yeah, the HRE pressure is going to be relentless, I would imagine. Yep, he's got round two coming. And the artillery on its way back in. Going to start bombarding. Nice shots right there as the Streltsy do get bonked on the head. And more men-at-arms pushing in. Knights collapsing. And we do finally, I think, see the back of the Roos army get broken. Finally. They, uh, they look like they lost that fight. So HRE better get in there and finish the job. Um, in the meantime, it looks like Allied Trex did drive back the Ottomans. 
So the Ottoman army was crushed in the in the field somewhere up here, I would wager, uh, looking for the remains. Hard to tell, but yeah, the Ottomans look like they got driven back to the shadows and uh, are still going to be sending units up there. Ottomans trying to establish trade of their own, understandably, right? So they're doing long-distance trading with this trade post, so that would explain some of the behavior as to why they were going that way. So the high trade house is going down. The Holy Roman Empire is pretty thick. Rooster gold starved, and uh, he surrendered. GG, well played, man. Great game to you, Startled. That was a good match. Your opponent just had way more resources than you. Even though you played very well, it's not much you could do about that. Yeah, you ran out of gold, brother. I was just saying, you played really, really well. But, um, you know, he was just economically so far ahead of you that it's uh, it's going to be very tough. Very, very tough. Yeah, because he's had central trade for so long. And I feel like he goes and gets pink now. Is he going to go after pink? The HRE definitely should keep the steamroller going. You don't want to pump your brakes. Look at Allied. Allied is going for pink. He's sick of that. He did the, he did the spiteful attack. Despite the Chinese, he, he's so confident that the Chinese aren't going to attack him. See, if I was in Allied situation and I didn't know who was who, like I would never go down across the map, leaving my entire base vulnerable to a Fire Lancer artillery faction, ever. But like the Chinese player is so passive here that he's going to get away with this. Probably he's just going to go down and and butcher the Ottomans. I mean, the Ottoman army is okay, I guess, but yeah, it's it's going to have a hard time holding. Where's the HRE going to go? Is the HRE going to go for uh, pink as well? They could go for it. They could go for it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, honestly, if the Ottomans had kept attacking the HRE instead of going north to attack uh, Allied Trex, I think that we could have actually seen maybe a potential victory for the Rus uh, Ottoman alliance. But not today. Not today, my friends. So the Elephant Army, as expected with Scholars, pretty scary elite endgame army, is going to be steamrolling through all of the Ottomans. The Ottomans basically have no hope here as they just get melted. Looking at the supplies of Santi here, he has 700 gold, uh, enough to build spears and archers, but neither of those are going to be enough, and Allied is just going to come for blood. Those elephants are bloodthirsty creatures. Yeah, they're on their way. So one hour into the game here, guys. The battle rage is on. The defender's a little bit desperate here, being speared and poked, and uh, yeah, I, I don't see him holding this. Uh, so we got the Istanbul Observatory, the Twin Minaret. Town center, mosque here, and where is his last landmark? It is the Istanbul Observatory. So pretty close together. Overall should be pretty easy for Allied to kill if he really has the killer instinct. Nice for Balquin. Balquin will do some relatively okay damage. You know, it's, it's burst, but the Scholar's probably going to be able to heal that up. Yeah, those elephants are coming to take him to Pound Town. Yeah, no mercy here. And how are we looking for the HRE? What is the HRE up to? Uh, building cannon towers. Okay. The fact that he's upgrading these to stone gives me kind of wonder vibes that there could be a wonder. Maybe coming right here, like delete this and build a wonder. You already have cannon towers here, pink's dead. Um, but a, a really good wonder spot would probably be right here. Like delete, delete some of these towers, build a wonder, and then, uh, yeah, it's hard. You can't approach it from this way because of the water. There's some really good angles. But the elephant army, once again, steamrolling through Santi's forces. The thing about allied treks is he doesn't have good supply lines, so it could be that the Ottomans are maybe going to be able to hold them off just due to sheer attrition. And the Revolquins aren't doing bad damage. Allied should definitely focus those down if he can. He should get his elephants to move on top of them and just karate chop them. Because literally nothing is, is doing damage in the army except those Revolquins. So the Scholar's going to be going up, doing some prayers, and uh, praying to the gods that those artillery pieces fall. And their prayers were answered by the Dread Elephants as they continue rolling, rolling, rolling. Did I tell you guys that Fred Durst apparently lives like down the street from me in the town I live in? Isn't that crazy? The Limp Biscuit guy. I couldn't believe it when one of my neighbors told me. He's like, he's in the area. I was like, wow. I, who would have thought I would end up neighbors? Semi, I mean, he's not neighbors. It's like a five minute drive, but yeah, he's like nearby. Crazy stuff. Yeah, I don't know what China's doing. I really don't. Um, oh, we got the Great Wall in the corner. Is this going to be some forbidden wonder play? What, like, what is he, what is he doing? He must be just like watching, watching TV or something, right? Like a movie and just kind of like when he hears an attack notification, he looks up. That, that's the only conspiracy I can guess. This elephant army is just the Reaganomics. So if you guys are a little bit newer to the game, instead of trickling in units like this when you're being attacked, you would want to gather a new uh, critical mass to try and fight back. Uh, and it looks like the Istanbul Imperial Palace is going to be shanked by the elephants. And uh, yeah, there's no way he's stopping this. So that's going to die. This will go down town center. And I think Allied is just going to methodically finish off this army. And then we were left with three. HRE, where is their force? Um, their main military is gathered on Allied Trex's borders, which going for a backstab against Allied would be very strong since he has a lot of population tied up in the south, but I don't know if he does. And yeah, there was just a notification that Santi's landmark was destroyed, so 
the HRE obviously knows he's down there, most likely. I mean, it would be it would be what you would deduce, but yeah, now you want to head north, go attack Allied. I love this fridge here too. This is cool. You can set up a lot of like cannon towers, neat things like there. That's what's really fun about Age of Empires, like the interaction with base building. It's like playing SimCity, building these cool bases, and uh, you know, having them actually be good. Oh, I would totally go to Olympus a concert. That'd be a lot of fun. Hell yeah, sign me up. Twin Minaret at 500 HP. It looks like he's moving in with one last stand here. Landmark does get torched. The elephants once again going to be uh, taking him to the uh, taking him to task here. As I think a lot of these are Sultan elephants. Let's go ahead and check. So I believe those are Sultans. The Sultan elephants. Yeah, I think some of them are crossbows. And then there's one Sultan elephant and one regular war elephant. So the army he did gather the critical mass. That is the correct play. But the elephants are just going to keep rolling, 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 blasting, blasting some uh, limp biscuit as they keep moving. This town center is going to go down too. Um, Allied is straight up not reinforcing his army though. He's gathering at his base. Maybe he's wary of a Chinese incursion, but the Chinese player is literally just semi AFK. I mean, he's building things, so he's he's here and he's got keeps. Is he going to go for a wonder? Twist has thirty thousand gold. Um, he doesn't have enough stone though, so yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to be in the cards. And how's the uh, Delhi army doing? Yeah, still just mowing them down. There still are scholars left. Nope, no scholars. So the Delhi army can actually start to take some attrition damage now. Um, and yeah, it looks like Allied's going to get attacked by the HRE. So the HRE going to be intercepting these trebuchets that were apparently knocking down some of his towers. And uh, probably moving into the base, a backstab would be really brutal against Allied. Granted, Allied is playing keep style. Like, so he's got a million keeps in his base, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. At least four or five keeps in his base. So it would be harder to finish. Dude, these elephants are just generating so much value. Oh my god, they're just sitting here and grinding. Look at that, barely taking any damage. And how much money does Santi have left? Santi's got enough to keep producing archers and spears all day. But neither of those units will do very well against the tower elephants. Yeah, horsemen aren't bad against the towers. They do bonus versus, uh, yeah, CP here, a pretty good choice here. But yeah, not, not with just one or two of them. But nice charges right there. And uh, yeah, the elephant's finally going to get worn down here. I think he's going to get enough units out that he's going to be able to stop them. Is HRE going to go for a sacred victory by chance? No. So one sacred site here, we got one sacred site here, and on the southwest corner of the map we have another sacred site, so I don't think so. Santi making some more uh, infrastructure as the elephants try to snipe the landmarks. So the elephants are trying to take down the TC while the uh, the bows and the archers on top shoot off the attacking units, and they should get it, but then he'd have to kill the Istanbul Observatory, which is not going to be easy. So Allied bringing down reinforcements to finish the job, which I think is good, because obviously, uh, you know, Santi is going to come for blood. The boy who got away. We've, we've made this analogy, you know, over this. <laughs> I think semi-AFK describes half the people who watch you at work. No, I get it. I get it. I'm the same way. They're AFK from their work. Yes, focusing on the stream, of course. So TC sitting at 2600 HP. These elephants just absolute raid bossing it, just draining the resources here of Santi. Santi putting up a good fight. HRE, I think just letting people, he's he's letting, you know, the other players deal with one another. What is it? What is this? What is this Chinese player doing? This is like a straight up conspiracy theory. It's like... I can't think of what's the tinfoil hat explanation for this. Like I understand with Dandy Dragon because he's usually going French, so he's got like wonders like planned. But he is he is just nowhere near a wonder. Looks like he's gathering a little bit of stone from somewhere, but not much. I think there's only like yeah, only 23 stone left in there. Setting up more stables, I guess. Just getting the infrastructure to defend. He could just hard buy stone for a wonder at one point. Delhi did get some scholars in, so the scholars uh, sprinted across the map and arrived uh, to try and keep the elephants going. Now we're going to be getting some men at arms. Yeah, Allied could be going in and just disrupting all this farm too. And that would just end his opponent. But it looks like he's just trying to brute force it, which is, you know, understandable. But men at arms will also be super good here. Archers and Spearmen and Sipa here are all god awful against men at arms. So that's a, a pretty viable thing for sure. Notice the smiley face made out of walls by the Chinese army. Are they making a smiley face somewhere? Am I missing it? I don't know. I don't really see it. I mean, kind of. If that's like his whole, whole, his whole agenda. Oh, man. He's a, path, he's a pacifist, <laughs> letting blue brothers kill each other, yeah. Santi loses another landmark. And now we see the elephants heading down towards the last one. Are they going to be able to discover it? Looks like they're just going to kind of torch buildings as they move, but the last landmark is uh, pretty discoverable. Ally does have some uh, villagers and some uh, hand cannoneers who haven't joined the main army yet. How is Santi looking on the eco? He's uh, still hanging in there, man. He's got 21,000 food, so it's not like he's going to be able to, you know, he's going to be able to keep making spears. Talk about Tenacious. Yeah, the Crouching Tiger of the North. That's a very apt description for him. Perhaps he'll earn his nickname this day. But it depends. If he's a tiger, he's going to have to pounce eventually. But um, uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like he's in the pouncing mood. I assume he's fully upgraded. Great Wall 
Gatehouse. Um, Wonder in the corner could be nice. And it looks like the last landmark has been discovered. So Allied is just going to go balls to the wall to try and take this out. Uh, some reinforcing Elite Spearmen coming in. Not going to be enough, though. That's a lot of Elephants. Elephants, of course, do do siege damage, so they can knock down buildings and walls and all that sort of good stuff. So they should do it. Your money's on a pink comeback, man. It's a, That's a bleak time to say that. That's a bleak time. So the Istanbul Observatory is down for the count, and uh, he is dead. GG, well played, man. So how does this how does this go from here? Um, oh, it goes like this. Okay, it goes for Serona going for a wonder. He's literally got six thousand. Yeah, I like that idea, man. I think it's good. It's a nice little spot. Allied is probably going to go all the way back to his base, and Allied would just siege you from here, though. He would just build five hundred trebuchets. Holy shit, it's happening! It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. The wonder, the great palace of Flensburg is coming. That's what she said. So he's going to set it up. Here it comes. 6,000 HP. Allied is like in the area. And he's like, oh shit, there's a wonder right there. And will China move? Will, do you guys? All right, hang on. We have to put this to a poll right now. Uh, <laughs> okay, never mind. I was about to poll. Is China, I was going to say, is China going to move when a wonder is built? That was what the poll was going to be. But he started moving right away. Announcer's curse. Pink would have won if Turin didn't watch him die. <laughs> yeah, so the Great Palace is going to be done in a matter of seconds. Really, really good play. Pulling all the villagers. Solid stuff by Serona. My Serona. And uh, what does he got down here? Yep, just uh, happily lumberjacking away. As Delhi is going to be consolidating its forces in the north. And he also grabbed the sacred site. Nice. Very nice. So 15 minutes. 15 minutes from now. Do we have the Wonder Tracker? We do. So 15 minutes and... 14 minutes and 50 seconds at this point, yes. China has sounded the war horn. They're finally going to be moving. I wasn't sure. I just imagine like Twist is like some wise, some wise man at his desk, just sipping tea, just, just, and then finally is rallied to battle, only in the most dire of moments. This guarantees a China win, clearly, I know. China's ready for it. Delhi is going to be sieging the walls. He got some elephants knocking on heaven's door, quite literally on the holiest of doors. But now we get to see the Wonder defense capabilities of our HRE player. Is he going to be good at defending the Wonder? Or is he just going to get backstabbed by the Chinese here and uh, pay the iron price? So here comes the Holy Roman Empire. Definitely should chase this army down if you can. Uh, try and get as many kills. Those elephants are hard to replace. So you're going to want to kind of pound them down. Looking at Allied Trex. Allied Trex sitting on only 4,000 gold, actually. Allied was starting to save up for a wonder. You notice how he's got about 5,000 stone, so it looks like he was saving up there. But Allied's army is going to be karate chops. And honestly, Allied better, yeah, he better get going on the infrastructure. So he's got a lot of villagers running up. Probably going to be setting up like right here would be the sweet spot. Because that's such an easy siege. You could literally go, oh my god, docks, boat drop, 10 trebuchets, insta kill wonder. Calling it now, I think that might happen. It depends on how good the Chinese player does with assisting. But I can totally see... Uh, Ally Trex is really sneaky with his trebuchets, and I, I, I think he's going to see that idea. Twist the old wise master who, fight, <laughs> who fights his students with his eyes closed <laughs> in one hand. Yeah, he's like, he's like uh, Morpheus in the Matrix, yeah. All right, so heading down here, we got 13 nests to bees. They don't do a ton of damage against buildings, but still can add up. And uh, yeah, just going to be starting to knock, knock, knock on Heaven's Door here. The Chinese player um, does not look to be making any effort to set up forward infrastructure. So that's a really, really huge win for the HRE, because if they can just wipe the Chinese army once, it's going to take a long time for them to get back with troops. So here comes the allied villagers. So the allied villagers are coming, and they're going to be setting up shop. We see the uh, Holy Roman Empire moving out to intercept the uh, Delhi. Oh my god, yeah. He's totally going to go down here and set up, right? And just do like a boat drop? It's got to be. It's got to be. So Delhi down here, coming with a pretty good army. It's mostly men at arms though, and HRE has a partial army intercepting in the field, trying to run down some of these hand cannoneers. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a keep, it's gonna be a trebuchet drop. And honestly, I think it's gonna work. Like this is so this is literally like the the the, the just the opening at, at Helm's Deep. This is where the Urukai bomber is gonna come and drop the steaming hot payload on the Great Hall of <laughs> Palace of Flensburg. <laughs> Yellow's Eatmon. Oh, I love the Eatmon movies. Donnie Yen is awesome. The actor who plays Eatmon, that guy's great. I love those movies. They got a little bit like more haggard as they went on, but like the first couple were so good. I think he like fights Mike Tyson in one of them or something in the later ones. Yeah. So Holy Romans, nice little battle here versus Delhi, but Allied Trex has got some fat schemes, and he's totally just gonna sail over there. Um, looking at his vision, is Allied aware of this? Oh, not yet. Okay. 
But if Allied discovers the water, he doesn't know the water is down there. But if he discovers it, man, that's going to be tough. 1138 on the wonder. China has finally arrived, and they're going to be knocking down the walls. Holy Romans are going to need to muster a defense pretty quickly over here. I don't know. Yeah, most of these towers aren't upgraded, so... Delhi also having a victorious fight versus the HRE as the Holy Romans going to be mustering units to deal with the Chinese incursion here on the east side of their base. But will Allied discover the water? Will he discover it? That is the question. If he does discover the water, I think it's going to be a pretty easy wonder kill for him. Especially since, like, I, you've got to plan for this. This has got to be, like, eight towers right here. Like, you've got to know this is a vulnerability. Super hardcore. Hey, Ward, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Siege workshops. If he goes rams, then that's going to be indicative that he doesn't know about the water. But if he goes with trebs, then I think he knows. I think the boy will have watched. Okay, you don't want to be charging into the Chinese. Oh my god, the nest the bees. Not the bees. The bees are just doing so much damage. Oh my god, that HRE army is going to get folded like a piece of paper. I love how artillery just doesn't do friendly fire in this game. It's hilarious. Just absolutely mowing down that HRE army. My goodness, brutal. Holy Roman's got to go back to the drawing board on that one. The Chinese army in a choke point like that with like mass nest of bees and like hand cannon ears that are fully upgraded, dude. Your your big boys with maces are certainly gonna be a little bit out teched. <laughs> Kiro, I did not know that. Fun stuff. You you've taught me something today. Uh yeah, Trebs. Trebs, Trebs, Trebs. I think HRE is toast. I think uh I think it's gonna be China versus Allied here. As the Holy Romans have already had their base uh basically compromised. Like the they didn't hold the gates for very long. And now he's going to be getting just absolutely sieged here on the other side by Allied and his elephants. Maybe, I mean, how long do we have? We got, what, nine minutes left? Okay, maybe if he manages to somehow wipe this Chinese army out. Maybe, but like this vulnerability is so, so glaring down here. And Allied does have his trebs. Oh, he knows. The, the, those are magma cannons from Total War, yes. The Sunmakers. So the dock is getting transport ships ready. He knows. It's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be a destroyed wonder, 100%. Not 100%, but I would say like with 90% certainty that this wonder is going to go down. Especially since the Chinese are just farming his armies in here. Um, Serona's pretty rich though. 11,000 gold in reserves. Yeah, this is a, it's a tough spot, man. I think building the wonder near the great the Ellsback Palace would have been good. Um, all buildings with it take 33% less damage. I guess the influence might still be reaching it with the buildings, but I don't think it is. So building it next to Flensburg would have been strong. Guys, we got 14 trebuchets coming for the backstab. Who's going to be counter wondering though is the question. Is Allied going to be doing it? He's kind of tied on gold right now, but where does he have a spot? Yeah, he does. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Look at Allied. Talk about a solid, solid position there for the Allied man. As he moves in, and the Trebuchets of Doom will be making their descent here in just a moment. Yep, this is going to be this is gonna be game blouses. The question is, are they going to stay and kill the HRE? And how quickly is Allied going to be pulling his villagers to build his wonder? I would probably do it right away because the Chinese army is down here too, so they would take like an extra long time to get to your base. So our HRE trying to hold, but oh god, no. Oh, 14 traps! Not like this! Oh no! Oh, that's so thick, dude! You can't repair through that. I don't care what you got. Oh, the emergency repairs! The knights get in! Here they go! Oh my god, are they gonna save it? Oh my god, they might barely save it. This is going to be so close. Oh, it's at like 1 HP. Oh my god, the knights are trying to purge through, but there's not enough repairs on it. He needs villagers. Oh my god, there's only two traps. Holy shit, he saved it. Oh my god, he actually saved that. Are you serious? The HRE got there in time? Allied can just do that again, though. But, like, is he going to leave some units down there, or is he going to make the same mistake twice? Oh my god, the emergency repair saved the great palace. He better pull some bills to repair this shit. Where's his villagers? Does he not have any? Oh my god, I can't believe it survived. That's insane. Yeah, now Allied didn't hear the bell though. He's coming back for round two. And the Chinese army is starting to get diminished a little bit too. So if Allied fails and the HRE can somehow, you know, muster a defense here. Oh my god, it's just going to happen again though. you got to go down there and, and guard against this, dude. you got to go down there and guard against it. Send some units for the love of the dark gods. I know you're repairing the great palace, but and the Chi the Chinese have officially been pushed back. So honestly, if HRE just comes down here and doesn't let that happen again, then they'll probably win. But Allied has got 11 here. He's got more traps coming in, and it could just happen again. He's got some troops here, but dude, they need to be standing right here. Oh my god, it's like giving me anxiety that he's not going in there and defending that. China has been dealt with. Okay. China is not going to be a big threat again. They don't have any forward infrastructure. 
You don't have to worry. You're going to see, like, send, like, a, like, a, like ha half your army down here. And you'd be able to stop this. Allied's coming in with another 14 trebs. And he's just going to lose it. Oh, my God. No. Go down here. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. He might be overwhelmed fighting the Chinese, which I completely understand. I completely understand. Um, but, yeah, this is pretty obvious. Okay, the cannon ship shoots here. Is he going to re- Oh, God, he's not here. It's just going to get killed by the trebs. Oh my god. Oh no. Dude. That this is painful. This hurts the soul. This hurts so bad. Oh emergency repairs. Where are they? Oh okay. where the Oh and he's moving so slowly. Can it it'll if I, there's one more trebuchet this time too. Oh Oh no not like this an ally gets away like a bandit in the night with his boat oh god I was so close to having dinner <laughs> okay he loses the trebuchet oh that hurts so bad and now China is just pillaging his base poor Serona man tried so hard and got so far in the end <laughs> allied came in and trebucheted you yeah man that's so painful he had that one in the bag, man. He really did. Look at that. It looks like China was planning something similar. They had some bow chads down there. <laughs> oh, man. So who's going to get this now? Allied is saving up wood, like hardcore. It looks like Allied might have cut villagers. Yeah, he did, I think, to get the bigger army for the aggression. Um, Serona is still not out of this game yet. Just as China planned, I know. China's getting some good work in there. Are these Fire Lancers or are these just horsemen? Yeah, they're Fire Lancers, so he's, he's torching some buildings. HRE still managed to hold on to the two sacred sites. That's quite a gimme there. And uh, Serona could go for a wonder again, but at this point, it's a. Uh, I'd be so upset if I was Serona right now. I know, so would I. I'd be so bummed, bro. Because, like, you had this epic moment where you saved it with a clutch response, and then that just goes down, and you're just like, oh, I'm too weak. <laughs> yeah, China. China is, is doing God knows what. Um. So Twist is 32,000 gold. I swear to God, if Twist wins this game, that's just going to be too much. He's still just raiding and sieging with his Fire Lancers. Yeah, just killing random buildings. HRE just rage killing the uh, the elephants out here. So just coming out and trying to clean out the scraps. He's going to discover the rat's nest if he goes down here. Dude, that, that was like... That was literally the most uh, <laughs> unfortunate thing for him. Oh, it feels bad. I left to play some games, come back to a wonder being wrecked. Yeah, dude. Yeah, there was... The wonder just barely died at the last second. I, man, he was close to winning. If HRE just stopped that, I think they win the game. They were actually, like, not far off winning. Is China going to go back to AF King? He might. He might just be hanging back here now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Candlelight Vigil for Cowboy Cerrone. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the MMA fighter, huh? So is China going to do anything? Are they doing a wonder, like trading for stone? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, Allied probably goes for a wonder next, right? Yeah, Allied, Allied's Allied got the spot for it. Is he pulling vills is the question? Where are all his villagers? Um, it looks like he's mainly just relics in trade right now. And a little bit of stone. He's got 51,000 food, right? So yeah, I mean, it looks like Allied wants to wonder, but he's not quite pulling the trigger on it yet. Yeah. FFA games are the best. They're very fun. FFA games are great. Just the absolute anarchy. I love 1v1s too, though. I, I, I gotta... Maybe next time I stream, I'll, I'll start with some 1v1s and then close with some casted FFAs like we used to. Yeah, I don't know what Twist is even doing, man. He's just got some random-ass villagers down here doing God knows what. You gonna, like, try and kill the high armory or something? Or... I don't know. Is he looking for wood? Uh, maybe he's looking for lumber. Yeah, he, he found some trees here. Is, is lumber really that scarce on the map? Yeah, no, there's still quite a bit of trees on the map, so it doesn't look like there's any severe scarcity. Holy Romans could be preparing a siege on Allied. Allied is appears to be semi-AFK now. He's pulling Vils in? No, the villagers are going for the lumber, lumber here. So he's got a handful of villagers, 21. And yep, he's getting villagers produced. Look at that, man. Oh my god, look how quickly Allied can rebuild out of his keeps. That is insane. He's just macroing villagers. Sorry, guys, the dreaded hiccups have struck. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm falling apart here. I am melting. I am melting. Yeah, so China with the dreaded 38 AFK villagers in the corner. Um, and then the AFK Fire Lancer army. Holy Romans could definitely... If, if, the, if Allied goes for a sacred site, 
and then China and the HRE team up against him. He could really just go for a sacred victory by grabbing this last sacred site down here and entrench that if Ally was dead. Yeah, this is the last game of the night. Yes, it is. It is indeed. It's getting late and I'm getting hungry. Haven't had dinner. It's, it's been a while. All right, so yeah, he's mustering out a million villagers. He's already got another 40 villagers right there. And uh, yeah, he could just slap this bad boy down right now if he wants to. He's got the resources. He doesn't have a huge gold surplus, but yeah, he's going for it. Allied, a man of the people, going to be trying to force the Chinese to move out of their AFK base here. Do it. Do it. And there it goes. All right, so it's popped. It's getting dropped. A great Palace of Agra. 1,200, 1,300, 1,400 of the HP. Climbing rapidly. My only concern with this palace is it does not have a wall around it. So, you know, fire lancers or something like that with enough of them could move in. China going to be setting up on the border. And uh, yeah, HRE is already kind of here. So this is not bad. They're going to be on his base very quickly. But the Wonder is going down. Allied constructing. Three, two, one. And it is done, ladies and gentlemen. The Wonder has been constructed. All these keeps are upgraded with cannon towers. So it's going to be some nasty DPS. And yeah, let's see how Allied holds here. Will he be the chosen one? He might be. We'll find out. You can't feed me after midnight, dude. I eat after midnight all the time. I, I, I've i heard like fitness bros tell me it's not a good idea and they're probably right. I don't know. But, you know, I, uh, I got a feast, man. Got to let the boy watch sometimes. So it keeps coming down. Allied has enough for a lot of keeps, actually. This is going to be a, a pretty tough break. HRE doesn't have too much forward infrastructure, although this is pretty good. Yeah, they got a lot of keeps and siege workshops or barracks, so that's good. Just make men at arms, land snakes, and then produce some, uh, you know, rams, and you're going to be fine. Looking at Allied's bank, he's not got the best bank in the world, so he's very much all in here. Um, he's going to be taking some heavy, heavy damage. Serona has got a big bank. Um, China, on the other hand, just chilling with their AFK villagers, doing God knows what. Looks like they're pulling him back to the old base now. And will Allied be able to hold? We'll find out in today's episode of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, top side of the map, looks like the walls are fully secured, so we see the HRE looking for a way in. Uh, using culverins to knock down the walls, always uh, always pretty fun. And uh, looks like they're going to be losing a little bit of trade here. As China amasses on the top side of the base. Yes, yes. I fitness the burrito into your mouth. <laughs> Says Vitek. I love it, dude. Isn't that? That's the truth, ain't it? Know me. Yes. I used to be really into fitness before I got psoriatic arthritis. Like, I, I was a huge weightlifter and gym rat. But, um, yeah, it basically made it, like, just so painful for me to lift heavy weights with my hands. Sucks, man. Maybe we'll get back to it someday if science can help me out. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I never ate well. That was always my downside. Like, I, I, I always I always did, had a little bit of a rough diet back when I was young. But, you know, genetics will carry you pretty far. Hand cannoneers, men-at-arms crashing across on the top side. We see the Chinese uh, invasion force. Where's the Delhi defending army? It looks like a couple random elephants here. But, like, it's only two keeps buffering off here, so they might be able to just do a Fire Lancer dive. Like, that's... That is 70 Fire Lancers, guys. Holy shit. Yeah, they could just start plowing this base. Honestly, if I'm the Chinese player, I would start killing the infrastructure here. Yeah, and just wait for the uh, HRE to get in a little bit further as well. Take all the relics out and do a big Wolo low defense. I actually think that's a great idea. If you're all in and you know you're going to lose if it doesn't work out, then, yeah, 100%. Go for it. Fire Lancers are on the way in. Elephants, the Delhi fonts are out of position. The players are being very lazy with defending the Wonders today, at least in this game. Um, like, you should have your units on the Wonder, especially... You can see the Fire Lancers running through your base. Oh, my God, all those all those scholars just got mowed down. And now, is he aware? Okay, he's going in. Oh, dear God. Are the Fire Lancers just going to get this? Is it just going to go down this way? <laughs> Gas station burritos? No, I wasn't that bad. No, no. Definitely not. Ga I mean, I have eaten gas station burritos before on long road trips, but it's not like it was like part of my regular diet. HRE moving in with a big metal wall, but these are a lot of like just seriously upgraded keeps. So I think the HRE army shouldn't be as big of a threat as the Chinese army coming in from the north side. So Allied needs to hold for another 10 plus minutes, man. I, I, I think this is going to be a very tough hold. Like the fact that it's the 12, like just past 12 minutes and uh, the enemy's already like in his base pretty erect here it's gonna be tough this is a good dive though getting all the elephants to get in and shut down the cannons is a super clutch play so very well played to allied there uh you can see the hre army bouncing off these keeps and yeah the villagers should just pull back and be ready to repair because the fire lancers could dive at any mo moment but yeah the fire lancers probably could have maybe even killed the wonder if they had just done a heavy duty dive and china is still being very very uh, relaxed with its aggression they should just be plowing through these buildings man granted time is on their side so it's not like they're you know a serious shortage here 
Good defense by Allied though, man. He knocks down all those bombard cannons, and every time you kill the bombards like that, it, it's gonna massively slow down your uh, opponent's push. So a little siege engineering. You guys remember that scene in uh, Shaun of the Dead when they're like bashing the zombie with the uh, the paddles and they're like dancing around it? It always reminds me of that when they're they're <laughs> they're making the uh, the rams there, which is good. So Delhi holding valiantly. So far, so good. But China is growing fat and angry, and they're going to be on their way in with a million nests of bees. Uh, the Chinese army, it's like a trail of fire. Fire ants coming in. You can see all the uh, fire lancers just sauntering on in behind their forces. Down to the south side, we see the elephants holding back the big mace boys. The cannon emplacements will definitely help against the battering ramps, but the best way to deal with them is obviously having infantry and or cavalry torching them down. Cavalry get a bonus for a siege, which includes battering rams, so using basic horsemen in your defense is usually what you want to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> like China has 10 APM, <laughs> says Dusty. <laughs> oh my god. That's a hell of a lot of keeps though, man. With the burning oils, that's not going to be easy for the HRE to get in. Up on the top, Delhi trying to hold. Uh, Delhi intercepting with horsemen, so allied using some good tactics. Trying to flank, but we do see uh, Twist summoning all of his APMs to defend this. And he does pull those fire launchers around. And the Chinese army is making good progress, man. It's going to be a long hold still. We still have, like, what, 9 minutes and 50 seconds left on this hold? That is going to be a long time. Um, the only way I can see it failing is... Oh, right. Hold on. The Holy Romans actually have, like, no gold income, even though they have a gold node here. Oh, they have trade. Okay, they're good. Yeah, they're, they're getting money from trade. It's only 45 a pop, though. They need to optimize that trade, like, right now. Like, they should have that trade going back here. So, big blunder there from HRE. But the Fire Lancers thinking about diving in. Honestly, they could have maybe gone for it. Although there are some spheres and uh, some jelly soldiers up here defending. I don't see any uh, repairs, although there are six villagers nearby who could do some emergency repairs if need be. What Delhi should be doing is rebuilding walls. Uh, when people sneak sneak in, you saw Smeagol do this and a lot of really high level players. They'll rebuild walls like once you kind of get through the first time. So then it just forces you to have to go through them again. If you don't have a bombard nearby, your reinforcements are cut off. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's quite a journey. So battering rams being made by the HRE. Delhi going to be trying to hold, but God, man, that Chinese nest of bees blob is so foul. It just... <laughs> Literally mows down everything that tries to get in its way. And Allied looks like he's already falling back to the uh, to the keep, which is, you know, it's a little bit early in the movie for that. We've still got, what, 8 minutes and 50 seconds? I mean, maybe... China, China, let's see what their resources look like. Okay, China is just cackling. 30,000 gold right now. I was gonna about to say, maybe if you kill the Chinese siege equipment, they wouldn't be able to advance. We'll have to, we'll have to see how that works out. Yeah, bombards, a lot of heavy armor and firepower coming in from the north side as the rams make their way in with four bombard cannons. Is Ally going to be able to stop this with the Chinese aggression from the north? I don't see it working out. And dude, are you guys ready for the ultimate APM duel between Twist and Serona? Serona could probably just go wonder again, honestly. Although now his bank is pretty poor, I think. Yeah, he's really been diminished by all these wars. Still has 10,000, but yeah, the stone would be a bit of a problem. So Allied needs to get out here and try and deal with these bombards, 100%. There's four bombards coming in. China up in the top, pulling back for some reason. I don't know why they're uh, they're giving Allied even an inch of breath with, with which to breathe. Um, Allied's economy is completely probably dead in the water. Yeah. So he's got 31 villagers hanging out somewhere nearby, but... Is that another keep coming in from Delhi? Man, look at the keep drops. Horsemen should definitely be getting around the back, although we do have a couple springs nearby. Spring alds, uh could move up and start trying to pick off these bombard cannons. Because that key position is going to fall quickly. Fire Lancers diving the wonder. Just a couple of them. Certainly not a critical mass of wonders. But yeah, China definitely could slap down a wonder um, if they had the stone. I don't think they do. Yeah, they're tight on stone. You could buy your way to 6,000 pretty easily. Oh my god, the Wololo. Is he going to get something? He is. He's going to get some of the Fire Lancers. Yeah, he looks like he recruited a couple of them. But I think he was supply capped. So yeah, it didn't give him. But he got the kills allied with the, the desperate wonder uh, relic pulls. I love it. And now he's charging the army here, trying to force the bombards back. Pulling back here, currently looking at the timer. He's at seven minutes, pretty good. China is being really, really tame with their aggression. Um, but look at the Wololos. He's grabbing all the relics and he's gonna be using the defensive Wololos. Dude, if Ally holds this, that's gonna be really, really impressive. Um, I would love to see some Wololo play against this army. Ram's heading out, but gonna be getting intercepted by the Delhi army. Delhi actually still mustering a good force despite the circumstances. They're out of gold, but they can still make a lot of like basic units. And uh, looks like they are doing that. China is preparing a Fire Lancer push. You know, it'd be, oh my god, if Allied rebuilt this wall right now, it would just block all these units, and that would just be the most cackling thing ever. Oh man, I don't know if he's aware of that, though. Yeah, having Wolo Lows next to your Wonder is super MLG, especially against mass Fire Lancers. So, HRE is forced back again, um, but they have so many Bombards and so many Rams. That's gonna be nasty. And uh, where are these Relics doing? Man, Allied needs to get those back to his, his Wonder, like, right now, like, five minutes ago. 
Because this Fire Lancer all in is coming. He's got 71 of these bad boys, and they're just going to go balls deep for this wonder. And the HRE is attacking from the south, man. It's going to be tough. All right, he's coming back. You better run, dude. Get those wonder get those relics back, because the Wololo will hard counter the uh, Fire Lancers. They'll have to run, and it'll give you time. It'll give you time. Five minutes and 55 seconds, man. He's holding. He's scrapping, dude. He's really scrapping. I did not expect him to get this far. I actually thought he would fall, but... Uh, the opponent, his opponents have been, or at least China's been a little bit too passive with their aggression on this side, and uh, that has allowed him to do it. Where are the relics? Where is he going with those? Is he going to be rebuilding the walls up top? That would be a play. All right, here it comes. Oh, the Fire Lancers allied responds in time, and, and the HRE isn't attacking at the same time. Uh oh, a little bit out of sync here. Fire Lancers do make it. Does he have any repairs for it? Probably does. Oh my God, the Fire Lancers are doing so much damage. Where were the Wololos when the Westfold fell? Yeah, China's got this. Fire Lancers are so good at killing wonders. And Allied is basically in the trash can here. So, yep, there goes the wonder number two. It is gone. China is going to flee the scene. China could have done that like five minutes ago. Like straight up. They could have just done that. But now Allied is going to die. And uh, they're going to be fighting over the scraps of his base, I would wager. Could just become a 1v1. I mean, maybe Allied lives. There, there's a chance that China leaves, which it looks like they did. And HRE might leave too. The Rams are knocking everything down. And, uh, yeah, looks like that keep has fallen. These keeps are holding. Allied probably pretty bum bummed about that because um, he's just so poor now. But I guess, yeah, I mean, he's still in the game. China, are they going to keep raiding and just torching? Oh, my God. Oh, man, if he had brought these to the to the Wonder instead and just dropped some fat Wolo lows, but instead China's just going to cackle and take all of these. Oh, my God, what a blunder. Allied's micro is stretched too thin, and he's not noticing these things. Oh no! Oh my god, that's so many relics that are just gonna get taken by China. China is gonna just be the Dark Lord after this. Although HRE, if they get their trade optimized, okay, it looks like they did. No, they're only trading for 40! No! HRE! Okay, some of them are trading big, but some of them are trading small as well. Who will win? Fire Horseman or a pile of rocks? Uh, Allied might surrender here. He looks like he's like semi AFK now after that. I don't know if it's like assault AFK or if it's just like he's 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 just uh, trying to figure it out. Who knows? Who knows? So is there going to be another wonder down here? That would be really funny. Um, looking at the resources of Serona. Serona's got fifteen thousand, um, and he's getting a little bit of stone via tithe barns, but it's not that much. It's only two relics, dude. There are so many relics in this Delhi base, it is insane. Is he going to go all this off right now? And China's back to being like semi-AFK. <laughs> Turns impatience everybody's because he's hungry. It's true, I am. It's true, but I'm enjoying every second of this. This is quite a bit of fun. It's good, you know. It's good. We're fasting. It's the fasting stream. I uh, I don't know who's going to win this. Like, honestly, China, China doesn't look like they're making a big effort to win via the wonders or anything. He's not buying any stone. He's he's literally just chilling out. Um, oh, what's this Wolo Lo going down here? Okay, Allied actually steals some Fire Lancers, which will help him. Looks like Allied got his relics back, so he's he's reclaiming his fallen empire. He's not. If he gets those relics back, he's totally still in this game, like a hundred percent. I don't know what China's doing, man. I'm really curious what their game plan is. Um, we got keeps coming up, which makes me think maybe there's something going down there. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, stone, but he could buy stone. He could buy 6,000 stone. He's got 30,000 gold, so he could easily buy that. China doesn't look like they came for the relics either, so Allied Trex managed to get all of his relics back. So maybe Allied's just going to go kill China, but like, the, it's it's very strange when you're in like a three-player situation like this. Yeah, it adds a, <laughs> a three-player. It adds flavor. Yeah, I know. I know. And I have this like delicious dark chocolate bar waiting for me out there, too. It's extra suffering. Suffering. I gotta get that. I gotta get that on the soundboard. Yoda saying suffering. That'd be fun. You just play it during situations like this. I mean, HRE is jack too. They have like cross map trading. I mean, assuming they optimize all their trading and they stop trading with these like these short trading posts here, then yeah, they're gonna be like really, really good. And Allied looks like he might just be going to war with China, which isn't a bad idea. You know, Delhi and China. Got to finish him off so then you can focus on the 1v1 and not all the backstabs. HRE, are they going to be coming in to hammer the Delhi base? That's the thing. Nobody wants to finish the job when they have somebody down. They're just like kind of letting him survive. A lot of action this stream. Yeah, a lot of action this one. The Casted games are really fun because we can see everything. You know, I like playing, but I think the Casted games are definitely more entertaining for you guys. But, you know, of course I want to play every now and then. Uh, all right. 
So China looking like they want to siege, but not really. They're kind of shooting here. I don't know. We'll see. See the gatehouse going down. Um, Allied slowly grabbing his relics back, although it seems like he's being a little bit lazy about it. Um, I'm not sure it, what he's doing. Okay, he's rebuilding his mosques. There he goes. Okay. So the mosques are being built, and uh, I would wager he's going to resecure the walls. What is HRE doing now? Is HRE going to attack? Looks like everybody's really in a kind of a state of indecision here as it pertains to what they want to be doing. He still hasn't seen the smiley face palisade. Palisade? What am I missing? Where Where is this palisade that you guys are telling me about? Is it down here? No. <laughs> it's the 27 villagers just AFK. Oh god. Oh my god. Where's this palisade you're telling me about? I can't. I can't find it. Okay. Yeah. So literally just a stare down here. Well, allied. Are we just gonna be like going back in time, like another 10 minutes? I feel like we are. So lightweight beams getting finished for China. Um, HRE just gathered outside the base. The APM curse is spreading, it's true. The, the, it's like, as the low APMs thrive and prosper. Whose markets are these? I think these are these are Delhi markets, yeah. He's got a little bit of trade going, not much. I felt uh, the funny politics you get into when you play yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The politics are always fun. They're always fun. Smeagol is really good at politics. He's he's like, he knows he knows how to manip manipulate the hearts and minds of the people. All right, what do we got here? Barracks and uh, yeah, nice trade. 126 a pop, baby. Honestly, HRE could go for a wonder and Serona could have success with it, assuming he, uh, you know, builds it a little bit more optimally. And by optimally, I'm, I'm saying like, cut this wall down, build the wonder next to the uh, L's back and then like, like create more buffering with water here and also get the damage resistance from that, which is good. Dang, it's 5 p.m. in New Zealand, so it must be super early or late. Oh, it's 10 p.m. for me. It's not bad. Yeah, good timing. Hey, what the hell is this? We have an attack? The Chinese player is doing something? I just imagine the most smug laughter over there coming from him. It's like he's doing battle with the Delhi horseman. Um, Delhi's going to be able to get back online pretty quick. Yeah, dude, Allied is still 150 military supply, even after all that. Looks like Delhi going to be losing some units, though, to these HRE troopers, which are just AFK camping outside of his base. Um, as far as the rest of the army goes... Yeah, man, I mean, HRE is for sure the strongest right now with all this trade. They're looking like they're in good stuff. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder about the politics of this game. Is anybody who played in this game still sitting and can tell us what's going on? This is definitely going to be a two-hour game. Fire Lancers are trolling Allied's base. It's pretty, pretty impactful, actually. It's going to slow him down. It's going to cost wood. And wood is looking like... Uh, he's got a nice surplus of wood, but looking at the map, it's it's pretty barren of wood. I mean, there's a couple of patches in the middle, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of patches in the mid. It's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, I just established mutual beneficial agreements, which I get the better deal from. Exactly. It's like the, you're like the true golem, dude. You know? You, you, like, here's the thing. In all of your FFA games... There's always someone who's who's like a Samwise Gamgee. Like in our game, I was the Samwise Gamgee. And I was trying to talk Frodo into helping me deal with Gollum's bullshit, right? But, you know, unfortunately the Frodo's fall for you and they feel pity. And then you just totally pop up and strangle them when they're not looking and bite their fingers off. It's the most apt analogy I've ever had for gaming. It's, it's, it's just perfect. It's just embodied so well. <laughs> Which I love, man. I love it. That's why you're one of my favorite players to watch. Uh, 126 here on the traders. Yeah, it's still still going. Who's gonna make the next move though? Honestly, who's gonna do it? I I don't know. China's like just trolling Allied basically. Um, it, it doesn't look like he's actually like trying to kill him. Like he's got this big good quality army of hand cannoneers, which he could probably move in and actually finish off Allied at this point. Um, Allied is resecuring Eco on the bottom. Um, he's only got seven on food. Food's gonna become an issue for him, but. That's the thing, like, Tithe Barns with, like, seven relics or whatever is so good. It's so incredibly good. Turin has crumbs on his jacket. It's true. It's true. You mean the character from Lord of the Rings Gollum? Hey, so, here's the question. Did anybody in chat play the Lord of the Rings game, the Gollum one? How many of you guys just took on that, that duty to suffer? I heard it was just the biggest, just, absolute <laughs> crap game ever. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm more like Palpatine. I'm a little bit too obvious, right? Like when I try and politic, I'm I'm not very good at it, firstly. And secondly, I'm a little bit too obvious with it. So people just know you're evil. I still don't regret Berkshiring Smeagol's trade. <laughs> Is that what you did? Yeah, good, good. I'm glad you did. 
Um, yeah, so just semi-AFK, all these players. China doing something here with these villagers. Um, is he gonna like keep drop or something into the HRE base? I mean, HRE sitting at 25,000, dude. Probably zero, hell no. I, I, I saw a Twitch streamer playing it and it looks like, yeah, it looks really bad. I, I would play it like if you guys really wanted to see suffering and just like a terrible game. That would be the only condition, like if, if there was like a lot of people who wanted that. But um, yeah, I know, isn't it like $60? That game should literally be like free to play from what I saw. It's so atrocious. Dude, Serona's just gonna be so rich. He's got 3,000 gold a minute. Like that trade is just off the chain. Is he gonna go for another wonder? Oh my god. I wonder if like any of these guys are gonna get like like bored or like tired and just act. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm genuinely curious about that. The economy is terrible and they're putting out games like that for $70. I know. I know. It's wild. Yeah, AFK villagers literally could just be gathering wood here, like in the trees. Which is opting to be AFK instead. Turn Golem stream. Oh my god, that's just it's just pure that would just be pure suffering. I would do it though. I would do it. It's crazy they released it in the state when they're like, yeah, this is worth $60. Well, you know, they released it probably because they knew it was going to be horrible and they just didn't want to sink any more money into it. So they're just like, screw it. Let's just like, it's like a desperation release, right? Yeah, it's just like they knew everything was going to go to shit. So they just they just threw it out there and were like, let's salvage what we can. Yeah, that that's basically, I think, what happened. There was probably some like... They probably had like, grander ambitions for it. You know, a lot of times when games turn out bad like that, it's often the fault of the higher ups who like, you know, or or like funding will get cut for the game. So they just like, they just rush it. You know, I'm sure the developers could have done a better job for sure, but. Yeah, looking like uh, HRE maybe gonna be attacking the old deli shop in China. Dude, look at this. I could do a golem stream and then every time I die in it, I have to eat a hot dog. Holy shit, that would just be the ultimate just meme stream. If I like really got hungry for it and like started like, you know, late, I think I could, I think I could do it. So a golem hot dog stream. I don't feel, I feel like people wouldn't actually show up to watch that. Like a, I did a hot dog stream once and I thought it was going to be really popular, but it like, it wasn't, you know, it did okay, I guess, but it wasn't that popping. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'll think about it. That actually sounds like a, a really fun idea. Uh, so yeah, the HRE moves in and Ally just moves over and intercepts him. And then that's pretty much it for the aggression. Some cannons coming in as well. And uh, China, dude, China literally just sits in its base AFK. What is he doing here? He's doing something, oh. All right, so he's spelling out wood. I actually, you know, personally, what I was expecting from him was just to draw, I thought he was just gonna draw a dick. I honestly thought we were just gonna get a giant shaft out of uh, Palisades, which I think would have been preferable. But, um, you know, nonetheless, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Dude, I, lo I love hot dogs. If you just, if you just load me up, here's what you do. You do like those like street hot dogs, right? So you just get those big juicy hot dogs with like, you know, I prefer white bread myself, but uh, and then you just get like grilled onions and, and ketchup and uh, slather some mayonnaise on there and mustard and oh god, there was a place near my old house when I was growing fat. It was a, it was like a, a, like a hot dog place that did like really awesome like street style hot dogs with like tons of good condiments and stuff. And dude, I used to just weep tears of joy when I would eat that at that place, just like absolute tears of joy. Didn't the hot dog stream just turn into Spartacus eating hot dogs? And yeah, he had to eat the most. He had to eat six hot dogs. I'd eat four. Because it was every time you lost an FFA game, you had to eat a hot dog. Yeah. So. That was really fun. Holy shit, we could do that too. What about for... Holy shit. Okay guys, hear me out. On the subject of hot dogs, and since we're here for Age Vampires, there's not too much action to really cover. It's basically just Allied pushing back the Holy Romans. Um, what I was going to suggest is an Age of Empires hot dog stream where we get we get our top we get our top FFA players, okay? So we have a qualifier. And I would put up some decent prize money for this for sure. Um and the there's eight people. And if you are the eight the first person to die in the FFA would have to eat like like ten hot dogs or something. So you want to stay in as long as you can so you don't have to suffer. And then if you're but it's like hard to enforce that because like how do I how do I get like confirmation they're actually doing it you know 
If this was like a LAN event. Oh, we could do a LAN somewhere in California. Yeah, so you would have to do like 10 and then like if you're second to die, or it would be eight, seven, six, five, four. So if you're the last person living, you only have to eat one. You know? That would be really funny, but it would have to be like a LAN event. Otherwise there's no way to enforce that people are actually dealing with the punishment. Yeah. Well, HRE is, is at least fighting Allied, so there is a little bit of a rumble here. Um, Allied Trexto is basically back on his feet. His eco is good. And uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's chilling. He's got all his relics back, dude. He cares not. <laughs> Eight Mongol player games. <laughs> Holy shit. How would we enforce that? We just have to, I just have to spend all my life savings to fly all the, uh, the competitors from around the world for this, this, this stream. See if Microsoft wants to support it. I don't think Microsoft would be interested in that, you know? Call it the hot dog hoedown. <laughs> we have the Outback Octagon. Well, the, <laughs> the hot dog hoedown is the next big, it's the next big uh, event in town, boys. Yeah, it would be, it would be punishment. I don't know if I could even eat 10 hot dogs. I, mean, I think I could do eight. Like eight with like, if it's like a bun that isn't a wheat bun, I could for sure do it, I think, if I was really hungry, but 10 would be probably pushing it. I don't think I could. Yeah, a LAN event could be a lot of fun. Absolutely, I would I would do something like that. See, I need to find a way to get become like a rich, like a, a, just like a, rich, a super rich, eccentric, uh, you know, multimillionaire, billionaire, and then I could just put on these stupid events like this for all of us. Imagine how much fun we would have. We could fill an arena with all <laughs> with everyone here. <laughs> gotta find a way, guys. We gotta make some stupid shit happen. All right, how we looking here? Uh, Hebrew National might sponsor it. Yeah, that would be interesting. Like Age of Empires, yeah. But like the thing is, would a hot dog company really want to sponsor it if it's like a punishment, you know? Cause like it's being kind of portrayed as a punishment. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, so China drew wood here and now they're lumberjacking. So they got wood down here, all right. Dude, the fact that China is just sitting AFK is such torture. This. It's such torture. Oh my God. He's sitting on 30,000 golds, guys. Please, for the love of God, somebody build a, a wonder, please. Serona, you're my only hope. You're the only one who's trying to do anything. Okay, Serona's got 6,000. Yes. Come on, Serona. Don't disappoint me and don't let that shit happen again in the back of your base. Allied is, is back on his feet more or less now. We got relics being brought. So where are those relics going? Get that man a Bud Light. You just have to say, yeah, I'm after every bite. I know. Turn, become a billionaire so that we can have unlimited hot dog streams. Yeah, I know, man. I always thought that, you know, if, if I just had that kind of like, you know, obviously the, it raises the question if you're that filthy rich, like, you know, I would firstly want to do things to help, help people in the community, you know, via, you know, nonprofits, things like that. But, um, if you just kind of like get down to like the ridiculous question of like really absurd shit. If I've always said that if I like one of my power fantasies would be to like create like a medieval city, like a fully functioning medieval city and just, <laughs> just, just rule over it and have like these haggard like jousting tournaments and just like, I don't know, man, just like something really stupid like that. Um, I don't know. And just have the most ridiculous stuff going on there. Yeah. <laughs> We're still live, baby. We're still going strong. Imagine that. How much fun that would be. Okay, China's moving. Wait, is, is there a wonder being built? Is there a reason China's leaving its base? Okay, he's building the Great Palace right up in his main base. Um, which I think he should have built it near the L's back to get the damage resistance. I think that would be good. Yeah, I don't know, man. I am dreaming of hot dogs. I'm so hungry right now. I haven't eaten since like... Ooh, I don't know, 10 a.m. maybe? Yeah, and it's that's a, that, was, that was a ways ago. It's pretty small, small little breakfast we had. All right. So the Great Palace is up, and now China moves. I kind of feel as if China's, like, torturing us on purpose. Like, he knows I'm hungry. Oh, my God. This wonder is just going to die so, so fast. Look at this. It's just going to die. And he's grabbing the sacred site, which I do like, but that's so easy to shut down. Allied can just run over there. Dude, just end our suffering, man. HRE, they deleted their traders. Are they going to be able to defend this? Dude, China's just going to roll up and back backdoor him with Trebs. And the Fire Lancers are going to get in and just insta-kill this thing. Oh, my God. 
It's not gonna work. Sorona is our, I appreciate Sorona, but this is not gonna work at all. It's just not. You're approaching sacred victory, great. But like, one of these traitors could go stand on this. I guess you have to get rid of the prelate first, but. There is like a 0% chance of this wonder working. The placement is so haggard. Um, back here, like deleting this and popping it down right here would have been the play. Although I understandably you're worried about this, but this is an easy spot to defend. You just like set up like some, like an, a couple of boats of your own or like have, leave some some units there, you know? No, I'm not gonna end it. We're going deep, dude. We're going deep. Of oh, Dark Lords deliver us from the Fire Lancers. Dude, this, this, sake, this wonder is gonna last for like a minute. I like how they only move when there's a wonder. It's the only time the players who are left in this game act. Uh, 24 hours? Okay, if it went that long, I would probably just like call it. If we went to like eight hours, yeah. If we went another like two hours, I'd probably call it. I would just be like, all right guys, enjoy. Maybe, I don't know. It depends on like the circumstances. But like, dude, this is not gonna go well. There's like a ram and there's like 800 Fire Lancers out here. And just this, just this, this feeble Palpatine palace here, just hanging out. And it looks like Allied has neutralized all the sacred sites. So that is pretty much off the table. Not going to be seeing anything like that. At least he's trying to win. Uh, what's Twist doing? Twist is just... I don't even know, man. What is he doing? We got a monastery here. He just built a random monastery and just has his villagers AFK down there. Yeah, if you gave me control over one of these players, I, I think I could end the game one way or the other. Maybe. I would at least try to. No, Serona is definitely not going to win with this. The Rams have gotten in. The dreaded Chinese Fire Lancers are at the gates. Allied is being held at bay, but I mean, dude. The Chinese even has Bao Chads down here. They're not upgraded though, so they don't have like the Nesta Bees or the other good effects, but... He's like, dude. Oh! No! No! Go back to the Wonder! Oh my god, no! No, this is just gonna die. Oh my god, just end me, bro. Just put me out of my misery. Look at this shit. There's. Oh! Just end me? Why is the wonder here and not behind walls? Okay, emergency repairs at least. Come on. You gotta give it a good college try. Okay, we get some HRE knights moving in. Please at least repair it! Come on! Oh my god, just end me, bro. Why are we still here just to suffer? Every night I could. <laughs> Oh my god, John, I know. Okay, at least he's getting landmark snipes now. So maybe there will be some progress. Oh my god, Serona tried at least. Oh. oh man. And now he's getting hammered, but I mean, Serona's still so rich, he's like... He's nowhere near out of this game, you know? Like, why not just build it back here? If he builds it back here, Serona probably wins. If Serona built a wonder back here, okay, and then just like guarded this, then it's over. But yeah, no. China getting another. Oh my god. It'd be really funny if he just spelled out suffer, you know, with like gatehouses. I know, I'm pretty thirsty too. I should probably go get some water, geez. All right, on the west side, we see a little bit of raiding coming in. Allied, hey, at least they're trying to kill him now. At least they're trying to kill him. Sacred Sites being taken by Delhi. Look at the Delhi Scholars just getting shot by Keeps and just healing through it. I love it. That's so funny. Holy shit. Looks like they're going to inevitably fall, though. So where are those elephants going? And HRE is still strong enough to defend itself. He can't be landmark sniped. Elsback is walled in. Oh, my God. That just adds even more to the suffering. Yeah, Elsback is walled in there. Yep, so he's good. Where are these Delhi fonts going, by the way? Delhi's got, like, a big army here, but HRE still has a pretty solid force. Hey, Jordan says, hey, check out, if you want to uh, joust, I would love some fresh meat. Oh, my God. Yeah, with my current, with the way my hands and shit work, I would not do that. But someday, maybe. But, yeah, that's pretty cool that you do that, Jordan. Right on, man. Has he found out the smile yet? I don't know if I have. Um, I mean, let's see. Smiley faces, smiley. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look at this smiley face, dude. This is the shit we're dealing with tonight. This is just pure misery. Okay, a lot of villagers going down for HRE. China is actually raiding them now. China's got a good army over here. I, like, I, I almost wonder if... Is his, is his lack of APM, like, laziness? Or is it just, like, what he's got? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, is the, what are the dynamics of this? 
HRE moving out for one last push. Is Delhi going to go for another wonder? Come on, Allied. Oh, Allied saving up some stone, though. Got the tithe barns rolling. Looks like HRE is going to be kind of clearing this out. I feel like that Zinch bird, Kopal. I feel like that. That screaming bird is totally how I feel right now. Yeah, I don't know if I've had any water. No, it's been five hours. I should probably go get some water. Yeah, I'll maybe, maybe I'll grab, next time there's a lull in action, I'll go grab some. I'm good though, I'll, I'll survive. So big old shots coming in, shot through the heart and you're too late. You gave the Delhi a bad name. As that entire Delhi army gets steamrolled by ye old hand cannoneers and HRE troopers. But it's, uh, it's really not going to matter. It's not going to matter at all. Because Allied is uh, just going to push him back and then he's going to push him back. And the other guy will push him back. And then China's just going to continue to not do much of anything. Oh, wait a second. Fire Lancer raids. That's so troll. Does he have artillery? Dude, he just won't use his artillery either. So he's just going to torch the HRE base. He's got Fire Lancers doing a little bit of an intercept right here. And uh, HRE might even surrender. It could be a toilet seat type game where, you know, he can't hold it anymore. And he's got to go deal with it. Um, China could definitely just go AFK and it wouldn't matter. But HRE probably couldn't. Probably couldn't. So Delhi is pushed back, and uh, Allied is trying to muster some forward attack infrastructure. Particular play paint, thank you for the donation, for your sacrifice of Sigmar in a form of skipping dinner for so long. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, thank you, John. And I just brought me uh, some water. The wife coming in for the for the big old save here. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, I was thirsty. Oh, God. Mm. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good, ladies and gentlemen. We're back in business. So down on the other side, the Fire Lancers have pulled out. It has happened. And uh, yeah, he's once again, the walls are being rebuilt. All the progress that China made in the past hour of this game has been uh, canceled by this wall being built. But is he going to be using the nest of bees now? Is he going to be attacking? Find out. We will see. At least Delhi's getting aggressive though. Delhi is kind of starting to put pedal to the metal. They're like massing infrastructure, so it kind of looks like he might want to attack in. Uh, Holy Roman's eco is still pretty good considering the circumstances. Play Paint, thank you so much again for that donation. I really do appreciate that. <clears throat> 57 eco for Serona, um, but still a, re a respectable bank. Jordan Pohl, thank you for the tenor. Wife for the save all day, all day, every day. I think she's playing the new Diablo game right now, so I'm gonna have to ask how it was. The nostalgia temptation in like the soundtrack calls to me, but I, I know how Blizzard is, so I'm like really, really on the fence. Plus, it's just so much spam clicking, dude. It's so much grind. Oh god, a Titan sneeze might be coming. Uh, so he has been upgrading his bow chads, and it looks like he just keeps like knocking the walls down and just like moving in and raiding, and that's it. Like he's not trying to kill him. It's like he's just toying with him. Grant said, I think the HRE could probably take him in a straight up fight as long as it's not in a choke point. And it looks like there's going to be some Rams coming out as well. So. Yeah, he's got some reinforcements hustling over, some more Fire Lancers. Delhi intercepting a lot of those workers, so Serona takes a big eco hit. Loses about 10, 15 villagers right there. Down to 52 economy. Off topic question, uh, do you think any big classic Worm or Fantasy Battle heroes are getting new models in Old World? Yeah, I think it could happen with like Cetra. Yeah, I can totally see Cetra getting one. Um, and yeah, there will be new heroes and characters for like Empire and all that stuff. So yeah, just holding on for a prayer, man. We'll see. I would love a new Cetra model. His model's pretty, his old model wasn't the worst. They could honestly just re-release his old one too. <clears throat> it's very, very good nostalgia on that. Hmm. So Stonewall's getting knocked down and it looks like HRE's gonna be coming in, trying to knock down the siege equipment. They've had enough of this shit. So they're moving out to do some Royal Rumbling. Meanwhile, Allied is just slowly torching down infrastructure. This is like that YouTube video, Death by a Thousand Spoon Blows. You remember that one? It's, uh, it's definitely in that territory. <clears throat> so, back to the other side. We see a lot of hand cannoneers going and grinding. And they are uh, they are uh, running out, though. China getting some okay damage in. The Chinese hand cannoneers are really, really good. HRE, though, getting pushed on two fronts. Probably going to be the end of the road for them. And then we just have the haggard grind of death. Yeah, and look at this. Allied actually getting some respectable trade. It's 62 a pop, so it's not too bad. But we do see... Um, we do see HRE starting to run out of steam a little bit. They're being pushed on two fronts. Um, Delhi's actually getting a good critical mass of units. So I think we're gonna be, uh, that's gonna be it for Serona. And then we go into the dreaded 1v1. Which, uh, you know what? I think Allied will attack though. I think Allied will legitimately attack. Like he's not gonna sit back. Oh, China, come on. You need to keep attacking, China. 
Otherwise, HRE is going to push back Allied, and it's going to take another 20 minutes for them to muster a force. Come on. Come on, do it. <clears throat> End them. Do it. How are we looking down here on the walls? Um, trebuchet. Yeah, just a single treb knocking it down. It's a wild Sultan Tower elephant lurking on its own here. And w once again, the HRE army is able to get the dub here. And Delhi going for sacred sites. Yeah, look at that. Delhi's got one sacred site. Well, just one, I guess. The other one's uncontested. Delhi should definitely take that. And honestly, Allied's pretty much fully back on his feet after, uh, you know, the hammering he did take earlier. Uh, is there anywhere where he would set up a wonder? It doesn't look like it. No. It looks like they're just going for the kill. Dude, this HRE player just hears no bell. He just keeps rallying and pushing these guys back over and over. And China is just too passive to really finish the job. I mean, I know they're doing some haggard Fire Lancer raiding and, like, bow chads on the coast, which is super troll, but... Yeah, the Culverins should be able to finish this ship off. Let the hatred flow into the mouse cursor. Dude, it is. It is so hard right now. You have no idea. HRE, how are they doing on resources, dude? They're still so rich. It's nuts. Um, still making such good quality armies, but he's only got 3,000 gold left, so... HRE actually has some gold nodes in its base. Um, we do have a gold vein here. It's not super veiny. Only 300 gold left, but... The bow chat has retreated, and the Fire Lancers have moved in once again to ambush the uh, siege equipment. And China is going to be sounding the horn. So here they go. So, yes, the Fire Lancers finally going to be acting. He has mustered the courage to use a couple APMs here. Oh my god, why are these ones sitting back? Go kill things! Kill infrastructure! Attack! Same with you, Allied. No excuses. Get in there. Make some battering rams. Does Allied have wood? Let's see. How's he looking on wood? Eh, he's a little bit light on wood. Allied could legitimately be going for a, another wonder. It, it, it very well could be. The way he's kind of saving up, and you can see he's building a lot here. I'm surprised we haven't seen a keep drop. Granted, the HRE did have a couple of bombards last I looked. Man, that is such a high-quality army for HRE. Strona's only getting his relic gold, right, from Regnitz? Like, I don't think he's trading anymore. Yeah, so this bank is going to be diminished, and then he probably loses at that point. I don't see too many ways out. Like, the Wonder was his way out. Um, he needed to get the Wonder, like, set up here. We do have Markets. Looks like he's going to be doing some sneaky trading. Oh, allied with some sweet, sweet cross-map trade. Good play here. Good play. I do like that. Yeah, so he's getting that nice trade. It's going to be, like, 130-something a pop. Twist goal isn't to defeat his enemies. It's to break turn. Dude, I will not be broken. No, not today. You just have to You just have to appeal to my, my machismo, and then I'll, I'll stay in cast all night. Uh, so the keep is coming up. Nice keep drop, but don't know if it's going to work. I think there's too many HRE knights nearby, and the Delhi should just be massing out spears and different things like that. I feel like Delhi has a bunch of random units all over the map that need to be consolidated, and I don't think that keep's going to get finished. China is still doing some haggard raiding, but literally just popping in, attacking some random shit, and then leaving. Just basically being annoying <laughs> to his opponent. It's like not enough to actually like end him, but yeah, it certainly sends a message. So how's that keep looking? Oh man, he's, he's desperation building that keep. Yeah, I don't think it's going to finish though. It's only a couple villagers left and uh, still has, what, 700 HP on that? You could pull these bills here and Delhi mustering another army. Sultan Tower Elephant's going to be very nice here. They do great damage against armor, so pulling them in is, uh, is good. And yeah, man. I've had this before. Like, I've had been in games where, like, you don't have, like, a Terminator, like Uravity or Smeagol or someone, like, in the end game. And it, the players tend to struggle to end it. That's happened, that ha it's happened a handful of times. A handful of times. I'm going to laugh so hard if Yellow wins. That's going to be hilarious. Oh, my God. I, I, I think Allied wins this because he's got that sweet cross-map trade going now. And, you know, China is... I mean, they got 30,000 gold. I mean, China's pretty fat. But he's literally just semi-AFK here. I, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, I really don't. So Delhi trying to fight and uh, setting up another keep on the periphery of the Holy Roman base. China is now fire lancing the Delhi? Are they going to fire lance the Delhi Sultanate? I don't know. We're still alive. Yeah, dude. I did not expect it to go this long. So 22 fire lancers. God, what is he doing? Is he trying to go after Allied now? Is he just trying to save the HRE? Or is, is he best friends with Holy Romans now? So the Holy Romans are going to be walling this off, which is definitely smart if they can. You're going to want to do that. Um, fire lancers look like they're going to be going to interrupt the trade route. I'm not sure. They could be moving across. Yeah, I, and I mean, that's certainly not a bad idea, but how would he know, have known about the trade route in the first place? Let's see. Do he have vision of it? Okay, I mean, he just scouted it, but, like, he ran right to the where the trade was. A little bit suspicious there, Twist. I don't know how you knew the trade was over there, but he found it, and he destroys the neutral market. 
So that's going to be definitely shutting that down for a period of time. And yeah, now Delhi's just in a heavy war of attrition with HRE, which Delhi should win. Um, Serona only has 2,000 gold left, so. And I think Delhi has way more than that. We got about 8,000 right there. Yeah, I don't know if there's some weird alliances going on or what, but yeah, they're they're being chased by some Delhi Knights, but the Fire Lancers are very quick and gonna be able to hunt down the marketplaces. So here they come across. Yeah, I don't think he had vision of this side, so maybe he's just exploring. I don't know. I really don't know. Culverin's just knocking down Allied's Mangonels like it's nobody's business. Granted, the Magos are still connecting and getting a little bit of damage in there, but man, this is this is brutal. Oh, Imperial... Well, the Imperial Landmark wouldn't show you where the trade is. It would just show you where villagers are. But maybe he saw some villagers, which exposed the trade. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So he's moving across, heading to the corner. Um, going to be going for these trade. I mean, yeah, you can obviously follow where they're going, but he's heading directly down to the bottom of the map. Yeah, the Landmark... The Chinese Landmark, though, guys. Don't, let's not jump to any conclusions. It does reveal enemy workers, which would have revealed maybe like a couple villagers chopping wood nearby or something. I'm not 100% sure. And it looks like China, he's raiding into the Holy Roman base now. So he's got some Fire Lancers going to torch this landmark. And uh, HRE does have some spears nearby. Might be able to kind of hold them at bay. Sacred Sight lost and Delhi uh, has emerged victorious in the grind. I mean, Delhi's got like 10 relics, right? So yeah. And you can see Serona is now officially out of gold. So Serona's army is going to be really, really suffering. And just random rams taking things down. Oh, Imperial Palace shows traitors. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So, yeah. That's how we found him. The Imperial Spy Palace shows trading, trading units, which is really good. So, he gets back there and he torches a, a lot of the trade. There still is one market here for Delhi. And the trader's going to be heading to said market. I would imagine Allied wants to get that back online. But Yellow just kind of, you know, being a Palpatine. Yeah. Just kind of trolling. And up on the top, we have a lot of elephants moving in. There go the big blasts. And uh, yeah, HRE just spamming out chaff now. So we got, you know, archers and spearmen. Units that aren't going to be able to sustain a multi-front combat, assuming China ever attacks. Um, and it looks like China might be attacking now. Oh, please, for the love of the Dark Gods, attack. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Go for it. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Muster the APMs. I believe in you, dude. I believe that they can, together, take down the HRE, especially with this backstab coming in. That's a hell of a lot of rams and a pretty good quality Chinese army with 21 uh, hand cannoners. The last of the Metal Knights are on the way. Fire Lancer is going to go probably landmark hunting, and uh, oh, maybe they're going to fight this. Honestly, with the Nest of Bees and other tools, maybe they get the job done. And it looks like the Delhi trade was shut down. No, he actually didn't go after the last market. He's just opting to kill the traders instead. But man, those Nest of Bees and those artillery pieces doing some brutal work. Yeah, it's probably the end of Serona, man. He was a true, ch true Chad this game, but uh, I just don't think he's going to be able to hold. It's uh, it's too much. You see, China finally pulls the trigger. This could have happened a long time ago, like a long time ago. But, you know, they just wanted the suffering, man. <laughs> suffering. And uh, I wonder if he's just going to surrender. Serona's basically dead. He's got, he's got like no eco that's active at this point. Um, Infrastructure is going down. Buildings are going down. I really wonder why they opted to kill the HRE, though. I guess it's because he had the trade for a long time. It could be. Um, I wonder how China's going to deal with Allied, though. Like, as soon as the, the HRE falls here, which they for sure should. Unless there's some weird Machiavellian trolling where they don't finish him off and they let him live. Kind of like what they did with Allied when they could have finished him off. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, the Jumbos are coming, man. And a lot of Chinese battering rams. So Town Center's down for the count. Bombard's going to work their way south and head for the Ellsback. Ellsback is not easy to take down, but the Fire Lancers and Bombard's you should be able to get the job done. You're going to like the way it looks, I guarantee you. So uh, heading over to the main base, we still see the Delhi pushing a little bit with their elephants. Do we see a stream of Delhi units on the way in? No, and we do see some haggard wild ram action. He's going for this. And how does China intend to win? Are they going to like buy a wonder? They should have been incrementally buying stone over the game to uh, have an option for a wonder victory. Because they could probably honestly hold back late game Delhi with Nest to B spam and like other units like that. But eh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Some more bombards on the way. We see the brave Holy Roman defenders. Oh, please don't leave. No, you have this. No. What are you doing? Go back. You, this is so easy for you. You have all these nest of bees. There you go. All right. The nest of bees would just literally flatten this entire army. And the bombards are face tanking right now. It's like me in the Total War tournament the other day. No. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. He, he moves the bombards into melee, trying to prolong the suffering. Nest the bees partially defended. 
We do see Serona fighting valiantly to try and live. Allied, I think, is preparing for the backstab. Uh, let's look at the resources of Serona. So Serona is sitting at 55 eco. Literally no gold, but still has enough to produce basic units. And uh, he's not going to get it done. There's too many horsemen. The fact that Allied pulled back, I think Allied stopped pushing. Allied, why why are you like this? Why, why are you not down here? Come on. There you go. <laughs> Finish the job. <laughs> Finish it. Get these knights in here. Take out the villagers. You know, do a little bit of eco harass. We would all love it. And uh, yeah, the elves back endures. It certainly endures. A couple knights move in, but HRE is just not giving up. And Delhi is kind of, kind of pressuring. Are we going to get another keep drop here from Allied? I wouldn't hate that idea. Like dropping a fat keep right here would be pretty good. Shutting down all the reinforcements. But now, you know, HRE has a decent quality army. I mean, it's a lot of units. Like all this artillery is just going to die. I mean, they'll, they'll kill like a barracks, maybe a couple buildings. It would be a shame if he put a relic in Elves back. Oh my god. China! No, they're leaving! No! Oh my god, just end me, dude. Ch China is leaving. They probably are like, oh yeah, the other guy will handle it. But the HRE player is actually pretty good. So he's able to just like fight off these superior armies with just sheer numbers. Dude. Guys, I don't know what to say, man. This is just so painful. They could have killed him like 10 times over if they just kept the pressure on. Get a bunch of random ass houses being built built by this. Um, Serona is like still very much alive and is pushing back. Allied trying to set up some men at arms, which is a good call. Men at arms would counter most of this army. But China, yeah, China's fleeing the scene. Like, look, they're just like, what if China, if China goes and backstabs Allied, I would laugh so hard. I would laugh so hard. If he goes up and just like, just all ins Allied with like 80 Fire Lancers and Landmark Snipes, that would be the funniest shit ever. And I think he might. I think he suspects Allied is trading. Is Allied trading for seven? Allied is trading for seven gold to pop right now because his trade routes are off. Oh my god, no. He could he'd just be trading over here and getting more gold. Dude, this is just pure suffering. Players are trying to see if they can play so long. No, we're... I stay up till like 3 a.m. every night. So, you know, the bedtime thing isn't... Isn't a real, real, real threat. Um, so Allied trying to push. China just doing God knows what. Um, where's China? Dude, what is this? Oh my God, China is considering what's best for its people. <laughs> China does have 100K food, that's true. Allied doesn't have any farmers active at the moment. Um, looking at Twist. Twist, buy some stone. For the love of God, sell like half, like a quarter of your food and just buy a bunch of stone and build a, build a wonder. There's like a, this is the most riveting action in the game right now. We have a, a dread wolf hunting down the Imperial official in the back of the base. Uh, none of these towers are upgraded, so the official is probably going to get munched by that wolf. Uh, some blue slumber villagers out here, and uh, yeah. Once again, it looks like they just can't get the job done at finishing them off. They were literally so close. Homeboy was like out of all of his primary resources. His landmarks were dead. Now, somehow Allied is going to get pushed back here. I don't, I have no idea how this is happening. Somebody's gonna have to use the restroom soon. I don't know who. Night Jordan, thank you, man. Appreciate the support. But somebody's gonna have to go soon. I, I would wager. Nice burning oil right there. He's able to melt a lot of the army and the men at arms. Trying to get through the spears, and it might be able to. Allied throwing down another keep in the back. I know Allied loves his keeps. Certainly his playstyle. As the traders are back in business, 182 a pop is very respectable. China is gathering 71 fire lancers right here. Um, so they're waiting probably for. Just a, just a balls deep backstab on Allied, which would be so funny. It's like he he just won't commit to finishing either player. I mean, like I honestly think the HRE player might be able to beat him one on one, even with the advantage he has, just based on what I've seen. But Serona's eco got trash can pretty hard. Is he rebuilding it? Yeah, he's got 71 eco, which I guess is pretty respectable. Yeah, he's repairing his town centers. Regnitz is uh, getting repaired. Uh, although the relics the relics did get stolen. Uh, I don't know if Allies stole them or maybe they got put in. Uh, they got put in buildings. Never mind, they got put in the elves back. Okay, so it was put there. Somehow, HRE with his haggard archer spearman army is pushing back Delhi's good quality army. Just sheer numbers, so just a testament to, you know, good macro. Enjoying the glimpse into the human condition. Yes, take care, man, thank you for joining. I want the only victory condition to be when player shuts down from overheating. Dude, that's, that, that's, uh, that's pure suffering. Yeah, that would be a long time. Some computers quicker than others. Remember that RAM that was here like 25 minutes ago? 
like just killing all the infrastructure of Teal, it's still going. That thing is still putting in work. So Allied finally gets the army pushed back, but you know, now there's another one. Dude, I have to say, you know, Serona didn't have the best wonder placement or defense of the wonder, but really, really good macro. Like he's he he produces his armies very effectively. But guys, he's only got what, four thousand left. Allied doing keep drops really aggressive, like right in his opponent's face, which is uh, not going to work. Archers are just going to massacre those villagers, and Allied's going to be back to the drawing board. Bombard's also coming in unsupported. Not really going to have a great time. So, yep, it's happening. China breaks the player's kneecap, waits for it to heal, and then breaks it again. That's like the most accurate analogy ever. And now China is going to backstab Delhi. But the question is, are they going to be able to actually kill? Oh, man, what are all these relics not doing in buildings? He's got a bunch of relics just being held here instead of putting them in the uh, buildings for money. I don't know if that was something that Allied forgot to do or if he's worried about Fire Lancers, but it's uh, it's definitely not good. Dude, and you know what the worst part about this is? China backstabs Allied, and then it like resets this whole fight. So any progress we made here, any ground that was taken, I feel like I'm watching like All's Quiet on the Western Front, and there's just like, just they, they fight for like five inches of ground. Oh my god, and look at this, the HRE somehow just pushes him back with just sheer, sheer macro of the gods. HRE, of course, can macro pretty well, though Aachen is down, so they're not getting like Aachen food economy. If Serona wins this, dude, I'm gonna be super impressed. I'm gonna be super impressed. And like the painful part with China is they do everything so slow too. Like every every move they make is like slow. The units, like the way they react and move, it's just, it's just pure suffering in every regard. All right, so are they gonna go for it? Are they gonna go for the Chinese or the Delhi base? Delhi did put the relics away. That's good. So he put his relics in the uh, in the mosque there, and uh, yeah, Mank and Elzer are a good choice against this army. But there's a lot of horsemen, so we'll see. We'll see if Ally can get it done. Oh man, he didn't give the attack order, so those Mank and Elzer just gonna die for free. It looks like not quite getting the job done. And we do see the Rams finishing off the keep. The dreaded melee Mank and Elzer, the forbidden tactics, long lost to time. If anyone, it is AOE Groundhog's Day. It is. It really is. Big mango shots, shooting across, nailing those units down. And, uh, dude, like, what is this What is this army going to do? Like, where are they going? You came all the way up here. You made this big show of building the rams. And then the army just goes somewhere else. Oh, man. You just finished beating your friend? I, I have no idea what that is, Nami. No, he's not an AI. No, it's, these are all actual players. Um, all right. So heading up. Allied once again is forced back, and Serona is like stabilizing. Oh dear God! This is just such misery. <laughs> this is such misery, dude. Oh God! The players just don't have the APM or micro to beat one another, and it's just, it's just, and then one of them is just sabotaging over and over. It's so brutal. Yeah, they should just have a formal alliance at some point, you know? They should just have a formal alliance. At this point, the HRE and Delhi should just take Shy out just to end the suffering. <laughs> I know, they're both being raided by him. That would be smart. Okay, look, the Fire Lancers are coming back down here. They're on their way. And uh, I am the noob returning in the stream. Yeah, I was referring to myself. Uh, okay. Down here, any play, any shenanigans? No, just walls attempting to be rebuilt. And the HRE running into a, a higher quality Delhi army is going to be forced to retreat. But Delhi, Delhi's keeping pedal to the metal. I mean, if HRE got raided right now by that Fire Lancer squad, then yeah, that might end the game. For those people, at least. It might do it. And looking at the top here, what do we have? Yep, just, I think they're waiting for the backstab on Allied. So come in. I mean, HRE is fully committed to fighting in the front against Allied. Please twist. If you're telepathic and not and also not stream sniping, better not be. Move in here and just 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 go ham. Just put put this game out of its misery. Okay, here they come, baby. There they go. Fire Lancer is getting aggressive, taking out a ton of HRE villagers, which probably spells doom for Serona. Because his eco is going to get tanked, and then he's not going to have food to keep producing these mass poor quality armies. Allied, you know, he's, he's a tenacious one. He's moving, he's grinding. I appreciate Allied. He has been really, really persistent this entire game. He tried to win with a wonder, you know, so did Serona. And the Fire Lancers just torch the uh, the food production of the Holy Romans. Granted, the Holy Romans have food production elsewhere. They have some, you know, random farmers and 
whatnot, but the TC is going to be going down, and uh, yeah, now we see Allied probably starting to make some ground with his men-at-arms. Elephants might not be the strongest choice here, but one TC is going down, and probably the other one as well. Um, I think this is the one's the landmark, and this is the basic one, yeah. So the town center paying the troll toll, and the other one's going to pay the price as well. I would imagine he's trying to snipe the town centers, or is he going to run and go somewhere else? I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like he's still hunting down some bills. And he's trying to snipe the Aachen, which I don't know if I agree with that. Um, it's not really going to... They're just all going to die for no gain. I mean, he killed the TC and a handful of villagers. Serona currently has eight villagers on food. And Allied is just pushing in now. But, like, again, you should kill the infrastructure out here to make sure your opponent can't remuster. Because Serona is just so, so superior at macro compared to the other two um, that he's able to hold them off. The chat has erupted into madness. Just people just yelling Mole Man and shit. I know, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy, man. Quick, we have them right where we want them. Sound the retreat. China, please. Like, what is this? What is this shit? What is this? It's just like it's 100 supply doing nothing. And like, it, it looks like he wants to kill the HRE. Okay, Serona is officially out of food, basically. He's got like 300 food per minute. And oh my god, please, Allied. For the love of the Dark Gods, Allied, keep attacking. If Allied stops attacking, thinking he can't get in, and then, like, he rebuilds, thinking this game will end, what a grand intoxicating innocence, I know. I know. God, he's rebuilding, too. China just, like, attacks just slow enough, you know. Serona the Undying, I know. It's not ending. It won't end, dude. Like, what is this shit? What is this? Just hanging out here. Oh, God. Okay, Scholars are being pulled, and uh, Delhi Men-at-Arms. Serona's got, what is his military supply? He's got a 55 military, it's pretty damn small. Delhi should just ramp sign too. Let's see how Delhi's doing on, on resources. Yeah, 9,000. I mean, Delhi is actually saving up for a wonder again, it looks like. Which, hopefully, Allied would wall it this time. Because if he just walls it, then China's not going to be able to get to it, you know? <laughs> I would laugh so hard if Serona taps out and China just turns into a micro god. That would be really funny. It was secretly Beastie Cutie all along. It's one of those top players. Serona does not serve. No, he doesn't. He just macros his tier one army and fights them off over and over again. It's allied moving in. The dreaded Reaganomics, the trickle-down theory, spreading the wealth in theory from the top to the bottom, but doesn't seem to be working out here. And uh, more horsemen coming. Probably just going to wreck these handgunners. No, allied. No. Don't go back there, you're gonna lose! No, Allied! Why is he sending his scholars to face tank? Oh god. No, pull back! Come on! Get some elephants in there! Dude, he's just gonna lose this like all these hand cannoneers to this just shit house army. The scholars are trying to heal through it. China looking like they might engage here in a minute. Let's keep an eye on the resources of Serona. Serona is rebuilding his bank. Oh dear god, Serona's trading now too. It's only 66 a pop though, so it's not that good, but it's something. So Delhi's on its way across. Here they come. The men at arms should be able to be pretty viable against those archers, and uh, Allied is still still going. When a stop <laughs> when a stoppable force meets a movable object. Oh my god. Okay, fire lancers are back, and instead of actually killing infrastructure, they're just gonna keep killing the town centers over. Please, do something. No. Where are you going? China? I'm serious. Dude, he's got to be trolling. Like, what is this? He's just riding in circles. What, do you think he's, like, juking his opponent or something? Well, at least Allied is making an effort to end it. I don't know what he's doing. This must be for a backstab, like this whole army. Like, to wait for Teal to die, and then they, they kill him together. Okay, so he takes the fight against the horsemen. Allied has just had enough of this shit, and is moving in. Allied's going for the TC. You've missed this? You've missed me just suffering? All right. I'm glad to hear it. In Total War, the closest to actual suffering in Total War is like a laggy game. This is like a, this is actually funny though, you know, whereas in Total War it's just actually, actually miserable. All right. So Town Center is going down. Fire Lancers are torching. Serona, is he going to tap out is the question. Um, or is he just going to Helm's Deep around the Elves back? Oh my god, he put like houses to create choke points on it. And one landmark is down. The Aachen is going to go down. The other TC here, not in the best shape. Finally, guys, it's happening! It's happening! We're getting there, baby. 
We got there. For all of you, all of this is this is going to be something you will all remember together. We're, we're all going to be all old and in retirement homes and stuff, and uh, pondering on the good old times. All right. So the Ragnets has gone down, and here it looks like Howard. Oh, please don't attack him, China. No, no, leave him be. I, sadly, I think he's not even going to be able to kill the Ragnets. Ironically. Okay. Oh my God, he deleted all the horsemen. You know what that means? He's going for the backstab on Allied. Oh man, that's an MLG play. So Allied's gonna try and knock down the walls, but does Allied have the tools to get through here? The bombards are being intercepted before they can get there. See, this is why you need to clear this infrastructure out before you push through. So your opponent can't rebuild like this. Dude, he's gonna live, dear God. Okay, I wanna I wanna have a sponsored best of seven, a best of 10 series between Big Cranny, or Old Cranny and Twist, and just see who wins. We gotta, we gotta find the two, like, Two player, just two players who just will just drag each other through the suffering for hours, just like a ten-hour game of pain. Dear God, and Allied isn't even gonna get get the kill on Serona either. Serona's gonna find a way to live and come back. Yeah, Allied needs to just straight up kill everything, like buildings. He needs to have rams coming in, attack move, like killing all this infrastructure, because it's not gonna work. China is cackling so hard. Look at this, but he's still not springing his trap. Okay, Allied has made it in. L's back is under pressure. Uh, looks like the TC is going to go down to the Elephants. There's just an AFK Bombard Cannon here. MLG plays another AFK Bombard Cannon. You think you're going to kill the L's back with like a couple men at arms? In Elephants? Oh my god. Throw Danny Dragon in while we're at it? Oh man. Dude, look how much damage it's taking, guys. I want you all to just take a moment to look how much damage this is taking. You need to kill infrastructure. Like the base. Like the AFK bombards need to be killing things. Like Serona is just scrapping for dear life. And he doesn't get the kill. Oh my god. Big Cranny needs to come out of retirement to challenge Twist to a duel of fates. Just play some Star Wars John Williams music while they're while they're battling. Oh god, and it has emergency repairs too. Okay, at least the town centers are dying. And he's not going to backstab him until the other guy is probably dead, right? Okay, we got trebuchets. No! No, they're going to get killed. Allied, what are you doing? Okay, Allied's coming in. Dude, this is straight up so painful. Okay, so the traps are fleeing the scene. A couple spearmen chasing him down. China should have kept those fire lancers around and helped clear out buildings. Like, they really went for the backstab too quickly. Dude. Oh my god. Some more bombard cannons shooting across at the town center. That is another TC. It's going to be uh, keeping Serona from rebuilding. Serona's eco is actually back up to 84. Jesus Christ. It's it's like... Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. He is just so scrappy. And what do we got down here? The Treb's running. Some couple haggard Chinese hand cannoneers up on the walls. It looks like he stole some relics from the pagoda here. When is Allied going to get backstabbed, though, is the question. I don't know if it will happen at all. China might not. I mean, China would take a while to get through these walls here, from what I can see. What are these Fire Lancers doing? Are they going to raid um, the traders of Allied, or are they going to go shut down the food economy here of, uh, of Serona? It's going to be one of the two. It's going to be one of the two. And uh, Allied, in the meantime, he's starting to clear infrastructure, which is good. It's taking time, but with this infrastructure dying, Serona will not have the wood to rebuild. Uh, all the barracks and all the different things like that. No, we're not having another game after this. Don't put that evil on me, dude. Don't put that evil on me. So down here, Elite Fire Lancers heading to the south. Uh, probably going to shut down the trade, which would just be... Uh, what would they need to kill? Just these markets? Yeah, a couple deli markets here. Shouldn't be too bad. Allied generating... Wait, Ally just made a bunch of trebs down here? Oh, I don't think he knows where he's producing them from. Oh shit, so he's just making trebs here and they're just running through all the villagers of Serona. Wow, that's hilarious. But yeah, he's finally starting to clear out buildings, so then like, this is like a big mistake people make. They try and finish them off instead of actually filling, finishing their infrastructure. <laughs> the suffering is made worse by the fact we could leave, yeah. You guys know you want to see how this ends. You know you want to see how this ends. Yeah, Scopil. Well, this Gaben and Zinch just screaming into the distance is perfect. Uh, another keep coming down from Allied. Not bad. At this point, uh, you know, any aggression, I, I'll take it. 
send some scouts or whatever. Like, any aggression is, I'm just more than happy. Oh, God, he's going to lose all these cannons. Oh, God, no. HRE's coming for it. And they have gold again, so their army is, like, actually decent quality. This is so painful, dude. This is a definitely, like, the mo probably the most Bronzodia game I've ever cast. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure Allied Trex is a diamond player. You know, like, yeah. But there's definitely some Bronzodia tendencies I'm seeing in terms of the execution. Um, let's see, let's look up at the top here. So is he preparing for a wonder at all? No, he doesn't. And look, China is basically just AFK here. Just not helping at all. Just nothing, just, just, I'm here for the scraps. Okay, China is finally raiding, they heard me. They're going after all the food workers of Serona, trying to slow him down a little bit. Yeah, so that's a good raid. He needs Serona to, to lose to Allied. That's what he really needs. Allied is using the Reaganomics here. So his units are trickling in instead of fighting, which is classic. Uh, on the other side, no Chinese aggression. It looks like a couple of Fire Lancers may be thinking about tickling some pickles and moving in. Um, L's back is actually kind of low. Look at Allied. Allied just bum rushing with the counterweight trap. He just straight up moves in with the trap and just face tanks all that. Oh my god, what a meme. So HRE able to chase him off here, and Allied does get a critical mass of elephants and some siege equipment, and uh, looks like he does take the W on this fight. <laughs> the year is 2842. Here, I'll re let's read your message here. Uh, the year is 2842. Civilization lies in ruins. Amid the carnage, Serona loses six inches of ground. The world is beginning to hope again. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, the farms are back. Um, China's still doing some raiding. They definitely should continue that raiding. Serona still has 36 villagers on food somewhere. I don't know where. He's got the Berry Masters. Okay, back in the base again. Allied making some ground, torching some buildings down. And uh, yeah, what is his eco at or his supply? Allied sitting at 200. 100, Allied's eco's. Okay, he's going for a wonder, but like, you know you're just going to get fire lanced by the Chinese again, dude. No, build walls around it this time. Please, please allied. I almost want to message him in Discord and be like, bro, build walls around your wonder and you'll be okay. Come on. Oh God. He's, he's clearly about to build a wonder, but like the Chinese player is just going to run in with all these fire lancers and kill it. Oh God, build a wall, please. <laughs> Got to call in our, our, our former president to build a wall here. Come on. Okay, he's building walls. Oh my god, get hyped. Yes, dude. The boy the boy has learned. This is I feel like a teacher who's got like has, has finally had a breakthrough with his students. Okay. Uh we got the old uh the old war elephants chasing the old HRE army. Looks like they're gonna be forced back. And yes, the TCs are back. So all that haggard sniping that China's and China just clears out Delhi's trade. Allied, for the love of the gods, for the love of the gods, I need you to, I need you to get this. China, without like, the, they got rams and shit. As long as you keep the rams from reaching you, it evolves, dude. I know, Allied's like a Pokemon who's learned how to say something other than its name. I bet Serona takes down the walls, probably. Yeah, Serona's like still got infrastructure up. Oh my god, what is this? Is Serona planning aggression against Allied Trex? Serona must be a really good player. The fact that Throne is enduring like this is very, very impressive. Like, I would have just been like, screw it. I'm done. End me. Allied pulling back to his base. Um, and yeah, he's got enough to build a wonder. Oh, God, please. Please. Be a shame if he forgot his landmarks. I know. And the landmarks are all pretty exposed, too, I think. Well, I don't know. He's got, he's got, he's got to get the Wolo Lows on point this time, too. So he's got his town center. Yeah, no, his landmarks could for sure just all get sniped out. Come on, Allied, build it. Sound the horn. Gondor calls for aid. China's still, China's still got a lot of rams here. Looks like they might be trying to think about finishing them off here. The walls are rebuilt by Serona. Good play. And uh, up on the top, what do we got? Please, Allied. No, 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 don't build the keeps first. It's fine, just get the wonder going. You're going to be good. Keeps are, are not going to stop the battering rams anyways. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say, guys. This is just uh, such a colossal meme of a game. Yes. Get the timer going. Oh, my God. I can taste it. I can taste the dinner. Players in this game are legit like Diamond Diamond Platinum. I know after the last year, I, was, I haven't... I can't believe I said that either. I know. 
This doesn't feel like it. This feels like a silver bronze game. You know, like for most of the plays. Yeah, so we got two diamond players and a platinum player. So yeah, pretty comparable skill levels. It could be that they're all equally matched so that they just kind of bounce off one another instead of having an advantage. Uh, China's got good resources. Twist, Twist is just not doing anything. Twist deleted all of his eco and he's got some sort of a weird all in going. Yeah, he deleted all of his eco guys. He's all in. Um, 96,000 food though will last you quite some time. Yes, allied. Yes. Give it to us, precious. Give it to us. So China's sitting pretty rich now. Serona is, um, is, is rebuilt and is mustering to the north already. Allied's gonna lose all this infrastructure probably and be forced back into his base. Oh man. What day is it? Is it Friday? Yeah, I think it's Friday. We had some we had some all-stars last match. This is some stars. Yeah, it's all good. It's fun. This you know, this is a memorable game. All of you guys are gonna forget the other games we played and be like, you know, just like, oh okay, a good player won. You know. Smeagol, Smeagol won. Great. But now, this game you will always remember for the pure suffering and misery that we are enduring here together. And, and you know, that, that bonds people, right? Like suffering together, it creates like a, an indomitable bond between us. You have to look at it this way. Turin, the real twist, they're all watching your stream now? Oh, wait, it can't be over. Oh, <laughs> oh I thought you were saying there it's over because I'm at the live game. Come on, allied. Dude, China has got an unholy army here, though, Jesus. And HRE is pushing back Allied's infrastructure, torching it down, which is smart. Granted, this might be a situation in which you need to uh, you need to move over and go for the uh, other side. We see the the hordes of uh, hordes of villagers heading up to the due north here. Yeah, the Almighty Trauma Bond. That's right. We're all close now. Maybe those of you guys who aren't subscribed to the channel will now subscribe. <laughs> We've, we've been through a, a spiritual journey together. One million views. What's going on? Something about a million views. Hmm. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> Chat tattoos take a memory of this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's so fun. Come on, China! Why are you still semi-AFK? There's been a wonder up for two minutes and you haven't moved your army. What's going on here? What is he doing? Is he like raiding down here or some shit? What is this Chinese army doing? Why is it AFK? I mean, I'm grateful for this because it means the game might actually end, but why this? A couple villagers going to get bashed here for Allied. So yeah, Allied is, um, Allied is 100% in it. He's the all in. Like he's going to be losing a lot of eco. Granted, he still has his uh, peripheral trade. Which is nice. Um, he still has a fair amount of keeps also here. Do they have cannons upgraded? It looks like he did get cannon upgrades, which is nice. Uh, trade's still bringing back a fair amount. 62 gold to pop. Maybe China fell asleep. Yeah, I mean, it could be really late. You know, that could totally be it. Twist, if Twist, here's the thing. If Twist really wanted to break me, what he would do is he would kill the wonder, but then not do anything else to ally. Just wonder snipe and leave and reset it back to that like three player grind of misery. You know? <laughs> it reminds me of that horrifying three hour game that was just Ottomans and Roos fighting in a no man's land then French won with the wonder. I think that was me playing. I think that was me and Dark Hunter Ezra fighting on a hill. We were both Ottomans. And we literally just had our units grind together for like an hour and then I think the French ended up winning. Um, yeah, so another keep coming up. And HRE is finally moving out, but HRE's forward infrastructure is pretty minimal here. They definitely need to, oh, HRE, and HRE is trading again, right? So see, HRE is like getting its strength back. So if, if China, like, wait, is China attacking? Okay, they are. China's coming in with the old Ramstein. Dude, that is a hell of a lot of Fire Lancers. Jesus. It's a good thing Allied built walls. Honestly, he should probably build a second wall. Mr. Anderson, I want out. I know, I feel like I'm in the Matrix, I'm trapped. Oh God, I'm so, this is giving me anxiety here, dude. I'm nervous about it. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, dude, please just find a way to end it. He's doing exactly what you just described, probably. Yeah, probably. So the walls are getting knocked down. Delhi is uh, trying desperately to defend. And uh, he does, he's awake. The dragon awakes from its slumber. 
HRE, are they actually going to try and win? I mean, is there anything that HRE can do to build a wonder? No. HRE is like broke. He's just straight up broke. Uh, so we come down here, yep, roast some of the elephants, and yeah, it's going to be very much like a wonder hold here. You got to kill the rams and keep the rams from getting to the walls, to the wonder wall. Because maybe you're going to be the one to end this game. Because after all... Oh my god, we're getting delusional singing wonder wall lyrics. So scholars are heading up north. Looks like they're going to be preparing to defend the landmarks, yeah. So he's worried about getting landmark sniped by the uh, Chinese. I don't know why the Chinese are so slow on the draw, though. They just, like... They sit here, they posture, and then they don't do anything. Um, honestly, too, we do see a decent force in the south coming um, from the Holy Romans. We see men-at-arms and horsemen. I guess the army is pretty small. So if the HRE army gets rolled over once, you're not going to see another one for probably the remainder of this game. At all. Um, the Fire Lancer is preparing. Where are you going with those? Where are you going with those men? Are you gonna? Are they chasing the rams? I think they were. They could just rebuild the walls too, being that they're Delhi. And here they come. All right. So HRE preparing to move in with the remnants of their forces. <laughs> I wish you. Would. Yeah, yeah. You want it, you want it third eye blind? <laughs> that was really good. Wish you would pump out some more trebs, my friend. I love that song, man. I love third eye blind. They're great. We could cut ties from all the lies that this game's been living in. And <laughs> if you... <laughs> I could keep going, but let's just, let's just focus on the game here. Getting real delusional. All right. So Rams coming in. If the Rams die, the HRE army is pretty much dead in the water. Um, all they can make is Rams, which honestly should be stopped. Allied gets a nice torch. Better get those villagers in the keep. Don't want to be sending them out to a sacrifice. And uh, on the top side, we see Rams creeping up and... Uh, Better watch out for those. Twist is, again, semi-AFK. Eight minutes and 30 seconds left. And, uh, yeah, it looks like the Wololos are on, on standby. Could bring those down here to help out with the HRE. But HRE is not going to be able to muster a new army quickly. I mean, they'll get there eventually, but it's not going to be, you know, expeditious. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time. The dementia ensues, I know. I feel like I'm, I'm, it's a maddening experience. HRE troopers pull back. You better deal with these rams, dude. That's a fair amount of do hosting. And, uh, you know, keeps with cannons can kind of kill rams, but it's not super quick. Oh, my God. Is he going to move? He's going for it. He's going for it. Yellow tore down his own wall, and he's charging in, baby. As the rams get stopped, there's only one ram left. And the Wololo near the landmark is the funniest shit ever. Is Allied going to rebuild the walls here? No, it doesn't look like it. That would be a pretty big play, but obviously HRE is chilling there, so... Oh, dear God. Look at the amount of Fire Lancers here. <laughs> Allied is probably sweating so fervently right now. Dude, these guys are probably just sweating bullets. Okay, we get one Wololo. Okay, it forces them back. And oh, a lot of them are going to get wololo actually. Yeah, looks like a handful of them got killed by the Wololo. And the Fire Lancers are dropping another Wololo. Oh, the plays. The big plays. At least it's a climactic ending. And the power of faith. Annihilates half those Fire Lancers. Oh, come on, Allied. Be the hero Gotham needs. End this. End this <laughs> farce once and for all. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. So, the Fire Lancer Inquisition has been temporarily stifled, but the Duhost is coming back. Come on, Allied. Fight with those. Shoot those cannons. Shoot the cannons. Knock them down. All right. The keep stands firm. We're almost there, boys. We only need another six minutes until salvation comes. All of our faith lies in allied, allied Trex, the great Rahul. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. He did it. Come on. Hurt y'all like religion, I know. Allied microing well. Okay, bouncing out. Kill the bombards. It's going to take 10 years for the HRE to replenish them. I normally don't root for certain players, but dude, this is my best hope of this, this game ending. It's the best hope. All right, where are we at here? Up on the top side, yeah. We get the, uh, the Fire Lancer Cheese is preparing for round two. And oh, he's going to try and rebuild the walls. That's a great play. That's such a good play. MLG play from Allied. He's got elephants standing by, and here we see... Oh, you got to repair this keep too. You got any villagers here to repair? HRE, don't you dare do it. HRE going after the traders. The wonder is at 5 minutes and 51 seconds. It feels so long. It feels so long. Delete the wonder. You, you, you stop, Plague Doctor. Get that evil out of here, dude. I don't want any of it. 
Take down. Why would you guys want the wonder? Do you know how much longer this game's gonna go if this wonder goes down? Okay, he's pulling some bills to repair, which is good. He definitely needs to do that. Um, artillery for the HRE, they have none. So they're basically just gonna be sitting there. They can't really do anything. So he gets the repairs going. It looks like they're gonna be doing an artillery dive and the elephant's moving over. And the fire lancers should be held at bay by the walls. They should just barely be held at bay. If, if Trex deleted the wonder, I would be so offended. I would, I, I, him and I, you know, I feel as if we're friends, but that would, that would be crossing the line. That, that's too much. I'm literally getting a hunger headache. The walls are being built. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the fire lancers, he just sits, sits there AFK with them. Like, he could be, like, trying to find other ways in, running around, coming up, up and under through here, but, like, he's just sitting AFK with them. He's got this one ram just knocking down all the goodies, and the wall has been completed. It has been completed. And I think Allied's got this one. I think he's got it. I think he's finally going to close the Bronze Zodiac. These guys should... They need to have their ranks demoted. At least one one league for this game. Not Al Allied. Well, Allied and Serona, I think they're, they're more innocent here. It's the trolling Chinese. Who, I have to admit, I did enjoy Twist Antics a bit. It was very funny. Um... It's a little, you know, I like a little chaos. I, and when I play Magic the Gathering, I play Chaos decks in Commander. Or in Bad Santa decks. I just give cards to opponents, like troll cards. It's very fun. No, this doesn't need to continue. It doesn't. Where is he going? Is there, is there any? I'm like looking for any shenanigans to try and see. So HRE moving up with an army, um, but no siege equipment. Just a, a full brute force army. Going to be doing some battle with Delhi. Delhi does have a lot of bombards and not whatnot, but the bombards probably going to go down here. We'll see. A lot of them going to fall. As, uh, yeah, he's defending on both fronts. It looks like a Ram's coming in once again. Yep, Rams are back. Um, this army here of the Holy Romans is being uh, slowly taken out, but I don't see any artillery reinforcements coming in, which means he's probably not going to be able to do much. You get a Bombard and a Culverin coming, but they're a little ways off. But Ally does lose a lot of his artillery and uh, certainly in a bit of a precarious position. We see the Men at Arms coming across to try and stop this Ally. Don't you dare throw this. I swear, dude. I swear. Allied, don't throw it. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're at uh, three minutes right now. Oh, God, the Fire Lancers get in. Allied, you better be ready for the shit. Back here, we see the Holy Romans making some progress, actually, which is get, making me sweat bullets a little bit. Can Allied handle the micro on two fronts? It looks like he can. I think he handles this side. Oh, God, and here comes the Fire Lancers, the Dread Legion. I think they're going to start torching buildings now. They're going to be playing correctly. Bless us with more. I am a Nurgle player, so, you know, I do enjoy the suffering. Tabletop, I play Nurgle, so. Oh, boy, Fire Lancer Cheese is coming. Oh, Lord, here they come. The compound of the defense is going to go down. This one's going to take a lot of damage. Whoa, low, low. Big whoa, low, low. Going to force a lot of the Fire Lancers back, and they're going to take more casualties. But the other landmark is going down. So one of his landmarks is paying the price. Allied is having to really, really make sure he's... Oh, my God, another wave of, of them coming in. The Dome of Faith is going to go down. Allied is trying to defend. Whoa, 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 the gods. Oh, my God. This is so stressful, dude. This is so stressful. Allied can't be everywhere at once. And he has no villagers to repair. Oh, man, I think he's dead. Oh, no. Allied. You need to hold on, dude. Okay, he killed those, but where are his repair villagers? He needs some villagers to repair, dude. Allied, please have another whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. Oh. And then he's just got the Dome of Faith and he's dead, I think. Okay, he's killing a lot of the Fire Lancers. He needs villagers to repair stat. He's grabbing another relic. The Dome of Faith has 2,000 HP. He's just got to stand on it and prepare for the final charge. Oh, dear God. Do it! Pop it! Before it's too late! Okay, there's the Wololo. Low, low. Oh, he's going for the kill. He's going to pull back. A lot of the Fire Lancers are being driven down. Villagers are there to repair now. I think he stabilized. Oh, dear God. He's sitting at 126. Meanwhile, also being attacked by the HRE here. Kill the Bombard Cannons and he's safe. That's basically what he needs to do. Villagers are repairing, and the Chinese Fire Lancers have been forced back. And it looks like he doesn't have the macro to make more. Yeah, he could have had another batch waiting, but it looks like he didn't. Oh my god. And then down here, it looks like Delhi has held them at bay. Dear god, this is the most troll FFA I think we've ever had. He literally almost got him. It was so close. So, 50 seconds left. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Get the finish. So, keeps hanging out here. We have the Dome of Faith. 
6,500. It looks like some of these guys moving in to try and help with the landmark sniping. But Ally does get the Dome of Faith repaired, and he should be able to defend that. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. No. No, 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 no. Defend it. 30 seconds. Come on. Come on, Ally. I believe in you. They're, they're all right on it, dude. Get the Wololos. Get at least one. There you go. There's one. Pop another one. Oh, my God. The Fire Lancer wave round two is coming in. And look at that. They know. Okay, another Wololo is going down. That's going to fend off a lot of them. Villagers being pulled. They're both all in on the last landmark. Come on, Ally! Get it! Five seconds left. Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes, it's over. Allied treks with the steel chair. Oh, my God. Okay, Allied earned his diamond rank with that, for sure. Oh, man. Oh, dear God, it's over, finally. If you enjoyed that, guys, please do drop a like. It helps out quite a bit. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. And that was a wild-ass game. We don't need to say too much about it. We saw what happened. Just memes and trolling. But at the end, Allied came in with the steel chair and got the W. It's finally over, guys. We've been through this together. We are all brothers now. The relic saved the day, dude. Dude, that was that was brutal. Praise Sigmar. I know only Sigmar would have ended that game for us. So guys, I just want to thank you all for joining. It was super fun. Regardless, you know, I, I joke like it's actually not fun, but it was a great time. And uh, it, it made for a really fun situation. So Serona says that was nonsense. I'm going to watch. Dude, Serona, the VOD is basically just me complaining. So <laughs> just because I'm hungry. Serona, man. You, oh, Serona, you almost had it too. Just that trebuchet snipe. Oh my God, bro. Jesus. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. I appreciate you all. Thank you for the donations as always. And uh, I'm going to go hang out with the smoking hot wife and rest my voice a little bit. We'll see you back tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming. I don't know what, but we'll do something fun. Take care of yourselves. That's it for today. And adios.